Hello. I don't know what happened, <laughs> but we have returned. I'm back. Yes. <sighs> Hopefully I can still see. Oh, hold on. It's connecting to chat really fast. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Woo! What I'm going to do. There you go. Woohoo! Welcome back, everybody. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Like my internet went down. <laughs> but we're here anyway. It's all good. <clears throat> Still loading for you. Uh oh. All right. It might be. It might take it a second. Um. Yeah. Karen might refresh or something. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Hooray! I yeah. I have no idea what happened. It like went down and then now it's back. Gnome's got caught on the interwebs. Honestly, probably. Hi, Susie. Welcome on in. Hi, Poland. Hello. My internet went down. We were on live. We're on live for like 20 minutes and then now we are not. And now we're back basically <laughs> because my internet went down. Yes, we are here. Woohoo. Yes, we're going to do the new legacy challenge today. Are you guys ready? <gasps> Barb got best bean. I suppose it is a new stream. There we go. <clears throat> it is technically a new stream. So, yes, I'm so excited. I loved I know I really wanted to change the subject. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you need a new legacy to do? Yes. So this one is uh, literally like, okay, we we made this yesterday. I think it took us like four hours or something like that. I'm pretty sure. But like, it says Jelly Bean Legacy and you guys have been sharing your wonderful Sims and stuff like that. Uh, I updated my sub, but it says I canceled. Is this how it works? Uh, I am not 100% sure. Do you mean you like upgraded it or something like that? Like you up, did you upgrade or like update? You mean like to tier two? Um, I am not 100% sure how it works in the transitionary period. So I know it's weird. Like basically... Like, I think on the day when it re like when it is due to refresh, then it'll get tier two, I think. I think that's usually how it goes from what I've gathered. Um, so, yeah, if that makes sense. Um, also, thank you for even like considering doing that. If you are on mobile or not mobile, um, if you're on like browser, um, like you can do it on your phone, too. Just not don't use the app. Um, you go to like your little your little thingy and then you can go to subscriptions on the side over here and then it'll tell you like the day when it or like the actual day when it does it, it it's even i might even be granular down to like the, the hour i don't know like it quite literally might be um oh you're gonna start making your gen one. Oh my god i'm so excited good morning casey hi alien frogs good to see you Woo! i'm so excited what more about it to then right right because i i know that like like i have to watch it um with like dr glue on like dr glue on's is on the 15th for me simsies is on the 12th <laughs> eggies is on the 12th cheese is on the 27th yeah prime is the exact same hour minute second right it really is i think i think twitch is literally like that or like the paid ones are like that too um good morning peewee how are you welcome on in i'm so glad to see you how are you we are going to be starting my jelly bean legacy challenge today um i think i might want to go a different direction with my sim though because i was like really tired and like really you know like when your brain just doesn't work when you're trying to make something work and then it just it doesn't go the way that you want it to that was me last night so i think we might do a fresh one because i literally like maybe picked a shirt for her maybe uh just cancel your subs ahead so they don't charge you because i don't have the money for all the subs right no that's understandable some people do that too <clears throat> we're making a sim and the house so like we're starting you know but like not 
<laughs> Fresh is good, right? When the when the brain doesn't brain exactly. <laughs> We literally, if you guys missed it, we made something. We're prepping. Yeah, we're preparing. Um, so I made it. We made a challenge yesterday. You guys like I am so excited. Um, this is my first ever gameplay challenge. And so basically it's a, it's a really rough draft. There's things that are going to change. There's stuff that might not work, but we're going to play through it. and We're going to figure it out. Um, it's 10 gens. Let us know. Um, but yeah, 11 hours. I know I literally did. I streamed for 11 hours last night. And then you know what I did, Ashy? I think you saw I made all of like the little pictures in um for like all the little fruits <laughs> last night, all the flavors. I go appreciate it. Prep is the real starting point. Honestly, you know, the pre the preparations are like the real point. Okay, so I have a really cute sim to start with. So I think I'm gonna use her as like a base. Um, okay, how did we still like the name Candy, though? I'm gonna pull this up, guys. So she has to be, I, I view her to be a girl in my in my head canon, but you can make them any type that you want. Anything, non-binary, trans, whatever you would like. Um, I tried to leave it open for those opportunities if you want to. Oh, so Klepto is one that we have. Klepto, cheerful. And then we have high maintenance is another one, which I think is under here. There it is. Uh, her surname be Floss. Ooh, that would be so cute. Kind of like Candy. The actress Candy Alexander spells her name. Ooh, fun. Because we did C-A-N-D-I last night, which I think was super fun. So I just female then, uh, right? Then throughout gameplay, switch up sexuality orientation. That's kind of what I've, I've done historically as well, too. You know what I mean? After Matt Matthews, I love that so much. It'd be so good. Hi, Hanny. Good morning. How are you? Welcome home. Bye. Oh, yeah. And then we need to be a world famous celebrity. So Candy wants or this this sim wants to be a um an influencer, essentially. So just to kind of like round ourselves out and like I'll I'll read this to you guys. Um so basically, with the bubblegum generation, it says that you love the color pink and anything associated with it. Um, and you're very over the top with everything you do, including spending your time with your partner. Clingy and loud and sticky fingered. You love pink so much. You obsess over it and you have um, you have to have literally anything and everything pink, even if it isn't yours. You have a big and bright personality and crave external validation in any way possible. So you try your best to become an Internet influencer. On the side, you also create and sell pink outfits on Trendy. The world must be coated in pink. It is the best color after all. Right, drear dreary. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. So you have to be kleptomaniac, cheerful, high maintenance. Um, you have to get to the top of the internet personality career. You have to be a world famous celebrity. And then basically you have to get to the top of the internet personality branch, celebrity aspiration, and then you have to max the mischief skill among all of that. And then you also have to invite in every sim who knocks on your door. Everyone. Whoever knocks on your door, you got to invite them in. You have to steal at least 10 pink things. Um, create and sell pink outfits on Trendy and roll a six sided die to determine the amount of children we're going to have and then begin with 20,000 million. So whatever they give you. Going to a meeting. I hope the meeting goes well, rat baby. Thanks for hanging and thank you for the follow. How the heck are you? Welcome to the bean garden. We're doing the jelly bean challenge. Also, Karen, this is for you. You're welcome, Karen. I got you. That one was for Karen earlier. Out of context, um, that is a channel point redemption we have. A D6 or D20? A D6. A six-sided die. A D20. Um, it says up here. It says <clears throat> this will be organized a little better as time goes on. This is still the rough draft, but it says 20 sided dice for like the scenarios. And then it says, there's something here that I wrote about. Yeah, okay, determining motives. Children your sim is to have a roll of six out of die unless the rules state otherwise. 
No 20 kids. Imagine 20 kids. I would literally on a live. I would die. Here, I'm going to go live on TikTok too because I kind of forgot to do that. Candy or bubbles. Honestly, I kind of like bubbles or something like that. Like candy is super cute. Here we go, friends. We are going live on TikTok. Good morning, friends. Here we go. D20 for kids and got very concerned. You're like, um, <laughs> Poppy. Poppy is kind of cute. Poppy to me is like a reddish orange name, though, in my in like in my head canon, of course. Of course, that's just me. Um, a non bubblegum specific surname says it's going to be the, the legacy last name. I'm thinking like Bean, honestly, is kind of what I'm thinking. That's what you can do whatever you would like, but I think that Bean would be super cute. Beanie, right? Just Beanie or something. It'd be so cute. I like it. Bubbles Bean or like Candy Bean Get with the blonde with the pink tips, right? Uh, can you make Bean fancy? Uh, what do you mean? Bubble gum poppers. Oh my God, a popper is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. A popper is not family friendly. <laughs> um, there's a wink for you, a uh, wiggo. <laughs> um, Bubbles Bean. Bubbles is so cute, actually. A popper is not family friendly. No, a popper is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to burst your bubble. Um, what if she gets a poodle? Oh my god! Or like, like a a tiny, like a micro, like the tiny poodle, like the small one, not the loop. Um, it is something that is used in LGBTQ relationships. Um, I don't know how to family friendly advise this. Um, I I don't want you to Google this because. That would not be good. Um, no, Ricky, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Um, I don't want you to feel silly for not knowing because it, yeah, it helps relax your rectum. Thank you, Kaz. I was like, how can I family friendly find this? It helps relax your rectum. You know what I mean? Like, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Kaz. Don't please don't feel silly. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here giggling. I don't know why you name him. I don't know. That's that's the question of the century, honestly. Like it really is. Um, but please don't feel silly. I'm giggling because a I have a nervous chuckle, and then b I know seriously. I hope TikTok doesn't. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I hope TikTok doesn't get me. Oh no. Um. Okay, is the thing now we have to name? No, we no absolutely not, Kaz. <laughs> Chris, first time coming and listening to this. Welcome to the Bean Garden. Hi, I'm family friendly, but like we talk about things and anything. Um, <laughs> um, hi. <laughs> we we get ourselves into all sorts of nonsense. Um, so hey, welcome. Poppers are not that here. I don't know. I feel, you know, the United States, I always feel like we, I, I literally say that we are the pick me girl of the world. Hi, Gabrielle. Welcome on in. Like we, we are the pick me girl of the world. We always have to have something for something else. You know what I mean? Um, like pop, no popping. No, I, I, Ricky, I totally understood where you were coming from. <laughs> Please don't say poppers like jalapeno poppers, right? Not so much. <laughs> like popping bubblegum. Honestly, though, Ricky, like live, laugh, love being different. We do. Um, hi, Chloe. Welcome on in. Nice to meet you. Thanks for using your channel points to say hi. Calypso, we're having such a good day. We are making my very first uh, Sim for the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. So I am not good at creative Sim. So we're just going to try to make her look as cute as possible um, and stuff. So yeah, 
let's kind of see what happens. I'm coming sure it was popping off the lid, but I don't know, right? I have no idea. McBean, ooh. McBean could be kind of cute. We love a good like Mick moment. <laughs> oh geez. Uh... It does sound like a Nepo baby kind of thing. The lid is the back of your head. Oh, right. Figuratively short, right, Perry? Be Mr. Bean is her dad. Oh no! <laughs> your kids, your kids are looking like I'm nuts and they're like, I'm Bean and you are beautiful Bean, right? Just the most beautiful. Rip Mr. Bean, seriously. It's kind of sad. Like, he definitely left a mark on this world for sure. Okay, I have no idea, like, what kind of sim I want to make. I'm doing my best, y'all. I want her to be, I don't know, let's give her, like, a cute little button nose or something. What do you guys think? I don't know what to do. I'm not the best at like picking features or like all this. Uh, Rowan, Roman Atkinson's real life daughter is beautiful. Rowan, uh, I'm not sure who that is. I'm so sheltered when it comes to like pop culture. Genuinely, I'm like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I have no idea. Peppermint bubble. Peppermint is like a bubblegum name. That could be, we could go flavors, right? That could be kind of fun. Is this, oh, oh, is the actor. See, like, I know who Mr. Bean is, but I don't know the names. It's kind of like my real life name is, is, is not Zephyrin, it's Rachel. And then it always breaks your guys' brain whenever I tell you that. You're like, wait a second. Like, it's a world shaker for you guys. I was very, Mr. Bean is live. Um, who passed away? There was there was an actor who like passed away very, very recently. Someone else. OK. Oh, it's someone else. OK. Yes, yeah, so you could tell me these things. and I want to know. I know that Matthew Perry and yeah, Matthew Perry did. Um, Matthew Perry, yeah, Chandler from Friends did. That's right. Matthew Perry. That's right. From Friends. OK, OK. I remember that. So upset. I know that was like a very sad thing for a lot of people. Where did I come up with Zephyr? So I was playing World of Warcraft when I was like 14 or 13 years old. And then I was like, oh, my God, I want to be a healer because like I want to help people or whatever, because like whatever. I wanted to be a supporting role. I didn't want responsibility. Um, little did I know <laughs> that healing is the biggest responsibility. Um, but then I... Uh, so I wanted to make a healer and there was like a bottle of aspirin sitting on my desk. And I'm like, oh, my God. Aspirin, medicine, healing, medicine. And then so being the quirky 13 to 14 year old self. Um, I made my own word. <laughs> Basically. And then that's why Zephyrin is pronounced the way that it is. And then I added like an E for like some Zazz at the end of it. So like two Kayla's and two Rachel's. I know it gets really weird. So like whenever you look at a bottle of aspirin, I hope you think of me um, because that's my namesake, Betty White. Seriously, like Betty White and or like uh, Chester and um, what the heck is uh, Carrie Fisher are ones that I still have not gotten over. Like, literally, you will not write your name, Kayla or Rachel. You're destined for Sims greatness. Honestly, it's kind of just like, you know, like, honestly, if you have the names like Kayla or Rachel, you're just like basically a shoe in. Yeah, yep, he did. You're right. Welcome to the Bean Garden. How the heck are you? I know. Chris, uh, yeah, Carrie Fisher and Chester Bennington are the two that really impacted me the most, honestly. I didn't personally watch Friends a lot. Oh, my Jesus. No, that is not the right hairstyle for the Sim. Um, maybe a different one, but not this one. Oh my God, wait. I also feel like this hairstyle is not, is too big for her, or is too small for her ha head and her features as I have them at the moment. Um, you know what I mean? I'm going to thought Chris Kringle. Wait, who's Chris Kringle? Wait, Santa? <laughs> 
I know, seriously, Chris, honestly. Say <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe those are words that literally just came out of my head. I was like, who is this? And then it's literally Santa. <laughs> oh no. Olivia Newton John, I'm not sure who that is. Oh my gosh. Cater Talk, good to see you, by the way, friends. How are you? Um, two buns. That would be really cute, actually. I actually kind of quite like this hairstyle, but I don't like her face that much. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna see. No, San oh, Sandy from Greece. Oh no! Two buns hair, that would be so cute. Hi, Evelyn, good to see you. Yeah, anytime I, look at, I listen to Linkin Park, it makes me sad, but honest to God, though, like, Honestly, I, should I go with her? I don't know which one I like, which sim I like more, you guys. I think that's the sim I was making last night, but I think she's pretty cute so far. Hi, Kira. How are you? Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of iconic, like, people that have been passing away. Um, she does look like a candy. Right. I'm kind of feeling, you know, I was thinking, I'm like, what if I gave her like cute little freckles? Because freckles are adorable. Because I want to. I don't know. You know what I mean? I feel like freckles are so stinking adorable. Now I got to figure out like what ones I want to give her. Like these are so cute. Freckles and highlighter, right? Like, do I want to make her like a redhead? Cause like, but I also feel like the blonde or something, the pink is way too much for the big base one. Hagrid's actor, seriously, I know, right? Um, thank you for the follows, welcome on by. I'm not like a, a wizard, wizarding world type of person. I've never grew up with it, but like, <clears throat> I did enjoy the role that he did play in that though. The first one, uh, this is jelly bee or uh, bubble gum flavor. Um, so this is our Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge that we're working on. I'm making my heiress, Alan Rickman, right? That one was a hard one for a lot of people. If you guys want to read the challenge rules, you can type in hash, uh, exclamation point Jelly Bean in Twitch chat, and it'll shoot out the command for you. I kind of want Kurt Cobain, right? <clears throat> that one was wild. I feel like I want her to have like a little bob with like bangs. I don't know, guys. Should would she have bangs? I don't know what I would do with her. Like, or she'd have like um, because she's gonna be a sim influencer. So I'm like, okay, what kind do I want her to be? Like, would she? I also feel like this is her face is just not correct for this, and I don't know how to put it. I'm not very good at like faces with my Sims. Creature, thank you. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. I am so stinking glad you're here. Thank you so much for the tier three for two months. Creature, did you get the form for the tier three sub yet or anything? Hi, squeaky, annoying voice, very bouncy. Right? I know that's kind of what I'm thinking for her. I feel like she'd have the TikTok voice. You did. Okay, cool, cool. For this month, though? Was it this month? I don't remember. I want to make sure. It had to be, it had to be for this month, not last month. I'm cramping so bad. Oh, that's the worst. I'm so sorry. Cramps are the worst. I feel like this isn't a good... I don't know, you guys. I believe it is. Okay, let me let me double check. I want to make sure I don't miss anybody. Let me check here. I've been on all week. Oh, that seriously sucks. I'm so sorry. I really hope you feel better soon. Um, yes, you are on there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're good. I just I don't remember. Everything's a blur to me. Yes, she's the OG founder of Bubblegum. Yes. Yep. So this is like the beginning. I kind of like what we're doing with her. Maybe I feel like her bones are better and I just don't enjoy what we've got going here. 
medium or long hair might suit her better, right? Here's this one. So like the thing is with the cute little hair accessories, kind of what's drawing me in, that hair on her right, it's so big. It feels very extra in like the right kind of way. I like her, those lashes. The lashes kind of make it in my opinion. Does anyone like just have a crush on Sims that you make just all the time? Over the top, she's drag queen big, that's fair. That's fair. Cause I always crush on like all my Sims all the time. By the way, if anyone's new here, and we do have some new faces. My name is Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. Hi, Shni. Welcome on in. How are you, dear? Good to see you. Who made them? Um, They are, it's one of the only pieces of CC I, I use, Vera. So it's in there. There's like a Google Doc that I have with all the links. They are the Kajiko eyelashes. So you can totally, thank you, Cass. Um, they're totally like right there. Um, only a piece of CC that I use, unless I'm doing something extremely specific for a gameplay challenge. But like 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm not gonna, like, I don't have any custom content in my game. Like, most of the time, so. I feel like this is so cute. I want to change her brows to be, like, that one that I had on the other sim, though, I think, if they look good, I think. I feel like these are super cute on her. I don't know. I feel like they look more like 2016. I don't know how to put it. Does that make sense? Also, flat brows are like very much so like a very real thing right now. Okay, but she's so pretty, right? I think so. I kind of like the makeup that we gave her. Black licorice and coconut. Oh my God, I know me too. Blueberry is going to be the biggest mood of all time, though. You're still CC shopping. I love that so much, Ashy. Love her. I know. Um, so I want her to have like pastel pink. Like everything is pink, but it's not like neon, but it's like everything is like pastel bubbly, kind of like in white, like silver, maybe gold. Oh, my God, Maddie, the Kui, they're so good. So good. Seriously, right, Christina, 100% like the 2016. Yes, that is it. Seriously. But yeah, I love Kui. Um, I, I like the mango and the coconut flavors the most. The other ones were pretty good, but not my favorite. The pink poodle skirt. That'd be kind of cute. Let's see if we can filter here. Maddie, welcome on in. Thank you for the likes on the live, by the way. We're doing the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge for those of you guys who are stopping by. Um, it's a challenge that I made. Um, never played it yet. There's a bunch of our lovely community members that are giving it a whirl for themselves. Why is the why are these pants kind of cute? Pink and blue. Oh, that'd be cute. Uh, the whole challenge online already. Yes. So there it's subject to change and error. Um, but if you guys want to give it a whirl, please go ahead. It's right there. Um, it does take a lot of packs, though. I will warn you on that one. Um, I eventually want to make a separate challenge, like one that's unassociated with this. That is base game only, though, because I wanna I wanna do that. The base game only challenge. Um, add rules, you don't have a D20 dice, you have one online for free. Uh, I did, it says, for the, as Ricky at the top, it says for this challenge, we use a Google's dice roller. Um, maybe, maybe Druid. That could, I haven't considered, but probably, I, I do that sometimes for my, um, I do that sometimes for my own uh, gameplay challenges. Wait, why is this so her? Wait, is that Brittany Mahomes? Who's that? I'm so bad when it, oh my God. Oh my God, we're doing the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. So this is actually a challenge that we made together yesterday. This is our very own challenge. Um, it is not play tested or anything yet. Oh my God. Oh my God, how is this getting cuter? Add a link on the document, that's a good idea. Hi, Clara. Oh my God, that's so cute. I think I like it more than the pants. The pants were adorable, but like, this is it. Oh, Brittany Mahomes. Oh, Brittany's Taylor Swift's new bestie. Got it. Okay, okay. So like an NFL wife, Chiefs quarterback's wife. Got it. Ah, sports ball. 
Hi, Birdie. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? I enjoy Taylor Swift's music, but I wouldn't consider myself like a Swifty, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? I know it's so cute. I think it's super her. I know she's very flirty. Like she's a kleptomaniac. She's cheerful and she's high maintenance and she wants to be an internet celebrity. So basically she like, she talks to everybody. Like literally the, one of the challenge rules is whenever someone knocks on your door, you have to let them in and you have to talk to them and you have to humor them or whatever. Like, and she, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this challenge, you guys. We're going to have such a good time together. I think these shoes are super adorable. Rules post anywhere? Yes, I do have it in Discord. I need to make it, I need to put it in my link tree, but we have these posted to Discord. A new new bestie, Vlad, right? There's a move over, Vlad. There's a new girly in town. It's Candy Bean. I think her name is going to be Candy. I'm not 100% sure, though. We might change it. Would her nails be pink? Or would they just be French tips? I feel like she'd have to have pink nails because she loves pink that much. You know what I mean? I also feel like we want to have them be a little bit longer as well. Like those ones don't really work that well. That's not really what I'm looking for. Those are chipped. That wouldn't be her. These ones are a little bit longer. And maybe let's try pink. Pink French tips. I always think the weird, the, the colors look weird. Like I just don't care for them. Candy sounds like a lady of the night to me. It does. I agree. I think they look weird. They just aren't it. Like these ones I like with like the the nail bed changing color for like depending on who your you know, like what skin tone your sim has. But like any of those other colored ones just don't look right to me. That one looks the best, I think. Covered the basics for more one of more of those colors. Right. Yeah, because they did like the, the flesh tones for every one. And then, yeah. <sighs> kind of went there. Ooh, those are too bright, though, because I feel like she's going to be a little more the pastel girly. So I'm going to go for these. They're a little bit longer. And we'll do that. Typo. Oh, no, you're good. Right. No, I get it. I like the white low key, right? They're kind of cute, though. Yeah, the, this the, uh, this rule set, these rule sets are available. However, I will say this is not play tested yet. So just know that like you may run into some problems or something, but I'm going through it myself and kind of gauging what we're going to do. Where's the top from? The top, I think, is from Cottage Living. It's so cute, isn't it? On male sims. Oh, that sucks. Only on male frames. That really sucks a lot. <gasps> wait a second what are these nails hold on show me your nails better I'm like screaming right now because I want to see what these look like and I can't see them close up it's not like we would see them because these are from my wedding stories oh my god I don't know and then these ones are like longer I just I feel like that wouldn't be her though like the way that we have her designed at the moment I think we're going to go with the basic ones. The glitch is only the worst. I know, right? That really sucks. Click gloves. Um, if for some reason it's still like going to her head, give her a ring. Ah, I do think that she would have like a bunch of rings and stuff, though. So let's go here. Let's give her some rings. Like some dainty ones. I wish I could see what they are because I really can't. That one is super extra. God, some of the My Wedding Stories rings are actually super pretty. I don't know what that one is. Um, but then there's also this one. I think it's like a little moon or something. Would she be gold or would she be silver? I feel like she'd have a little bit of gold and silver. Oh, click on her hand. Yeah, it's still not going. Gold. I feel like it would go good for her, like, with her skin tone, too. There we go. That is cute. I think that's good. Gold. Okay. Um. <laughs> ah! 
It's not letting me do that. Okay, so why won't it like go on the other hand? I wish we had more options for the other hand. Um, weird look like she was like locked on full body, right? I know it like won't go. Let's give her this one because I, f I would want it on the other hand. I wish you could like switch. Because there's only like one ring that can go on the other hand. And like this one, but this one doesn't feel right for her. It's like too big. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for that one. So it's got like a little gold band on it and then it has silver. So it's a mix of both. No options for the right hand, right? I know that's so weird. I don't know why. You guys are coming by. We're working on the um, Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. This is a challenge that we made last night. And um, we're going to give it a whirl. So it's really fun. You can find out the Google Doc for yourself and give it a try. I can't promise it'll be perfect at first, but if you want to give it a whirl, go ahead. Please don't judge. An eyeball ring. Oh my God, that would totally be lime though. You love that hair. Isn't it so cute, Nick? I love it. It's adorable, actually. Like, um, it's the it's one from Cats and Dogs. I also eventually want to make a base game gameplay challenge, too. Hmm. I feel like these are just too big. But they are kind of cute, you know, like that one's a little bit too long. This one has like a cute layered necklace look. Something like this. Like a different gold color. Um, low PB cushion on the sim. I always, I, I always find myself crushing on sims. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, we're going to give her rose gold because it's pink, you know, so she's got it. I feel like that would be good. Mm hmm. The layered was so cute, right? This one actually no, this gold one is really cute. Let's do that. I'm gonna take a break for us. See you later, Yodel. Thank you so much for coming and hanging with us. Ooh, this one has like some really cute little moving pieces to it, but I think this one, it, oh, not this one, but this one is a little bit better. Here we go. That's it. Oh my goodness. Okay. So that is one outfit. So, you know, she's high maintenance. I feel like we need to have at least three different outfits for her. So let's go ahead and like sift through and find some other cute little like pink things for her to wear. This is definitely not a top that she would wear at all. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be, this is gonna be good. Um, so again, I kind of want to go in that, like, the pastel kind of feel for her. I don't want to go too pink. I know her name is, is literally the bubblegum gen, but I think her as like a sim, we're going to go the more like soft, gentle aesthetic versus like neon and like crazy. For her, my headcanon for this sim, at least. Um, you can totally do what you please. That is the beauty of it. Um, love it. Libby Wright. I'm so excited. Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Oh, this one is really, really, really cute, actually. This might fit. Hi, Lotus. Welcome on in. How you doing? And then especially if we can find like a really cute like skirt or something, I might not even pick something that is ooh, like that. <gasps> um, should we go like a good pair of like jeans with this one? I feel like we might go like a very, very light color of jeans for like an everyday outfit. The sweater for cold weather. That'd be so cute. That fame gets to her head. Yeah, right. This I kind of like the way that I'm probably I'm probably going to play her personally. You know, me um, is like I feel like she is going to be um like she's really seeking for like that external validation so like she's obsessed with her phone and everything you know what i mean 
too purpley. It is almost like a dusty pink color. You're right. I feel like going to the gym. Oh, all right. See you soon, Clara. Big pants, little shirt moment. Ooh, that could be cute. This is kind of fun. Love that outfit. Birdie, right? I think it's so sweet so far. Oh my God, wait. What about this? Hold on a second. That's so cute. I, it's, it's a little more of that bubblegummy flavor. Like it's a different hue of pink than I really, 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 really like. Dang it. Because this one is still very pink, I think. How do we, it's almost like a, that's cute. What do you guys think? It's going so good right now. We are working on making our bubblegum sim for our Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. Good morning. How's everyone doing today? Should she go? I think I'm going to put her like straight up in high heels and see how this goes. She's high maintenance. I kind of really enjoy the way that like the sim, like the base game pumps look. If I can find them. For some reason, I just, I can't right now. Like I literally have no idea where they are. Um, Because they're under heels. It's literally just like base game pumps. Um, here they are. Something like that. Um, more coral. That's kind of what I was thinking too, but it's in the pink family for sure. Uh, one of the ones I've been uh, impacted by EA, uh, the, oh, the 10,005. Oh no. Um, I haven't even been able to log in yesterday or this morning. Oh, oh my God, Izzy, that sucks. What about the ones right above? Oh, these ones here. <clears throat> I think I like these. Both of those are so cute, though. Oh, look, it's me 550 pounds ago. Oh, felt, felt, felt. Okay, so I really, really, really like this top, but I don't like the pink that it comes with. I'm still struggling with it. We're going to come back to it, I think. I'm right exactly like this shade is better than this one because I don't care for that one that much on her at least good heel with jeans same it's our it's our millennial speaking no not quite I want her to feel like more dressy but not quite super dressy um that just feels a little too casual for her their white color yes but I want her to be like dropped and dripped in pink what, wait, 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 wait. I like jeans. I do like the jeans more. Oh, Jesus, honey. Oh, no. Um... I know those are so bright. I think they're too bright for what I want to go for her, though. Accentuate pink accessories, more pink nails. That's true. But I feel like all of her outfits would be in pink because like the whole thing is she sells uh, pink outfits. I know those uh the belt, the pants with the ooh, the pants with the belt are really cute. I think I actually use like these yellow ones on my sim self or something. Um, gameplay, but I think I'm down for this, right? I know. I'd be curious to see what you guys think. You know, like, like gaining your thoughts along the way for like, to see if we want to make alterations. Very 2008. I know. That's kind of like, I gave her like the 2016 brows for sure. This is not, not so very. So this is called the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. Dr. Pepper, good morning. How are you? Customize the colors more. I know. I really wish we could like customize the colors more in The Sims 4. I agree. I'm with you. So, okay. I am having like this love-hate relationship with some of these things that are going on right now with this. The Jelly Bean Challenge, we made it. It's actually brand new. So it's a challenge that I made with my community yesterday. Um, There's a link to it in my Discord channel. I know that top is so cute. Um, so this is our bubblegum generation sim. So each of the generations is like a different flavor of jelly bean, basically. And we kind of brainstormed like a headcanon idea for like what we think that that jelly bean flavor would be like. And then we made like a cohesive story flow with it and stuff. 
Um, so you said it's giving relative of Barbie. It really is, isn't it? This is a cute top, but not with the, not with these pants, though. Hmm. I think I may go with that coral look that that top that we had. It's a little more like on the coral side, but I think it still worked for her, though. You know, and I think it was like a high school years top. I think I have a filtered white right now or like it is white on here right now. A bit of Regina George. Exactly right. Was it a high school years top, you guys? I genuinely don't remember. I'm pretty sure that it was a high school year's top. Um, the pink swatches are so hit. They are. They're either like neon or like almost coral or like weird, weird pink. I think it was a high school year's top. I'm going to filter that. High school year's? Okay, cool. I'm going to filter. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. So we are doing um, our jelly bean challenge. So this is a brand new challenge that me and my community came up with yesterday. We brainstormed a bunch of stuff. Um, and if you want to give it a try for yourself, there's info in our Discord on it, which you can find in the link tree in my bio. Or right here in Twitch chat, if you're in Twitch. Where are you? Here we go. I still think that this one is cute, though. Pink, purple, and orange swatches are not in this game. I know that is, I think this is such like one of the bigger reasons why I personally do not filter a lot when I look through like pants or no, not pants, uh, like colors, you know, like I don't really reach for the color filters that much because they're just not great. Where are those like cut off, like those, those like pants that I had? Here we go. They were university I think this one is super cute. These pants, these pants here, these ones are from university. Thanks for the follow. Right, new Sims Luggity? Yes, we're starting off fresh. Thank you for the follow. Bubble Bean has a nice ring to it too. It really does. I don't know if I like candy as much as I like something else, like bubble or something, or... And immediately want jelly beans, honestly, right? Mm hmm She's very 2016. I kind of love her. <clears throat> um, the vibe we're going for, it, right? It really is. I think it might be. <gasps> Should I add some accessories? So this is her first outfit. A dress for another outfit. I think so. If we can find like a good dress, I would agree with you, Mel. If it, your neighbor's in Wrigley, yes, that'd be so cute too. Starburst jelly beans are so good, by the way. They are. What about? Not strawberry, because it's not like bubble gum. Definitely nails. She has some light pink nails on right now. I might adjust her makeup for the next one, but she's definitely, like, she's a high maintenance sim, so I, I think that this is uh, the right trajectory for her, like what we're going on right now. Oh, we got, like, some good... I'm not feeling the gold on her as much, y'all. I'm really not, like I thought I was going to. Maybe it's just this specific item, which is probably true. That one's not really that great. Um, I like bubbles. Bubbles is so cute. Poppy. I know I, I keep thinking of Poppy like with, with an eye. I like it with an eye. Instead of like, why? That's I don't know why. I know like Poppy, I think of like orange or like red or something because of like the Poppy flower, but like Poppy, like a bubble. Poppy is actually very cute. I think with an eye. For some reason, like the eye just changed it for me. So we've had a few suggestions for Poppy. So I think we are going to go with that instead of like candy. I don't know. There aren't really any like good accessories here, y'all, that I'm like really seeing, especially for her other hand, because we have the ring on the one finger. So I'd want to see if we can get something on the other hand, but I'm just not seeing anything that really makes sense to me. <gasps> what about you? There we go. How do we feel about that? Or even like all silver or something or all gold? Poppy. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, right. It looks like spring sounds. Yeah, we use the same. Um, there's like a generator where you can like make your emote and stuff. We use the same one. A lot of people do, though. Candy Bear is already in game. That's true. Fairy, that is a good point. That is very fair. Holly, thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Hey! 
Oh my goodness. I am doing so good. I'm sorry work has been kicking your booty though, my dear. Welcome on in. I am super glad to see you though. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're amazing. Thank you so much for the 23 months. That's almost two years, Holly. I hope you're taking care of yourself. So um, if you would like, would you like to add points to one of the emotes on the left side of the screen? Um, we're in an emote war since you subscribed. Let me know. This one's more of like a slightly casual. And then this one's like a little more dressy. And I feel like we definitely need like a very dressy thing. Poppy and these nails, right? We, we do have nails on her already though. The fire emote. Ooh, thank you so much. And thank you for the follow. How the heck are you? Welcome to the bean garden. So glad to have you. There you are. I added it there. Emotes based on your pets. Yes, they are. They totally are. Good morning, everyone. Supreme, good to see you. We are working on our Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge right now. I also think that I'm going to change her necklace because, like, I want to be better about changing accessories and stuff. I let you see, yes, um, if you do exclamation point mods in chat, it is a Google Doc for all of the things that I use. One of the only pieces of custom content that I use, it's called, um uh it's it's eyelashes because like it just makes your sims look so much better in my opinion because all of the things that you get like the, the eyelashes in the game just aren't it um they're amazing hi moon thank you so much for the follow welcome on in friend how you doing today so you said um yes jelly bean legacy challenge um this is a challenge that we made ourselves yesterday the challenge in discord um okay so the way that you want to do it so there's like there's a few things you got to do so go to the rules and then react because like it's just an anti-bot thing that we have so read over the rules and then react to them and then you also might have to go under browse channels at the top over here and then you might have to like go and select it to be able to see it um but reacting to the rules so you get the role will give you the rule so you can see all the channels and then it'll be down under the sims section under jelly bean challenge Oh my god, Tori. Hello? Y'all are making some cute sims. My sim looks like a toe. My sim looks like a toe in comparison to your guys's. Mediterranean house for a vampire sun loving sim. Oh my god. Wait, that's such a fun one. You're so very welcome, doctor. No, well, uh, no worries. Welcome to the community, by the way. So good to have you. Hi, Mystic. Welcome on in. How are you? But feel free to share all of your information, not all of, not all of your information, all of your like creations and stuff like that and be a part of the community. Don't be shy. We're very nice. Um, you can start with any sim you want. We had some people starting with mask sims, but it's whatever you whatever you want and whatever like makes the most sense and like however you feel this sim would be for you. A pinky toe, if you will. Exactly. Um, I'm ugly cackling. Your sim does not look like a toe. I think it does compared to your guys's. Your guys' sims, you guys are so good at sims. And I'm just like, canned Barbie thing. <laughs> Insert password. Oh, right. No, not that info. Please don't do that. <laughs> I hope we can find a good, how is this pink? How is this a pink dress? This to me is like orange or red. I've got questions. I really do. I have so many questions. Um, that is mainly why I don't like the filtering function in this game. No offense to the gurus. Please don't take that like as me like put my nose up or anything because we don't do that here. There is a sliver of pink here. Um, but like it's rust, right? It's like a rusty pink. <laughs> Only in the EA app. Oh, oh my God, Izzy. I'm so excited. I'm so sorry you're having problems with like what the butts. Had to refresh. Right, right. Jody, welcome on in. Got to go back to work. Oh my God. I'm so glad to see you though, Holly. Thanks for dropping in. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Good to see you, even if it was for a moment. Just glad you took the time to stop by. I always love seeing people. I wonder, I want them to have like a good dress. I feel like this isn't quite her though. It's really cute, but it's not quite it. Does this one have like a better pink? <gasps> what about this? 
This is really cute though. It's dark coral. <laughs> Stop it, that's a reach. <laughs> That is a reach, but I mean, you're not, in, it's not an incorrect reach though, you know? But that's not quite her, not quite that either. Hmm. Bring some of your rules for this challenge, right, Moon? Oh my God, I'm so excited. So it's subject to change. Cause I don't, this is like our first time going through it and stuff. Cause we're not like hundred percent sure. Like if something doesn't work, if it's too hard, too easy, you know? So there's going to be some changes and alterations along the way, but I think we're going to be, we're going to be pretty good. Oh my God. Is this cute? I think this outfit is kind of cute, but it's also like, it's pink, but it's a darker pink for sure. Um, I think that actually works quite well. And then we could use like some leggings or something for her. Right? Like, I wonder what kind of leggings we could use. We could use like these if we wanted. Maybe. That's a big maybe. I don't know like what kind of leggings we'd use, but. <sighs> I really don't know what ones. Um, I think I want them to be like more sheer, but we might have some options here. Uh, like a mauve. Yeah, it's more of like a mauve, but it, like it is still kind of pink. You know what I mean? Like it's still kind of there. Um, bubblegum princess. Oh no. Oh my God. Wait, that'd be perfect. Like pink sparkly tights or something. Right. Bianca. Right. Do you like it? I'm like, I don't know. I think the, the pink is not like as pastel. It's adorable, but like, I'm trying to go for like this. You know what I mean? This one's a little bit, I'm still on the fence about this one. We'll come back. But like, this one is like, nailed it. I want to have three outfits for her because I feel like she's very, like, yes, she's a high maintenance sim. And like, that's the way that I'm going to sort of like, kind of portray her or like play her in my headcanon version of her. You like the second one? It's so, it's almost like, it's, it's, it's giving millennial business casual club wear. <laughs> Extra, yes. And I love that about her. You know, she's not afraid to be extra. I think we're going to put her like in this adorable little like micro home situation or even like a tiny little apartment. We'll have to decide how we want it to go. Maybe she'll sit up in like a little apartment and then she grows into a house. But we'll decorate her whole apartment in like pink. I think that'd be adorable. Thigh high socks maybe. Ooh, that'd be cute. That is so pretty on her, right? Um... Do we feel like this one's a little bit better? I'm genuinely trying dresses, but I don't know. I can't like ignore the, the tights and stuff. A little girly studio would be so cute. Uh, is there a hashtag we can use for the gallery? Want to upload or build to Sims in Sims 4 so far? Yes, it's hashtag jelly bean challenge. Just like that. If you guys post on social media, um, Make sure you guys are tagging that. And then if you want me to see it, of course, and then also using the hashtag and stuff so I can like peek, I can look at it easier too. We already had a couple people doing it. So like, thank you guys for doing that. Um, I like that on her, right? I think this one is cute. We're gonna see if we can find like socks or some sort of like leggings or something for her. Oh my God, <laughs> that would be so cute. I still don't know. <gasps> Wait. Maybe. That's a big maybe for me. A big maybe. Um, the problem with some of these items is that they're literally so dark. I like it, right? And then we could do like... <sighs> let's try some shoes the thigh high socks with boots um right that's kind of what i'm thinking like something some kind of boots this is like an everyday outfit for her let's see if we can find like pink boots because i or pink or white i think are the ones that we want to do but like what ones are the the most aesthetic oh my god some of these are very interesting colors there's not a lot of great color swatches though, y'all. I'm just saying. 
not for things that we want. Small research discovered that esters used to make bubble gum. Uh, Esther, Esther would be so cute. I like your your like your research into that. That's really cute. It's like they're singing in Dalek, right? I know. Um, every once in a while, my sound gets wonky. Oh my god, Sarah! Thank you so much for the 26 months. Welcome on in. So since you subscribed um, right now, would you like to allocate your points to one of the emotes on the war on the side? Um, thank you so much for that. Thigh, white thigh, high socks, right? I think I think I like the... What do you, how do you guys feel about the sparkle so far? I still don't know like what kind of boots or shoes we want to do, but... Um... I don't know, because this feels very like outdoor, like winter time. I just don't think it's going to be like the right call for her, like everyday outfit right now. So maybe I might I might reserve this for a different outfit. The sparkles on the high maintenance sim, right? I know. I don't know, you guys. It feels very like winter for me. And it doesn't like. Go right in my head cannon for her. Hi, Paterno. Also, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Uh, heck, um, let me know. Which one would you like? Would you like the top one or the bottom one? The fire or the... I, I'm doing it manually. I'm working on a way to get, like, a plug-in so we can do it and stuff. Or some sort of something to make it easier. Fire. Ooh, thank you so much. Right, it's too academic. Yeah, because she's, like, supposed to be, like, an influencer and stuff. If anyone's coming in, how the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. I'm Zephyrin. We're working on my own challenge that we actually whipped together yesterday. Um, and it's called the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. So yeah, welcome. I hope you guys will enjoy yourselves. I think we might step away from like dresses because like I can't find anything that like works for her. In my in my head canon version of her, like the right swatches and like the right colors and you know, it's just not giving enough. This is yield little house on the prairie to me. So it's just not her. A skirt, right? I think I will do like another outfit with a skirt. I think is kind of what I'm imagining. Because we can pick something. It doesn't even have to be like pink technically. It could even be like white if we just find the right one. So let's search for a top first. There is a dress with cherries, but it's a little like bright for what I want to put her in. I'm envisioning her to be more like in that pastel range kind of. Like more of a soft, gentle pink rather than like a pow in your face. There is, there is, there is a dress of cherries though. It is pretty cute. There's also this top, this halter thing. These are not custom content. No, I don't use any custom content. The only thing that are is eyelashes. That's it. But these are all uh, like different packs and stuff that you can buy because I do have all the packs. Hello. Bubblegum flavor can be produced by combining banana, pineapple, cinnamon, cloves, and wintergreen. Interesting. So like for bubblegum flavor, it's literally just all of the flavors then. Cherry top would be good for hot weather outfit. That would. Druid with some shorts. That'd be really cute, actually. Be adorable. Oblivion, thank you so much for the heart me gift on TikTok. You're so nice. Welcome on in. You're reading the wiki. I love that. You've got like such a level of dedication to that. That's incredible. I really love that. That is so much fun. Um, that's me like rabbit holing on things. Um, yeah, we made, we whipped this challenge together. I would say it was like at about four hours or so last night. We had a lot of really good like flow and energy going though. It was tons of fun. Ah, <sighs> such a blast. I had such a good time. Bubblegum, I know she is literally our our bubblegum historian. Like, say no lie. That's so crazy. My lips are so angry and chapped, y'all. I can't even put, I can't even tell you. Eyes next to you, uh, you are correct. His name is Richard. It's my microphone. Isn't he cute? He's adorable. Three, it was actually around seven hours. Oh, did I really? It was seven? Oh my God. What? I guess we really did teleport, didn't we? I thought it was shorter than that. No, oh my God. Yeah, you're right. Hi, Pam, welcome on in. Where did I find this challenge? You could do exclamation point jelly bean in chat. Um, it's still very much a work in progress. It's brand new. 
So it hasn't been play tested or anything yet, but I think everything should be good to go. We're going to be doing our own little like playthrough of it. So if you want to give it a whirl, make sure to let us know in Discord how things are going, how you feel, all that kind of stuff, um, because I want to know. Because I, as I play it, I'll be making alterations and also weighing your guys' suggestions and thoughts as well. Hyperfixated? Seriously, my ADHD either makes me do all of the things or nothing. There's not really like an in-between for me. Um, and it's, it's kind of like one of my downfalls, I think. As like a person in general, it just, it really sucks when it happens. It's the worst. Oh, the rose sheer top from high school. Where's that? This one's kind of cute, though. Hi, Brew, you're hot. Welcome on in. Plan of the packs, I need to get it right. Oh, my God. An attention span of a gnat, same. How to get food. Uh, what's going on now after doing tours? We are doing our own gameplay challenge. We whipped this one together. It's called the Jelly Bean Challenge, the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. And um, yeah, so I have a Google Doc out there. If you want to give it a quick whirl and see how you like it for yourself, um, take into note that like there may be some errors or maybe some things that just don't work very well, but I'm going to play through it and we're going to figure it out as we go. So that's kind of what we've got going on. So please let us know. First sense is dice roller. Yup. Um, yup. Yup. So I implemented, I don't know. I don't know if you know about like our spicy dice is what we call it. Um, it's literally like our little dice emote that we have. Um, it adds spice to your gameplay. So Yeah. The outline, yes. We whipped it together yesterday, and now today is going to be spent kind of figuring it out and seeing what we want to do and seeing how, seeing how it's going to go. I think she's going to live in an apartment first, and then she, like, a, a cute little, like, super girly pink, adorable little studio apartment, and then she, like, gets famous, and then she gets, like, a house and stuff. I could totally see it being a thing. You love pink? I know it's so cute. She... Uh, like, I'm really proud of the work that we did on this challenge yesterday, you guys. Hi, Sharky. Welcome on in. How are you today? Bubblegum was invented by Walter Diemer 95 years ago. What? Was it? I think it was literally pink. I think bubblegum ended up being pink because it was the only thing that, like, the only color that was available to him, like, when he made the color, when, ma when he made it or something. I think I remember, like, reading about that or hearing about that somewhere. This is peach that is not pink please ea help me oh my god wait what about this the crop top with the polka dots this gives bubble gum it really does i think that one was gonna be her warm one of her warm weather outfits though uh no so there's not gonna be a base game version of this challenge but we will make a base game challenge because i think with everything that's going on there's not gonna i from, from what i'm guessing you probably can't do a base game version of this very easily without being like a whole different challenge. So if I'm making bubblegum sim, oh my God, ghoul, isn't it so cute? I like themes, so like, I think a lot of us kind of do. So I think it kind of works. Um, oh my God, this is giving yield harlot. I love it. <laughs> it's very cute top though. A new legacy, yeah, this is one we made together. Um, Dr. Pepper, I don't quite know, I don't have a list together yet of like what packs we need, but it does need a lot of packs. Um, I will say that off the bat. Um, but I'm not 100% sure like what it actually will end up entailing. But as we go along, I will, um, especially from like generation to generation, I think, I will see um, and like make a list based on that, I think. Oh my God. Um, guys, how do we think? What are we thinking? Um, the, I think I kind of like it. I think I kind of love it. Um, I think Get Famous is the first pack you need because Simfluence, right? You at least need Get Famous for sure. Because <laughs> you do need Simfluence. You have to be a Simfluencer and like the high maintenance trait, I think comes with... What pack does the high maintenance trait come with, you guys? Do you guys know? Um, skirt is cute, but the buttons are odd, right? The buttons are, like, definitely off-center for sure, but it's cute. I feel like Simfluencer. Influencer has been wearing unique and unusual outfits. That's fair, right? She's very 2016 coded. 
spa day okay oh was it spa day okay so at least uh, there was posted anywhere they're in our discord channels kate um so there's a plaid pink skirt from high school years okay let me see this one is from university um but yeah they're in their discord server so which is in the link tree in my bio so this is a a very early adaptation of this challenge um we put it together and it's still maybe subject to like a lot of a lot of change and whatnot but it's out there if you guys want to give it a whirl for yourself and let me know what you think and how you feel on certain things i would be all ears and taking items into consideration as we as we move along uh that is like a very like very very bluey pink color you want a different one right this is a very bluey pink color oh man i wish we didn't have that i would uh you know i want a color wheel so bad this is also a skirt that she had before how do we feel about the corduroy or even this with like a different top maybe um oh there's a different one did you say was it under oh actual plaid oh um high school years you said okay let's actually go back and peek again there we go oh like this one oh this one is very like cheerleader skirt it's like a cheerleader skirt for sure or is intended to be i think or something that is actually super adorable the shorts were cute right i think they were too black friday sale um oh you're all Boulder's Gate right now. Boulder's Gate is definitely so fun. Oh, all base game. I thought you said Boulder's Gate. <laughs> BG, my brain went to Boulder's Gate instead. The perfect CC skirt, right? She's so cute, isn't it? How do we feel about her top? Is it too warm for like an everyday outfit though? I'm very picky. I want Boulder's Gate too. I do not have it. I want to get my gates bouldered. Baldur's Gate 3 is so addicting. I know I love Dungeons and Dragons. So like I want to get my my gates bouldered so bad. Depends on where she lives. Uh San My Shoe now. So like could be. You're from the Midwest, so no, right? That's also very true. I also don't like wearing like huge big sweaters all the time either, though. Starfield and fully nerd out, right? I know. That'd be so fun. My brother's been playing Starfield. Has a saving for us when I can get Boulder your gates with you, right? We can, uh, we can. Uh, oh, it'll be so funny. I watched Dr. Glue on. He, he posted like a, a little TikTok clip thing or something. He, I think he was playing with Vixella. Oh my God, I laughed so hard. Michael actually like found it on his For You page before I did. I'm like, how are you getting Dr. Glue on's content before I am? I left so hard. Um, let me look. Dr. Gluon. I want to show you guys Doc's clip because it was just really, really A few funny. people asked me Jesus. recently. Stop it. No. A few people asked me. No, stop it. I don't want sound. Stop it! <laughs> okay, I want to show this to you because I got laughed forever. Um... So here, I know they're so fun. Um, here. Yeah, right there. One of these. Yeah, right there. One of these controls. Pull the lever, Kronk. Wrong lever. Why do we even have that level? Oh! <laughs> oh my god! That was the wrong level. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh right there, my god, it's so good. Uh, <laughs> wrong lever. Why do we even have that level? I laughed for like five minutes. <laughs> oh my <laughs> That would be us, Kaz. Kaz is gonna be us. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've um I think I played like Baldur's Gate 1 way back in the day. But I've never I haven't played like any it's been like a really long time, so I don't even remember anything. Candyland, right? Yep, I've uh, I've been a part of his one of his, like some like one of his Candyland streams for sure.
I felt so awkward because I was I was so anxious. Oh my god, I was so nervous the entire time. I felt so awkward. Um, not by anything they did, but it was just it was me. I'm just an awkward person. <laughs> and I didn't know how to play Candyland. And like we practice, we literally practice real Candyland, but like it's different for them. So I was like doing stuff wrong and I'm like, oh, oh no. <laughs> I felt so weird. Um, I can volunteer to play with you because no one wants to play with you, right? Oh my god. Oh my god, is I wonder if Justin is gonna come into stream today because we need to bully him, you guys. Um, and by bully I mean ask him nicely. Um, because we have a bunch of community members in our Discord channel that want to do like a DD session. Like they want to play D D. And I would love for you guys to do that, but they need a DM, which is kind of like the the, the problem of the century. Yeah, we, um, yeah, like, Cro it's Croc Justin. Yes. Um, so we are going to be, yeah, bullying Justin. He doesn't do Discord, though, and I already think he has, like, his plate pretty full, but, like, you know, I want to ask. <laughs> no Crocs, right? We was, he, he hates Crocs. So, like, we always tease him about them, so we have to be, like, we have to butter him up as much as humanly possible when he comes in. Always too shy, right? Oh my gosh, it'd be amazing. How is this outfit? I don't know. It's missing something. I just don't know if this skirt is really the right call for me, you know? But yeah, like I've DM'd a little bit. I will save Crocs every day until you... That's true. Oh my God, Ashy. I like that. Like we, you will receive Crocs every day until you do this for us. <laughs> I never use it, right? I think, uh, I think I've looked at it like once. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. High stockings or socks, maybe? I know, I wonder, because it's like it's missing something in the middle, you know? But then I feel like these shoes just aren't right, you know? When we do it with the, with these. I know it like never goes with anything, so I'm like trying so hard to use it. Should we use like these types of shoes? Or even like these. Your partner like D&D &D enough to DM us. Ooh, that's that's amazing. That's so funny, though. Um, I just feel like it's not it. It's cute, but it's not quite what I want. I don't know what I want, though, guys. That's the problem. I say that I I say that it's not what I'm looking for, but then I also don't know what I'm looking for. But, you know, it's kind of like one of those moments like, you know, when you know. Boots from Nifty Knitting. Um, those are a little bit too tall, I think. A little too wintry. Okay, so someone had suggested. Why are those so cute? Like baggier pants? I never do baggy pants on the top on the bottom because like I am a millennial. You know what I mean? Like, so do we just do baggier pants on the bottom and see what we can do? Like not cropped jeans necessarily. Because do they have like a big straight leg pant that would work? Um, all right, friends. So Twitch is actually going to play ads in just a second. So I am going to take a quick pause. And I shall return. All right, those are cute. I think so. The ones from Growing Together. Um, these ones are from University. Do they have ones from Growing Together? So yeah, Twitch is going to play ads in a sec. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick pause and we will be right back. Thank you for hanging with us. So it's a free way to support me. He said growing together. Oh, these ones are cuffed. I always feel so weird looking using big pants. I'm not used to it. My skinny jeans, I will die. I will die with my skinny jeans in my hands. Um, so we could do them in like a white color or like a light wash even. And pick like a pink top. Um, it's a struggle. Pink is not a color I do, and this is different from what I usually do. Marceline and Bonabelle. Oh, wait, no, that'd be so cute. Oh my god, Ashy, stop. Thank you for the follow. How the heck are you? Welcome to the bean garden. Kind of jeans I wear IRL, right? Like I wear skinny jeans all the time. I am like such a millennial, it actually pains me. Like, my flats and my Converse and my, like, skinny jeans. Every day of the week. 
Like, come on. Um, the chokehold that it has on me is, is kind of unreal, I think. This is actually so cute. Are they Converse like a shoe? There are. Um, there's a few of them. There is one in base game too, though. There's a few. There's like, I think there's one in, uh, yeah, there's one here, which I don't know if I'd wear for her. Cause like, I don't know. It just looks like she got tiny feet. You know what I mean? I love my low top Converse. I get the, the war flashbacks from wearing bell bottoms when I'm dragging on the floor and getting soaked and it rained. And then you just like slop your way through school and then you, they dry up and you get salt stains on them. It's a canon event. White stinkers for this fit, right? Um, even if they're like a chunkier shoe, the chunky shoes from the kids, I agree with you. Let's see if we could find one. So like, these are sneakers. What like chunky shoes would work? Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I really appreciate that. Those ones aren't like chunky enough. Maybe these. <clears throat> As your Walkman skips, right? I can't do baggy jeans like baggy sweatpants because lounging around, right? Like I can't do baggy even then. I'm just like, no. I'm the one skinny jean wears jeans prominently. I wear like, like leggings all the time. I don't know. I can't, I can't get over the, the big pants. It's something, it's this mental, I know it's like the 90s fashion and things are coming back and like Gen Z is super into it, but like, I can't, I don't know why. It just looks like she has tiny feet to me. Some people can pull it off with their Sims super well, but I'm like, yeah, but on my Sim, I think it looks like a pile of trash. You know, I'd rather do like my millennial outfit of the century. <laughs> and like my, my high rise, like crop toppy looking bull crap thing that I do. Oh my God. I'm like a one trick pony, my friends. A light wash jean with her. And like the, the chunky shoes do look okay here. A wide legged, high waisted jean with my Converse and my sweatshirt, right? Hi, Rose, welcome on in. Not the worst, right? Look better in your head. The Jenko jeans, oh my God, yes. Those are actually kind of like coming back, I guess. Um, I heard, I'm like, oh my God. It's actually so fun. Wait a freaking moment here for Ransa. Oh my God. Why is this so, the, the colored jeans make it way more high maintenance to me for some reason. Okay, the chunky shoes kind of make it for me. Like, I think it's these, I want to do chunky shoes for sure, but like what ones? Those are way too chunky. They just look like weird space boots. Sorry, I don't like those. Those are the 90s fit kit. Like I know they're supposed to be like Jordans. Oh my God. They're different pinks though. We're gonna use the other ones that I had. Here we go. Your research brain fired up. Nice. I like that. That's so cute, Ashy, that you found the correlation between that. Laundry day with the belt. Um, those ones are a little lower rise. They're really cute though. I think I, I wear those on my sim. Oh, <gasps> wait, what one should I do? I feel like the other one, like these ones with the tear, the rips just feel more high maintenance -y to me these ones feel more casual i don't know they just do i can't i can't put my finger on it there's something different about it they're really cute though especially with this watch white pants when i never know to find them and it stores the size i look i would never wear white pants in real life i'd put my sims on them all day but i'd never wear them myself i'm kind of with you i couldn't do it it's not my cup of tea for sure Ooh, all right, we're gonna do like this. Like one of these. How y'all feeling? Like that? No, that's kind of like an olive. The brown and the gold is cute. It's different. Don't expect them to say that way, right? More pink hair swatches without CC. I know, right? I think light pink would be perfect with her, Izzy. Instead of like the hot neon pink thing that was going on. Hi, Lisa. Oh my God, you got your sticker. I'm so glad you got it. Thanks for letting me know. I really hope you enjoy it. I friggin' love our stickers. I might be, I'm biased, but like, I think it's so cute. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for letting me know. Hi, Tawny, welcome on in. We are making our very first Sim. This is our bubblegum generation of our challenge. 
I am beyond excited to be doing this challenge. I'm going to wear, she wears this ring to like ward men off. We love men though. Um, here we go. That looks really cute. That very, very sparkly big ring. It's huge. Big, big. That's cute. What packs do you need for the challenge? Um, there's a lot of different, a, a lot of different packs. I do not know yet exactly. Um, for the first generation, at the very least, you need, um, get famous and spa day at the very least. Um, but I do not 100% know. And uh, high school years. Because trendy. Spa day, high school years, and get famous at the very, very least. Um... So there we go. I made a note at the bottom of it. So we're going to do that as we go because I don't I don't know. Your challenge is made. Yes, I know. I can't believe it. She's like bigger or nothing. Exactly. This is so cute. Should we give her? No, I don't think she really needs a necklace with this outfit. Like, here we go. We have her two ever her three everyday outfits made. All right, friends, this is not what we want to do for her, though. Um, For her formal wear. So we need to pick something big and pink, but like not like that. Would she go almost like a, a big like princess cut thing? Stickers, oh my God, they're the best. Yay, I'm so glad. You, I'm, I'm really glad that you guys like our stickers though. I seriously have so much fun with, um, with like sending them out and like, I love like getting mail is fun. Like that kind of mail is fun, I think. It kind of like breaks up the monotony in adult life. You know, like, oh, it's not bills, it's not spam. Oh my God, it's stickers. Like it's, it's exciting. It's giving like email, like the excitement that email used to give way back in the day. You know, she would wear a jumpsuit to make a statement. Ooh, I could see something like that, too. I was thinking that or like a really big, like fluffy kind of thing. Um, You know what I mean? A jumpsuit would be so cute, Brianna. That's a good idea, too. I'll see how I feel. Um, If you guys want to give a... If you guys want to give this a try, please do. Something like that is also very cute, but also that's more of like a party dress versus like a formal dress. Cause I feel like this one, she'd go like all out with it. Hmm. They really don't have like a big floofy dress, do they? I think like the biggest floofiest dress that we have is this, but it's giving Elsa. Um. Do you come in like a non neon thing? It does. Nice wedding dress. Uh, see if it has a pink swatch. Um, I am going to. It's like this one. There's also this one that's really cute. And it does come like with the pink, though. This actually might be the one. I think that's so cute. The dark pink at the bottom is nice, right? How do you feel about this one, though? It gives you like gives like Sleeping Beauty. I think I think this one is super, super on point for her. All right, let's give her some makeup and she needs eyelashes because like, yes, that just has to happen simply. I will give her like very pink eyeshadow, I think. Oh, that is too much. I feel like she'd be like more dainty and less like dark with it, though. Like This one's very, very crazy. This one's super cute, but not quite it. Here we go. With the pearls yeah i think like we could give her pearl accents like pearl like things and updo yeah let's see what we could find for like her hairstyle so we could actually change it um something that is big and curly of some sorts or even straightened you know it doesn't have to be that oh <sighs> because you could totally do it what kind of updo um i'm gonna unfilter formal because i do what i want That one doesn't feel really right to me for her. Neither does this one. How about like, I don't know. It's like, it's different, but like, I don't know. There's a cute up to in high school years. Ooh, 
This one's like a high school years one here. This one's my wedding stories. Horse ranch bun. Um, I'm not sure. Let's look under here instead of like updos to see if we can find anything from down here. If that makes sense. There's always this one, but I use this one so stinking much because I really don't know what else to do. Uh, like the braided updo wasn't 100% right. Exactly. Like there's just there's to me, there has to be like more movement to it. This one has like the little beads and the details in it. Um, never spend too much time in cast. Oh, always spend too much time in cast and always sometimes never even use the um some outfits, right? Same. I, I do that too. I'll probably give her like one formal wear outfit though, because like that is one that we'll probably see like maybe once or twice in her life kind of thing. The braided updo, right? I think I did like the braided updo a little bit more as well. I'm kind of with you. What about this? Oh no, that one's more casual, I think. Um, thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. I really appreciate that. Especially the babies. I know, right? I like never use those either. I'm gonna sit on this one for a little bit and see how I actually like it. Wait a second. That's it. This is the one. This is it. This is it. Thanks for the follow. Welcome on by. If y'all don't know me, by the way, my name's Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. I'm a full-time content creator and I love The Sims. We're actually working on making our heiress for our um, jelly bean legacy challenge. So this is a brand new challenge. We came up together. This is our very first playthrough. Yup, right. This is the one. Exactly. I'm going to see if I can give her some big old dangly earrings too. Some like extra ones, like something like this. Those are cute. They're like kind of clipping through her hair, but it works. Bring it up to you. Reminds you of the wig since it was so heavy and the ears are host hidden. Right? I agree too, Diane. Like a poorly seated wig for sure. It reminds me of that as well. There's these, but these ones aren't as, like, you can't see those as much. So, those ones you can't really see. These ones aren't, like, as fancy to me in my head. So, we're totally just going to go with these big diamond ones or something. Okay. And then, cheeks. I feel like she's going to go a little bit more extra with certain things. like heavier on certain stuff, maybe. Would she go with like a darker, uh, darker one? I know she's so pretty. Oh, wow. It's giving very Barbie. Why do I kind of love it? It's like a perfect like 2016 matte, <laughs> like nude lipstick and a tiara and hats. I know, right? I wish we did too. That would be amazing if we had tiaras. And then for the the sprinkles on top, you guys, I literally love this so much. The fact that they added like the 2016 highlighter, I am like deceased. Is anyone else having a crush right now? Because like I am. 20 minutes crying. Aw, Mars, I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better. Sending forehead smoochies. Aw, sending you the best, my dear. <clears throat> I hope you feel better, though. A good cry is just letting it out. <sighs> Queer panic. I know, right? I'm like, ha, ah, I'm taken. Like the one I use. Hi, Angelina. Welcome on in. Victoria, good to see you. How are you? Welcome on in, friends. We are making um a our legacy sim. So she is our bubblegum generation of our not of not not so very our, our jelly bean challenge. It's going to be so weird to say that out loud. Should I give her like pearls or should we give her more jewels? Probably more jewels, I think. What do you guys think? Like more sparkle? Positively perfect, right? I think the jewels. After downloading the eyelash mod, where do you find them under? Uh, glasses. They also have one that's like a skin detail too somewhere. They have one that's glasses, so you can wear them with glasses and there's a different one. But the ones I have are glasses. More glam, I agree. Jewels, yes, right? I think so too. I think this necklace, the one that we had. Ooh, this one's a little bit better. That one's cuter. It matches the pearly thing a little bit better, I think. 
eyeliner. Oh, fuck, oh, I'm in glasses, right. Yeah, there's there's different ones um, that you can get. Uh, I don't have them though, but you can wear them with glasses as well. Like the other one, the other version that they have. There's a smaller pearl, they'd be okay. Ingen pearls are way too big. They are, I agree. I wish that they did have like smaller pearls. These ones are definitely gigantic for sure. Like hundred percent, I'm with you. We're gonna give her bigger nails. Like these ones for this outfit, I think. Um, I want to make them the same, even though I never have the patience for it. Right? What is the challenge? Can you can you explain it? So basically, it's a it's a legacy challenge. We made it yesterday. So each generation has like a little bit of a story that goes to them, and like you have to reach the top of a certain career, have so many kids, uh, do certain things, I guess, um, like max certain skills, and uh, like achieve a certain aspiration. So there's like there's a lot of things that you have to do for each generation. And um, it's kind of like a big story building style challenge. Highly recommend it. We came up with it yesterday. So this is our first play test through play test run, I guess. Um, and yeah, so there it's it's likely that there will be some adjustments being made to it as we go along. So just please be mindful of that. But yeah. I don't think I'm gonna wear a bracelet because like they're just not fitting. They're fit like working. Um, I'm going to give her a different pair of shoes for this. I feel like these ones are so cute and they come, they even come in like a pink color. That's perfect. Oh my God, hello. Okay. Sims lover, thank you so much for the six months. That's uh, it's called the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge, Victoria. So it's uh, it's only available in our Discord right now. Um, there's no like Google things on it. Um, if that makes sense. Thank you so much for the six months, Sims lover. Would you like to vote for one? Um, use your points to vote for one of the emotes on the left side. But yeah, it's in our Discord. Um, thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome on in. And um, yeah, so there's. Uh, it's a challenge that we made last night. There's nothing going to be on Google for it, but um, I'd be glad, of course, to share it with you guys. As you guys do that, as you guys want to come in Discord. There's a whole channel um, set up for it. So here we go. I think there were like these really cute like pigtail thingies that looked adorable. Something like, I don't know where they were. Um... This one is really cute, actually. This one will probably work very well because they were like double French, like pigtail French braid thingies going on for her. I don't know what pack they were from, though. Um, get, got the eyelashes. They're Kajiko eyelashes. If you do exclamation point mods in, uh, in Twitch chat, it'll give it to you or it'll give the link for you. Um, it's in my little Google Doc full of like all the resources and the things that I use. It's one of my only pieces of custom content that I use. <gasps> okay. This one's cuter. It just fits her better, I think. Braddy B, welcome on in. How are you doing today? The second one, perfect Sims lover. I will add that. Thank you again for your support, dear. That's so nice. There you are. I added it there. Um. Okay, so we are... Oh my God, we're making some really good progress though. We're like, I'm kind of feeling it. I like her outfits that we have. Hi, Silver, welcome on in. How you doing today? Good to see ya. We are working on our, um, our very first like legacy challenge. Welcome on in. We made this on stream yesterday. So I always do this with this blush. This is so cute. And then I'm going to give her her eyelashes back because we have to. Um, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. How you doing today? I'm so glad to have you. She'd have to have like the full glam ones all the time because that's her. Oh, enjoying watching me. Thank you. Welcome. And thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome on by. Um, my name's Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. We're doing um, our very own Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. First ever challenge that I've ever made. It's very cute. If you go to the link tree in my bio, if you're on TikTok, you can find my links and my link tree. And then you'll be able to find it for yourself if you want. It's brand new, hasn't been play tested, so there's things that are bound to change, but I feel like we're off to a really good start. I feel like it's gonna go good. Hi, Mel, welcome on in. How you doing? But basically, as we go along, we'll do like big vibe checks and get things figured out. 
enjoying you. I'm so glad you're here though. The Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. It's 10 generations long. Each generation has like a different flavor of jelly bean, if you will. And to give you guys like a quick synopsis, just to kind of start. So there's like some rules that you can find this in Discord um, or our Twitch chat. But basically we put this together last night and you use dice rolls to decide certain things. So I'm gonna read the, the first rules and then the first generation for you guys really fast. Um, so for this challenge, we use Google's dice roller for events such as fires, freezing to death, drowning, meteor events, curses, rodent fever, emotional death, and more. The dice will decide your Sims fate. So yes, they may live or die. Uh, roll three 20 sided dice as these scenarios arise. Um, if the majority are odd, you just you don't intervene and you just let it play out how it does. Um, if the majority of the numbers are numbers are even, you save your sim as you wish. So the dice are in your favor, basically, if they're even. Um, to determine the amount of children your sim is to have, roll a six-sided die, un unless the rules state otherwise. So roll a ten-sided dice to determine inheritance if your parent from your parent generation. The dice roll will determine the percentage of the money you get unless the rules state otherwise. So example is like two equals 20%, five equals 50%, and 10 equals 100% of the, like, the inheritance essentially. Um, so don't use any money cheats, like dress your Sims in their house with their respective colors. Hair color is optional if you want to do that. To choose an heir, roll a die or choose your favorite. Um, tag me on social media. So basically there's like a lot of packs that are used. We haven't narrowed it down yet. We're still in the process of that. So basically, um, the bubblegum generation, which is generation one, um, you love the color pink and everything associated with it. And you're very over the top with everything you do, including spending time with your partner. You're clingy and loud and you are sticky fingered. You love pink so much. You obsess over it and you have to have anything and everything pink, even if it isn't yours. You have a bright and uh, big and bright personality and crave external validation in any way possible. So you try your best to become an Internet influencer. On the side, you also create and sell pink outfits on Trendy. The world must be coated in pink. It's the best color after all. Um, so you're a kleptomaniac, cheerful, high maintenance sim, and you have to reach the top of the internet personality career, and then your aspiration is world famous celebrity. So then you have to reach the top of the social media career, like I said, complete your aspiration, max your mischief skill, um, invite in every sim who knocks on your door. Steal at least 10 pink things. Sell, create and sell pink outfits on Trendy. And you have to roll the dice to see how many children you have. And you start with 20,000 simoleons. Um, what if you have a boy? You, that's totally cool. You can still do that. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter like what the, uh, what the gender of the baby is or the sex of the baby is. Um, you can play it however you wish essentially. So yeah, so that's a, a quick synopsis of like what is going on with like the, the rules and then like the first generation and stuff like that. And oh my god, we just hit ads. Whoops. Sorry, beans. Sorry, beanies. I love it, right? Thank you. Thank you. Gee, wait, what happened? So you got a second interview from my interviews yesterday. That's exciting. Oh my god, that's really good. That is super amazing. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the four months. Welcome on in. Oh my God, that's amazing, Alpaca. Thank you. Would you like to allocate points? Um, we're doing an emote war. Would you like to vote on one of the emotes that are on the left side of the screen? Um, uh, yes, you can. Barb, you can dress your sim in masculine or feminine outfits. It doesn't matter. Um, so like we've had uh, a masculine sim masculine frame sim dress and feminine clothes because uh there's options in the game for that uh i don't use custom content i do a lot of uploading to the gallery and stuff like that and i just don't really enjoy using custom content because i have all the packs and it's just not my preferred way of playing the game i just don't enjoy custom content i find it to be overwhelming and there's way too many options and stuff like that so i just don't use it not gonna invite my children who knock on my sims door i don't think that would be cool <laughs> Nice smell. Got Arby's for lunch and uh, my cat won't leave you alone, right? Your cat craves the the curly fries if you got curly fries, I assume. But yeah, oh my God, that's so funny though. I love it. 
So this is going to be like a gym outfit for this sim. Ooh, something like this would be super cute. We want like the pink route. I feel like she would have like a matching entourage, though. You know, like everything would match because we got to use the, the fit kit. I think this would be adorable. I just don't know like what one I'd want to use, though. Thank you for the follow. Welcome into uh, welcome on in. I appreciate that. We're doing the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. My name's Zephyrin. My pronouns are she, her. So glad to have you. I think I'm going to filter the kit, though. Does anybody else in the chat, YouTube videos and stream okay? Background noise and audiobooks are too overstimulating. Uh, trying to figure out if it's just me or others too. Yes. Um, yep. I would try to focus too much on like what's going on in the story. So I find it to be overstimulating for that reason. So I really understand where you're coming from on that. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome on in. Yeah, that's why I don't use custom content. It's just, like I said, it's not my preferred. Um, but, you know, that's no shame to anyone who chooses to use it, of course, because I think it's all valid. Um, and I think that custom content creators are incredible. But I just find it to be overwhelming to have a lot of stuff in my game. And I, I feel like. To a point, my gameplay feels more accessible. And relatable to a lot of people. Because I don't use, I don't heavily mod and I don't do a lot of things like that. Uh, just like podcasts, but I love watching streams, right? Yeah, I get it. I listen, like as I'm working at night on things like after streams and stuff, like off camera, like if Dr. Gluon's on, Dr. Gluon's the one that I go to like every single time. Um, He's been my comfort streamer for like a really long time. Um, Fantastic though. So good. This is so cute, but I feel like it's way too much blue. Does that make sense? Like, or am I thinking too much into it? It's like the pinkest stuff that we can get. Um, I listen to documentaries while doing other stuff, mainly because I can tone it out when I need and I don't need to worry about the missing part of the plot when I ignore it. Right. No, that makes sense. Kind of CCUs depends on the uh, exactly right. And CCUs depends on how you like to play The Sims. A hundred percent. It does. I love that custom content is available for people who don't who aren't able to like have um to like get packs and stuff but then it's also not available to people who play on console right exactly right live it's very overwhelming um but like I'm I'm also like in the same breath like I'm also very sad that there are console players who can't get it you know they just can't they can't get custom content and that makes me so sad I understand that completely though uh overall when I see people use the in-game stuff as well exactly like I don't get me wrong like I think custom content creators are incredible they're so inventive they're so amazing don't get me wrong so that's not me like turning up my nose to that at all um I don't think any of you guys took that anyway that way anyway but yeah like literally amazing um so stinking pretty should I do like a little updo moment for her? Dang it. I hate like the little like this, the bones. <laughs> I don't like the bones. Give me pink or something. Here we go. This is it. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I really appreciate it. Oh my God. Wait, you guys, I got an idea. This is her nighttime outfit. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Give me a second. Maxis Match CC looks like more game. Yes, like um, back in the day, I did used to use like custom content and stuff. To, so don't like, like I did. I've I've used custom content in the in the past, but like, I really, um, where's like a bright green? I want like a greeny green, like a yellow green. Here we go. Let's get some more saturation here. Maybe some more brightness, less saturation, because I want it to look like here we go, like a cucumber melon moment, you know, the night cream. Yes. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, I can't think of what I was saying. Uh, literally, I don't know. I'll build a house uh, wall. Uh, it, it technically is custom content, but like it's not. But you can still uh, like I can still download it and then I can still see it. Same with like if you don't like upload a house to the gallery. If you have like, what's it called? Um, 
Yes, it's like it's like literally the same if you have like custom like photos that your sim took of your family kind of thing. It'll flag it, but like people can still download it when they download it. Like I whenever I upload things to the gallery like that that have those items, I always am like, hey, like it, it's no custom content, but like it's it's custom artwork or something. CC. Oh, I've used CC in the past. Yes. Um, I like using Maxis Match. Thank you, Jody. My brain went like shifted rails because you know ADHD is fun. But yeah, like um, all that. Oh my god, it's like a cucumber like face cream. I love that. That's so fun. More columns didn't flag. I know. Yes, that's a huge downside too. Cause yep, that'll that'll definitely do it. This is adorable. I'm so using this. This is like one of my favorite little like nighty things that we use. Like, I use this on so many sims, it's kind of ridiculous, actually. Would she use something like this instead? Or would she go for, like, this moment? I feel like she'd do this. We'll do that. Um, they can have smaller ones, I think, uh, if I think you were really wanting. Like, a lot of space and power. I don't think my computer would handle it. Uh, yeah, it can. Yep, like, like Perky said. We do have smaller ones. Though, just like Perky said. Oh my god, these are so cute! I really like her little like slides or whatever the kids call them these days. Um, where are these? Here we go. We will do some pink nails again. Um, uh, overstimulation and hunger, darn ADHD things. Aw, I get that, right? It's like, oh, it's awful. I hope you can get some good rest though, and like and eat some food. I get it. It's really, it's tough out there. I'm so sorry things are hard today, though. Um, so this is going to be her party outfit. So here I'm thinking, I don't, I don't know what I'm thinking. But I think maybe something like this could be really fun. Ooh, we should do something that's like super sequiny and like very glittery. Like this glittery makeup of some sorts. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. Maybe I'll go something like this because that's actually super cute because it toned it down a lot and it made it feel like something that she would totally use, in my opinion. Um, could you like some of her eyelashes? Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Oh my God, yes. Pasta now carbs help so much. They do. Aw, I'm so sorry you were having a hard time though, Mars. Right, Phoenix? I think she's so cute. Poppy on the gallery. I think we will. I'll post her on the gallery for you guys. The disco ball top. Oh, my God. The one from the one. What's the what's that one pack? Um, the one the oh, my God, I can't pronounce the word. It's a kit. Um, carnival wear street wear. Something like this might be super cute for her if I can find like the, the proper amount of pink. This may be adorable. I'm gonna I'm gonna see how I feel about it. The carnival streetwear. Um, what's her name? Her name is Poppy. So this is our first generation sim. So it's the bubblegum generation of our jelly bean legacy challenge. This is a legacy challenge my community and I came up with. Um, it's still very early to know like how good it's gonna go or like what it's gonna be like or something like that, but it's up on our Discord for those of you guys who wanna who might want to check it out. Oh my god, wait, why is this kind of adorable? Moonlight something. Yeah, there's also another one like Moonlight Chic. This one I think is even better. Oh, yeah, we're going to go like a lot more obnoxious with this one. OK, Moonlight Chic. Totally going to do it. I have all the packs. Um, So, yeah, we're going to go and we're going to do this. They like kind of work together. Moonlight Streetwear. Uh, Moonlight Chic, I think is what it's called. These are different textures and it kind of makes me upset. <sighs> Party girl, right? Like, it's making me want to pick a different top. That is so frustrating. It is like I want them to be the same. Would you pick like a different top? I think I'd pick a different top personally. Like if I were to if I were to do this. I don't know what I would pick. Her parte outfit. Um. Ooh. Oh, this one's like the oh my god, like the 
gothy looking one or something. I can't remember what that is, but it's so cool. I love that top. I'd have that in real life. I know right, the sparkles are definitely different. Like the, the skirt is super sequined and then the top is just different. And it, it's kind of, the tone matches, right? It makes it interesting for sure. <gasps> Wait, I wonder. I wonder if we have like a full body outfit in like any of these. That would work really well. Oh my God, here we go. I always forget that like full body outfits are a thing. Oh my God. These are so cute. What? That one is so fun. The dress from that pack, yes. Or this one. I feel like this one is definitely more her though. Like 100%. We're gonna do this one. And then we're gonna add some big heels, I think, of some sorts, like something pink, very pink. Here we go. That one, hands down, so cute. Um, and then a lot of her like everyday outfits were very toned down, but this is her party outfit. So I think it's, I think we're, you know, going big on these ones. Okay, I think I like this one a little bit more. Yeah, that's cute. Full glam, right? I know, I love it. Okay, then we're gonna go maybe this, but I'm gonna change the hue just a little bit. It's gotta be more like purpley, almost. There we go. Very good. She's turning out so good. I know. Isn't she the most adorable? I'm so excited. I'm so glad you guys like her the way that I do, too. I'm having a blast. And then, of course, we have to do the 2016 um, highlighter on everything because, yes. OK, and then her nails that we're going to do, I think I might go something a little bit different for these, maybe like black could to accent kind of what's going on there with her outfit. Hold on, let me see. Like big, long black nails. Here we go. Those are fun. I know I love the 2016 makeup too. Okay, wait, though. I think that's even better. That's even better. There we go. I feel on Discord channel earlier. I know I love everyone. I love everyone's like Sims and how different they are too. I agree. Like the ones that you guys are coming up with here. <gasps> wait a second. Um, she seems like she has a chihuahua or miniature poodle. I think I'm going to do like a pink miniature poodle. Like, I genuinely think that's what I'm going to do. Is this too much? I feel like it's too busy. What do you guys think? Is it too much or how are we feeling? That's too much for sure. Those ones are just very opaque. They They work in certain applications, but not this. I think no tights. Okay, okay. Let's go no tights. All right, so this is her outfit here. Oh, wait, no. Um, they have like a decent choker, I think in like high school years or something. There we go. Oh my God, she's so extra. I love her. I know I love this dress. Too much of ties, right? It's just too busy, I think. Oh God, she's so cute. <laughs> All right, we're going to go. Oh, God. Sometimes The Sims really says, like, let's accessorize. OK, so she's going to. Definitely have something pink. Oh, my God, wait, this is so cute, but there's no pink, so we can't use it. It's kind of the law of the land for her, though. Like, you, you got to do pink. You can't not do pink with her. That's too pink, though. I hate it when things are too pink. I really, I don't think we'll ever get it, but I would love to get like sliders and to be able to like color things. Al Woods Barbie, it really is, isn't it? I'm not mad about it. Okay, Island Living coming in hot, y'all. I'm just saying. Island Living is literally doing the most work in this on this pack. 
Okay, no Moonlight Chic. Some of these may work though, depending on like what one we decide to use. Oh, that's actually kind of cute though. Her hair set is so bad. I know. I would love to have that to be able to like change the hue or saturation of certain stuff. Oh my God, please. Uh, I would die if we could get that. That would be incredible. Wait, okay, so swimwear feminine. Oh, oh God, there's up. Oh God, I was like, where's the rest of them? Wait, why is this one so cute though? I really actually like those, dang it, but it doesn't come in the right color for me. Here we go, full on Barbiness. Island Living goes hard with their swimming suits. Hi, Maggie. Welcome on in. How you doing today? So glad to have you. We are working on our own challenge. So this is um, the Jelly Bean Challenge. And this is our first generation um, bubble gum. And her name is Poppy. She's very cute. She's going to be a Simfluencer, live in the city, be obsessed with her phone. And she's super clingy and kleptomaniac. Um, it's going to be wonderful. She's just kind of a vibe, you know? Why does that look cute on her? Why do I want to change her to have like this really adorable, like medium bob thing? Hold on a second, you guys. Why do I want to hold on? Not like, not like a wolf cut, but like... Why is that adorable? I know everything literally, literally looks so cute. Um, that one is not her. That one's cute on other Sims, but like not her. I don't think it's gonna, no, I don't think it's giving for her. Not the way that I wanted it to. Yeah, I think she might be a long hair girly for sure. If we could accessorize, however, you know, Do you guys agree that she's like a long hair girly? Directions? I do. do you, uh, I, I only use eyelashes, Mimi. I don't use any other custom content. A long hair girly? I agree. Um, Here is the jelly bean challenge. So if you are in our TikTok channel, make sure you join our Discord if you want these rules. Um, They're still kind of in development. They're there. The, the ground line is there, but they, it might there might be alterations or changes based on our findings when we play it kind of thing so it's subject to change but um please feel free to join in um there's like a whole channel associated with it and stuff i had surgery and had of the part of my head shaved i'm tempted to do the short length but i'm uh, real curly and look like a poodle right it's so hard to go really short with like curly hair i understand that so much i yeah as a curly hair girly i get it <laughs> So long hair girly. I think you guys are right on that one. I was like, ooh, she might look really cute with something though. But that is not today for her. Thank you, K Brown. Happy Friday. Thank you so stinking much. Seriously, 27 months. That's amazing. Welcome on in, K Brown. I hope you're having a good day though. Good to have you. So, um, hi, we're doing an emote war. Go ahead and let me know if you want to vote on one of the ones on the left side of the screen. Um, thank you so much for your support. You are amazing. I'm so grateful for that. That is such a long time. Like, I am incredibly grateful for you. Thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you. Oh my God. You pranked your boyfriend. What happened? Um, I got some time off today. Oh my god, Perky, that's awesome. I'm gonna go pull out my R stuff for the first time in a while. That sounds so good. Nope, um, I only use eyelashes, but all of my Sims are pretty vanilla, Cassidy. Welcome on in. Nice to meet you. How you doing today? My name's Steph, and my pronouns are she, her. But nope, no CC. Um, only eyelashes, because like, hello. Look at how much they do for her. <laughs> they just do so much. Like, look at her without, and look at her with. But that's, that's it. But um, my gameplay is pretty vanilla as far as like uh, mods and stuff go. So you're going to find pretty authentic, like pretty like mod free gameplay here. Um, 
just something we kind of like to do. Oh my God, would she wear lip gloss to the pool? I feel like she would wear lip gloss to the pool for a little something. Um, I'm thinking of starting the not so berry challenge again and starting a different save with my heir as a baby and start from the transferring her and the Simsy save as a young adult. That'd be so fun. Sims lover, you should do it. This hair, this hair is from Eco Lifestyle. So that's one of the packs that you can buy. Very cute. I love it. Would she have green eyes or do we like her with blue eyes? Not like those green, but like one of the green colors. Green eyes are different. I really like green, blue green. I kind of like, like those ones are kind of fun. Uh, there's kind of that. I think green is so pretty, right? I really like it. I like the green, same. I think I'm with you. Um... So now we're kind of looking at what we can do with like some of her like swimming suits and stuff. And I'm so bummed that they actually don't have like a, a good pink color, but I think we're on the right track here. Let's see if we can find like some good shoes. I feel like she'd wear these to the pool because like, yeah. Have you seen her? They're like those jelly clear through or see through shoes. Those are gorge, right? I really like them. Gorgina. <laughs> Okay, so I do want to change some of her makeup on like maybe her lip color or something when it comes to her, like some of her outfits. Like this one, I feel like I want to go like a, like a nude color for sure for her. So we can go like this. Can do like that. That is peak 2016, hello. And then we got this pink, this one here. And then this color, I think we're going to go like more of a like a baby pink color here. Or maybe try to like tone it up to like match her pants a little bit more. You know, like with the color. It's got to be like. Almost like a purpley pink color. Here we go. Let's see if we can change the hue just to scoot. That's so fun. I miss that one. Yes, you like it. Okay, so yeah, this is her one of her everyday outfits. This is a second everyday outfit. And then this is a third everyday outfit that we decided to give her. And then her formal wear looks like this. And then she has her athletic wear. And then this is her sleep wear. And then she has her party outfit. And then this was her um, pool outfit that we were working on with her. I know, I think she's so cute. Okay, I do really want to give this to her. And then I want to have like some sort of like cute shorts or something for her hot weather outfit. I think I'm going to give her two hot weather outfits, though. I think it'll really, it'll be nice. Hot weather. And then we're going to go to shorts and I'm going to see what I can find. Um, we actually quite like lately, we do have like a lot of really cute shorts options, though. I feel like some of these are adorable or even like um not those necessarily Ooh, these cottage living ones are adorable but I just don't know if that's like her you know what I mean Jesus they got some of these like real the tiniest little shorts I've ever seen in my life oh my god um like these ones are so small. I know she's so adorable. I think she's adorable too. Would she? Oh, no. Oh, man, I really like these, except like I don't really like the details for for her. Yes, this is going to be my Gen 1 Sim. Her name is Poppy. She's so cute. I'm obsessed with her. <gasps> it does come with like that big belt. Ooh, what about something like this? That does feel very appropriate for her, doesn't it? I know those are some Daisy Dukes, right? These feel like more dressy, less casual to me. Yeah, that, right? I think they're adorable. I think I'm with you. Um, and then we are going to give her like these platform sandals. And probably like white or pink. 
Those platform sandals are so cute. And then I'm gonna give her like probably like a French braid moment or something. Or something that is off on the side because like she's got a lot of hair and you know, if you have it in the wind like in the summertime, like uh uh, uh you're gonna bake to death if you're not careful with that. <laughs> like we need to be very careful. What about this? That's actually like the high pony moment is kind of cute. Um, I do not use custom content. Well, the only CC that I use are my eyelashes, but everything else that you see, there's no CC in my game in my game. Um so yeah, that is something that we do here. I know, I think it's very cute. And the pinks aren't bad together either. Like, I think they're kind of cute. Because sometimes your pinks are definitely not matching at all. They just don't really look the best. I also think for this, I don't know if I want to add like some makeup, but I think that I will. Seriously, Cassidy, I'm really surprised that they don't have eyelashes here either. I'm really wondering if they will end up like adding eyelashes for us eventually. Because, I mean, if you think about it, the Sims team has done a really, really, really good job of, um, like, implementing things from, like, CC creators and stuff. I feel like this is too much. I always like to add, like, a good amount of blush to the Sims when we do it. Here, like, what's this one? There's, like, the all-over blush stuff that you can use to make your Sim look warmer. But I just don't think it's like working with her eyelashes the way that I want it to. Or not the eyelashes, but her makeup. Um, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Fiend Gully, you love Miss Mesh Pinks. Nice. Yes, Kate. I'm so excited to do the um to do a new legacy challenge. So this is our very own legacy challenge. Um, it's called the Jelly Bean Legacy. This is our very first playthrough. We just made it last night. We put the rules together. And we're gonna be vibing together. Actually, you know what? No, I feel like for her like summer wear outfit like this, we're going to use this and then we're going to go really sheer on like a glossy look for her. There we go. It feels very summer, very fresh to me, in my opinion. Hustle has, yes, um, Home Chef Hustle has croc like shoes. They do. They added them and I laughed super hard and I loved it. Rules for the legacy. Um, you can find them in my Discord channel. So if you go to my, the link, the link tree in my bio, um, I highly recommend uh, you guys joining and I would really appreciate it because this is the first legacy challenge we've made together. Um, that you, oh my God, they're so cute. Wait, what? Oh my God, there's some artwork. That's so cute though. Um, posting your Sims and stuff like that. Yes, we're gonna be a little introvert. Yes, we will be building. We'll be doing like a little bit of play together too today. But um, yeah, when you join our Discord, make sure you react to the rules. You get the, the role. It's just like an anti-bot thing we have uh, for protection. And then if you can't see it, go to browse channels and then add it on the side over here. If you also have any other problems, we have a ticket system in here where you can ask one of us, like one of our moderators for help if you need. Um, but yeah, please, please, please do join the Discord and talk about the, the, the Jelly Bean Challenge and like play along, share your Sims, share your stuff that you're doing, ask questions as you go and give feedback on how you feel because we haven't played this yet. It's never been played. So this is very fresh and we wanna know um, what you guys think and how you feel. And I'll be like, I'll be making some like slight adjustments along the way as we like feel it out, you know? But yeah. Hi, Pineapple, you joined from Among Us streams. That's so exciting. Welcome on in. How are you today? Thanks so much for stopping by. We're doing um, our Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge is what we've called it. Very fun. We made a legacy challenge yesterday with expansions. Yes, this this has a lot of expansions. Um, we don't know exactly what ones yet. So far from what I know, I think the first generation has three. Spot A, high school years and get famous at the very least. There might be more though, but we're kind of accumulating those as we go and like letting and like jotting those down as we go. So we don't know 100% like what ones are out there yet. Um, so yeah, downloading uh, CC for the challenge right now. Oh, that's so exciting, Maggie. I love that. Enjoy yourself. If you guys do post on social media, please tag me um, and use the hashtag that's in the, the, the rules and stuff to let me know. I'm gonna head out. Oh my God, been asleep for the past 15 minutes. Oh my God, Casey. Yeah, yep, we, we wrote our own challenge yesterday. We put our brains together and I took feedback from you guys and like brainstormed ideas and it turned out really cute, I think. I think it's adorable. 
All right, this is gonna be that outfit. I wanna add one more outfit for her warm weather, I think. So let's pick something else that is kind of cute here too. So everything for her is supposed to be like pink. That's her thing for me at least, like my headcanon version of her. So bubblegum is the first generation. This is actually so cute. Okay, what kind of like skirt should we do? Should we do a skirt? I think a skirt would be adorable. If I can find like a good short one that really suits her, I think. Um, the Sim and the Sim and the Legacy Lore. So this is our founder. So it is her name is Poppy. So her entire like story, I guess. Uh, you can read it right here, but essentially she's a klepto, cheerful hype man and sim. Um, so you love the color pink and everything associated with it, and you're very over the top with everything that you do, including spending time with your partner. Um, clingy and loud and sticky fingered. You love pink so much, uh, you obsess over it. Um, you obsess over it. And uh, you have to have anything and everything pink, even if it isn't yours. You have a big and bright personality and crave external validation in any way possible. So you try your best to become an internet influencer. Um, on the side, you also create and sell pink outfits on Trendy. The world must be coated in pink. It's the best color after all. So there's a bunch of traits and a bunch of rules that go along with it. And you... So far, I think you have to have spot a high school years and get famous for at least the first gen um, because of the world famous celebrity and then the trendy thing and then the high maintenance stuff. Yeah. At the very least, that's what we have at the moment. Um, so you think like a tennis skirt? A tennis skirt would be so cute. This one's kind of cozy too, though. I think I really like this. Um, she's perfect, right? I think she's so adorable. Um, might be a little biased, though, of course, because we're making her, but I think she's so fun. The CC eyelashes, they're Kajiko eyelashes. If you go to the link tree in my bio, there's a little link that'll show you, um, there's, there's like a, a Google Doc at the bottom of it, and it shares all of the mods and CC that I use. It's a very short list. <laughs> I use, like, nothing. So, eyelashes are, like, the biggest part that I use. You base game in pots. Ooh, right. I really hope you can get your PlayStation back, though, for sure. These are so cute for her sandals. I think those will be really nice. I think this outfit's kind of adorable, though, for her, for this. Aw, thank you. I appreciate that. Welcome on in. How you doing today? Um, we will do uh, maybe like a different makeup look or maybe even no eyelash or eyeshadow. Maybe I'll do like a little bit of like a winged liner look because I feel like this is this is like 2016 to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> the chokehold that it has on me is unreal. In a month or two. Ooh, that's exciting. Okay, those are her two outfits. I feel like they're so cute. Maybe I will do this. Google Doc needs to be pinned in the Discord. It is. It, it's pinned in the uh, to the to its rightful channel or to its current channel. If you go to oh wait, I pinned it yesterday. That's weird. I'll pin it again. That's weird. There we go. I did pin it, but maybe I double dipped on accident. So that was my bad. Thank you for letting me know. The Jelly Bean Legacy. It's a challenge that we came up with that we made. Um, so. It's 10 generations long, and um, each generation has, like, specific things they got to do, kind of like a light storyline. So this is our bubblegum generation. If you want to learn more about it, there is a Google Doc in our, um, in our Discord, because we have, like, a specific channel set for it and stuff. Ooh, I'm going to put our eyelashes on. I forgot our eyelashes. Yeah, people have been posting their sims and asking questions and as you play through let us know how you feel about things and how things are going because it has not been play tested yet um oh right give it a try let me know your thoughts um i'll be making adjustments as i play along and it's like you guys are kind of giving me feedback to think like if things are too hard or too like impossible or something where's that dress from uh what dress were you talking about uh was it this one thanks for the follow welcome on in i appreciate that this one is from one of the kits. This is from the Carnival Streetwear kit. Like this one right here. Thanks for the follow. Welcome on in, everybody. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. 
join our lovely little community. We call ourselves the Bean Garden. I stream Sims full time, like Monday through Friday. So thank you for coming by, hanging out with us. Okay, so this is going to be her thing. Oh, the ballroom dress. Uh, my wedding stories is where this one's from. My wedding stories. It's really, really, really pretty. They make some really gorgeous items. I know she's so pretty, isn't she? She is like, I want to add like a little bit of a thing in there, a little blurb about that too. Like she's addicted to her phone kind of thing. Thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. um here we go you have to there we go i added this bit it says um uh, you crave external validation so you have a big and bright personality and crave external validation in any way possible you spend a lot of time posting to simstagram and social media your dream is to become one of those aesthetic influencers on the side you also create and sell pink outfits on trendy the world must be coated in pink Aw, thank you. I really appreciate that. You're so nice. Hi, Jojo. Welcome on in. Romper and slides from her nightwear from um, the nightwear. So her romper is actually from the Symptomates collection. It's a kit. And then the slides are from the Symptomates collection as well. So it's a kit that came out. It's actually they've got some cute items. There's like a bra that kind of has I think there's a bra that has like kind of a weird swatch on it and it just doesn't look that great. But overall, I feel like it's a very adorable pack, though. <gasps> this is so cute. I want her to be like very cozy, very, but still like very well put together in this outfit. I think there's like a jacket from Get Famous or maybe it's like base game or something right now um that could be adorable like this one i don't know that's too pink for her i think i'm so picky about it like i am very picky about like the shade of pink that we're putting her in all right full body what do you got for me do you have anything good would she be giving like i go skiing um expensive ski trips like would that be a thing that she does Oh my God. I kind of love this idea that she goes on vacation to Mount Komorebi and she goes skiing. I kind of love that idea so much. And posts a ton of pictures. The puffer jacket, the puffer jacket. I'm going to do that as like a secondary one, Christine. Oh my God. It's so cute, Marsh. I highly recommend it. It's adorable. Um, it's an adorable kit. Dakota's little Pepto. It's so cute, though. I love it. Um, here, let's do. Let's find. Oh my God, those boots! Those are so cute. Okay, that's like I'm on vacation. I I need to do our makeup and stuff, and like give her a hat or something. The pink winter dress. It's so cute. Um, okay, friends, so Twitch is going to play ads in a second. I'm going to pause. Um, thank you for hanging out with me. I super duper appreciate you. I shall return in just a few minutes and I shall return. Hi, Jillian. Welcome on by. Good to see you today. How are you? Pink winter dress is so cute. Um, so there's like that puffer jacket that someone had mentioned. Where are we at? Like this one. Oh, my God, it's got the little bunny. I wish it didn't have the bunny in there, though. Don't they have another puffer jacket or is it only this one? I genuinely don't know. Man. It's really close. Like, honestly, if it didn't have the little bunny in there, I just feel like that wouldn't be her, you know? What if it had like bright pink pants or something or pink pants? Thanks um, for coming on by. Post my sim in the Discord. Let's have a peek. I love that. So we have Mel that posted Bubble, Junior Bubbles Bean. I love it. 
That's so cute. Hey, welcome on in. Thanks for the follow. Hi, Ira. This is Bubbles Bazooka. I literally love Bubbles so much. Bubbles looks like the really weird, fun, over the top, quirky and to me. And I love that. And then this is um, Corellia. That's so pretty. I love the hair, December girl. And then Teenage Werewolf posted this take. Oh my God, this one's so sweet too. I love the makeup and like the whole aesthetic. Very like Tumblr aesthetic. I love it. Um, and then I post, I made like some little decals and stuff and I'm gonna do some things with those. And then, oh my God, the bubble braids is so cute, puppy. I love the fun aesthetic that you decided to give her with like the lots of different necklaces and like, oh my God, that's so cute. That's very adorable. And the big hoops. I like the bubble braids. Um, and then alien frogs. Oh my God. Why are they so adorable? How to find the rules again? Who can't find it? Um, yes. Give me one second here. Um, the hair. That's Rosa's. And then Tori. Oh my God. They're so pretty. I love the dress. The outfits that you chose for your summer are so cute. And this is Jen. Oh my God. Green Bean, the father of the bubblegum generation. I love that. Um, that is so cute. I love that. Thank you so much for the, um, for the follow. Welcome on in. The hair. Oh my God. The little boots and the, the sweater. Oh my God, that's adorable. I love this aesthetic that Winsome did. They're so cozy. Everyone looks so aesthetic. Ashy says this is one of her everyday five outfits. I love it. The pink hair is so is so cute, right? Thank you for the follows. Welcome on by. Um, and then my bubblegum gen. Um, oh my god, gummy beans. That's so cute. I love all the outfits and the way you guys like. Oh my God, so cute. With the backwards hat is so cute. Love the hair, right? And this is Amber. Oh my God, thank you for the follow. Welcome on by. Thank you guys for sharing your Sims. Those are so cute. So if you guys want, um, okay, so to see the channel with all of the things in there, um, you have to first react, read through the rules and then react to them. It'll give you a roll. And then if you're still not seeing it, go over to browse channels on the upper left. And then you have to like click it and enable it and like look for it and like follow it basically. It's really annoying. I hate that Discord function. Hi, welcome on in. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. How y'all doing? You're back. Welcome back. That hair is so good. So stinking good. Hi, Carla. Nice to meet you. Welcome on in. We're doing the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. So I'm making my heiress the first sim of our challenge. And I'm trying to decide what I want to go for, I guess. I don't think this is like pink enough. I like the puffer jacket idea, but I just don't. It's not what I'm thinking yet. <sighs> Let's see, because we gave her like a ski outfit. I still need to do her makeup and everything. Sounds so fun, right? Yeah, we made our own challenge and essentially it is. There's still some things to be adjusted on, obviously, because there's some things that might don't, might not go correctly or it might be a little too crazy or too easy. So we're going to make adjustments as we go. But if you guys want to give it a try, uh, let me know. It's in our Discord. Thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. Um, welcome back, Sims lover. Good to have you. I don't know what to put. Um... Because I really like the one outfit that she has, but I need something more. You know, it's got to be it's got to be something cozy. So maybe it's not quite as cold. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, do I put her like in a little cropped sweater moment or something? Because I feel like it would be so stinking cold if we did it. But also it's so extra and I think it would be adorable if we did that. We gave her like. Literally some like light wash jeans or something and big boots I overslept oh no Trini welcome on in I'm so sorry you overslept welcome on by anyone else's gallery being difficult that's a good question I don't know I haven't tried to upload anything for me personally but has anyone else had any problems oh my god I actually kind of like what we're doing here with this 
Very LA, it is. With a fun hat would be adorable, wouldn't it? Let's try like a big hat. What do we got? They've got some cute seasons ones. Oh my God. I wish we had like better pink swatches because we just don't. Pink is such a hard color to use, I think, in the game. Oh my God. Everything she would do is aesthetic. So I'm concerned that this is just not her. Um, uh, the there's jeans that have plaid on the bottom as well as the default swatch. Are they high waisted? Um, right, Brie, right. I think I like the do you, I like these high waisted jeans for sure. These ones are like one of my favorite ones. They're one of the base game ones. I think this is pretty gosh darn close though. I think we'll go here. Ah, uh, the red X's and some of the stuff. Oh, that's weird. Oh, it's what made you CC right. I get it. There's like no good hats. Oh my God, though. A little bucket hat. I see people pulling those off on their Sims like super well, though. Oh no. I think that's it. Hi, beep boop. Welcome on in. Good to see you. I hope you're having a good day. Horse Ranch pack a good one. Yes, Horse Ranch is a good um, it's a good pack. I really like it. Seasons has a white hat with a touch of pink. Um. Oh my God, would she wear this? They look like little like strawberries or little like berries on them. Horse Ranger Cottage Living. Um, I personally think either you'd be really happy with it. Depends on what you want to do. Do you want to have horses? Or do you want to have like cottage living? Either pack is really good for build by or for your um, create a sim. But really, I think it really depends on what aesthetic you're looking for, for sure. But both packs, I think you'd be happy with. Um, isn't I don't I think that's adorable, too. Puffball one, it shows white and pink as the swatch preview. So this one here. Like that one, that's such a cold pink color, though. I'm very picky about like my my pinks matching or my colors matching. I was like, oh, it's so close. Right, Brie? Oh, my God. The horse ranch is cute. I know it's a very icky pink. It's like a cold pink. It's weird. OK, let's go here. I want to add some like lipstick. This is so fun, though. Like she's going to go skiing. Brie, I am so excited for the new expansion as well. Um, the gurus have been tweeting about it, by the way, it's going to be really easy to make any of your existing builds that you might have made like apartments or something, or if you're making an apartment currently, it's going to be really easy for you to actually convert them into apartments. So like with the with the new pack. So um, build to your heart's content, guys, I'm just saying. And then also in addition to that, um, what's the hashtag again? Um, hashtag jelly bean challenge one word just like that cottage living is more universal like the eyes are not as specific that's super true as well i know right caitlin i feel that like they, they just keep coming all the new packs like oh my gosh i'm gonna give her some nails i feel like she's good for her i also want to do like a different hairstyle for her we're gonna do her hair pulled back on this one because i feel like it's got to be out of her face you know this one, she's actually like going skiing and whatever else, but. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I really appreciate that. How you doing today? <gasps> Wait, I don't know. Should I do like a blue hat or something to kind of go with it? Or even like a touch of yellow. To bring in the yellow from her boots. Do they have goggles. Uh, they do, but actually that is really cute. Oh my God. We're gonna go the white one because that is probably the best. Um, or even this one. Oh my God. Um, how can I make my Sims gameplay more interesting? Doing gameplay challenges is a really good way to start that. And shameless self plug, we're actually working on developing a challenge right now. We're doing our, face, our first playthrough of it, but um, looking up like legacy gameplay challenges and stuff like that can be really fun. Um, high school years, so we skipping it together and get famous with the expansions I don't have yet. They're so good. 
You're honestly getting there, Gil Caitlin. You're so close. What one should I do? Hi, Blue. Welcome on in. Uh, I'm also getting back into doing art, even though I don't have the ability to visualize I'm doing. I'm having fun and I love it. That's so that's exciting, though. I am so hyped for you to be getting back into art. That's so much fun. I hope you enjoy yourself. I'm going to do this, I think, out of all of these swatches. Actually, those ones are cute. I like the greeny yellow color. Out of the ex those expansions, which ones do I um, recommend? Um, high school years or get together. Get together, you're going to get, it has really, like both of them have really good build by and really good creatism. Um, uh, get together comes with clubs, which can be really handy. High school years, I haven't really gone to uh, like to high school before, but the build by and the creatism is so cute and the world is beautiful. I feel like depending on what aesthetic you want to go for, look into the items and see. High school years or get together, um, Snowy Escape is really adorable too, though. The really good packs. High School Years is really cute. Um, I would agree with what Brie is saying, but I feel like it's really like specific to your like your needs and like your preferences and your gameplay and like what you wanna like how you build. Because like I build very differently than someone else might, but like I think either of those, depending on what you want, you're gonna be pretty happy. I can't really recommend Get Famous all that much. Uh, it's kind of glitchy and like, I just don't find it as fun, but someone else might find it the best thing in the world, you know, kind of thing. I try to temper myself like that. Hi, Peggy. Welcome on in. Nice to meet you. How you doing today? Um, Beanies, we are working on our sim for our very first legacy challenge. Uh, college is at band. Oh, that stinks, Sophia. Um, high school years is kind of annoying because you don't actually play with high school, right? Um, I'm so pumped for the new expansion pack. I know me too. I'm super excited. I'll have some giveaways probably because of EA because I'm a part of the EA Game Changer or EA Creator Network. So I'll have some goodies for you guys. These are so stinking cute, y'all. This is our last outfit for her. And then I think we're actually ready to start building. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Here we go. I am doing so good. Game has got full, pretty old so fast, right? It does have some cool things, especially if you like building like mid-century, but it's not like a super strong pull. I wouldn't prioritize it in my humble opinion, you know? I just think you're gonna get more bang for your buck and more people find it to be more enjoyable for like those other ones for sure. I know, I'm so excited. I think we're gonna make her live like in a little adorable pink apartment. You know what I mean? Okay, guys, let's do a quick overview of Poppy right now. By the way, I'm going to make her love the color pink. Music genre, should she like pop? Does she like pop? I think she'd like pop. Um, I love growing together. It's my favorite pack, even though I barely use it because of trans representation with the Realm of Magic of Morgan. Right? Like, Realm of Magic is amazing for trans representation because yeah, Morgan is good. Um, growing together is also has trans representation. Did you know that, Thea? Um, Screamo. Oh, right. <laughs> new Age music because of high maintenance. What's new age music? Carla, thank you so much. I hope you have a cozy day. I really appreciate it, my dear. Have a good one. Happy Friday. Um, Screamo, oh my God, imagine. That would be so unassuming for her. Um, okay, so she enjoys dancing. The mermaids did representation as well. Um, I'm not 100% sure, actually. I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh, like it's relaxing stuff. Ah. Uh, Technically, I'm living as non-binary. Oh, do they really? I didn't know that. That's actually so cool. Um, yes, the woman in the, the trailer of Growing Together is trans. And I, the thing that I love the most, I actually had the chance to speak to the creative director of Growing Together. Um, I met her at TwitchCon. It was amazing. She's super cool, super nice. Really, really, really sweet. Um, she, I, I, I love how like you find out in dialogue by like, I think you end up like finding out through like people that she knows or like her husband or something like that. 
But the, the woman in the trailer of Growing Together is trans. Yeah, like one of the main like families. I don't remember what her name is. The retro station in The Sims 4. The retro, yes, old school Sims bangers. I know, that's the one that I, I typically have them listen to. Like if I have them have like headphones in and stuff. I love that. She's gonna love mischief. Um. Okay, wait. We're gonna go through these things here. Hi, Perky. Welcome on in. How you doing today? Acting. So she's gonna like. I don't know if she'll like acting necessarily, but like she wants to be an internet personality. So I don't know how that is. Um, horse riding, knitting, mixology, media production, nectar making, painting, programming. Pipe organ, research and debate, robotics, rock climbing. She's going to like skiing and snowboarding. I think that's totally what she's going to like. Celeste Michelson. Yes, that's it. Challenge packs. Yes, there's uh, so I don't know 100% yet, Caitlin. Like something Michelson for sure. Like Celeste or Constance or something. Celeste sounds right. Um... Um, so this is a challenge that we made up yesterday. So I know there's a lot of packs that are gonna be involved. We don't have an official list yet. So one thing that I want to do is as we're going through it, because we're doing our first play test through our play test run, um, there's at least spa day high school using get famous at the very least for the first one. Um, because of the things that you have to do and like the trades you have to have. Um I won't be able to make an adaptation of this specific challenge be base game, but um, I do want to make a base game only challenge, though, for sure. Like, I want to I want to make one. Um, the Jelly Bean Legacy. It's a legacy. Hi, Ian. Welcome. Uh, it's a challenge we came up with. It is. So basically, um, each generation is a different flavor of jelly bean and they have all of different things. So essentially, I'm going to start and like kind of overview the rules and then like the first little blob here. Um, so it says for this challenge, we use Google's dice roller for events such as fires, freezing to death, drowning, meteor events, curses, rodent fever, emotional death and more. We use the dice to decide your Sims fate. So, yes, they may live or they may die. Um, roll three 20 sided dice as scenarios arise, as those scenarios arise. So the majority of the numbers are odd if you do not intervene and let the game play out how it will. The majority of the numbers are even you save your Sims as you wish. So the dice are forever in your favor, essentially. Um, and then to determine the amount of children your sim is to have, roll a six-sided die unless the rules state otherwise. Um, so then basically you can determine your inheritance via this. You don't use any money cheats or something like that. Yes, high maintenance is spa day. You can also use, like, I would say if you don't have spa day, if you don't want to have high maintenance, you could do, like, you could do, like, you could pick like another one that kind of would go hand in hand with that. That would be one that you could like adapt to if you wanted to. Um, so basically, like you decorate your Sims with their house in their respective colors, like the hair color is optional if you want. Um, and then each gen kind of has like a story. So basically with bubblegum, you love the color pink and everything associated with it. And you're very clingy. You're very over the top with everything you do, including spending time with your partner. Clingy and loud and sticky fingered. You have you love pink so much you obsess over it and have to have anything and everything pink, even if it isn't yours. You have a big and bright personality and crave external validation in any way possible. You spend a lot of time posting to Simstagram and social media. Your dream is to be one of those aesthetic influencers. On the side, you also create and sell pink outfits on Trendy, which is something that came with high school years. Um, the world must be coated in pink. The best it's the best color after all. So basically, you have to reach the top of your branch for your career, the internet personality. You have to complete your aspiration. Excuse me. You have to max your mischief skill. And then you invite in every Sim who knocks on your door. Everyone. Steal at least 10 pink things in your lifetime. Um, you have to create and sell pink outfits on Trendy at any, at any rate at which you want to do. Um, you roll your dice to determine your children and then you begin with an X amount of money, like 20,000 millions. And then eventually, so like each generation kind of is impacted by the previous generation. So then Apple is generation two, so your child. So it says you try so hard to have the perfect life. Apple has a big, big love for family and children. They also like to bake and have all sorts of goodies around for their kids and all their friends. And Bubblegum wasn't the most attentive parent. So you try your best to be to make sure that your kids have it all. Um, your kids are as involved as you are and then some. And oh, you hate the color pink. 
So you're family oriented, a good bookworm, and you want to be a professor and you're a super parent aspiration. Um, so basically, you reach the top of your career, complete your aspiration, max your baking scale. And throughout your life, you uh, donate to charity. You always have baked goods in the house. All kids and teens have A's in school. And then you volunteer as a family once a week and you have at least three kids. Any romantic requirement for bubble gum? Um, not necessarily. But like you kind of just like find a lover however you want. There's not really a requirement for it, but you do at least have to have like um, however many kids the dice tells you, basically, if that makes sense. Um, but no romantic requirement. Um, there's not like a specific way that like you meet your spouse per se, if that makes sense, or your potential partner or whatever you decide on doing. That can kind of be up to you. I like to like have guidelines for certain things, I think, but like not be too granular in certain stuff. First message is my sim, but posted to social media has no contacts yet. It's like, feel free to stop and stare. I'm looking fresh to death. <laughs> That's very on brand, Izzy. I love that. For your pink of it, one uh, with no romance, not so very. I had her movie best bestie move in, and they platonically raise science babies. That could be cute too. Um, yeah. So like they they could be married, they could stay single, whatever you think bubblegum would do. Basically, I think would be really cute. Um, but yeah, and then basically each generation kind of is impacted. So like orange goes on, it's the third gen. Um, with your upbringing, there was so much pressure to be involved, involved in everything because like your apple was like super like, we got to do all the things and be like a humanitarian. Um, you never had a lot of time to explore what you actually enjoy because you were always so concerned with trying to please your parents. So as an adult, you like to dip your toes in a lot of different things. So you don't really make up your mind and you're unsure of what you like. So you try it all. Um, so traits are overachiever, non-committal, clumsy, and then you only work part time, so you can't work full time. And then you have to do the Renaissance sim as aspiration. So then you do your aspiration. You move twice in your adult life because you just don't know where you want to be. You change your hair color a bunch of times, pick any three hobbies and max skills to go with them, and then adopt at least one child or have a science baby. Um, orange is meat, right? And then pineapple. Your parent, Orange, couldn't commit to anything at all. You spent a lot of time on your own because Orange was always nose deep in their hobbies, leaving you to fend for yourself. As a teen, you snuck out to go to a lot of parties and loved that as an adult and still love that as an adult. Um, now your life is all about you and whatever you want to do. So nothing will ever get in your way and stop that. You are you're always dating around, texting others and are the biggest gossip on the side of town. And it even seems to ruin your relationship. I guess your partners can't handle honesty. Um, so your active self is self-absorbed and outgoing. Um, an actor as a career, and you need to be the villainous Valentine. So basically, as Pineapple, you need to reach the top of your actor career. You need to complete your aspiration. You need to max wellness and dancing. Dancing is like level five, so it's super easy. Um, you have to work out twice a week. Attend at least one party every weekend. Gossip with every, sing every single sim you talk to. So like a sim talks to you, you have to gossip with them. So you gossip with everybody. Um, you never marry and you have two children with children of Sims, which are exes. So you have to do that. And then Lime, thanks for the follow, by the way. Um, you grew up in a broken home and never had a stable life growing up. And the parent you lived with um, always went out partying. You spent a lot of time outside or painting, catching frogs and collecting other random things to decorate your room and eventually your house. With a lot of repressed feelings, you see, you feel yourself having no faith and trust in other Sims and accidentally find yourself conceiving a baby with a partner that you may event that you eventually marry, then divorce to, due to overwhelming jealousy. You have a lot of contempt for this child, but do your best to be at least a little better than Pineapple was to you. While being while trying to be a better better for your child, you give up mixology and the memories it brought you to, and decide to pursue your painting hobby full time so you can be a stay at home parent. Um, jealous and mean and creative. And then you are a mixologist and then you become a painter because you know the story. Um, and then your aspiration is the curator, which is like a collections one. Like you have to collect a bunch of random stuff. Um, you have to complete your aspiration. This one, you do not have to get to the top of your career track because like you switch gears and you kind of give up your dream. Like you focus so much on being a parent, if that makes sense. Um, so marry the parent of your child and then divorce due to jealousy issues. You have a home filled with your art. How, you have to complete the frog collection and you have one child. Um, Blueberry. 
Um, growing up, all you ever wanted was your parents to be together. You became obsessed with finding your one true love that you could grow old with. You spend a lot of time watching sad and romantic movies, writing sappy love songs, and yearning for love that may you may, you worry may never come. So in your free time, you sulk down to the local park and play songs on your guitar, hoping that the sim meant for you will one day be listening. Um, so you're gloomy, romantic, and socially awkward, and your career is a musician. Um, and then the soulmate aspiration so basically you have to reach the top of your music branch you complete your aspiration you max your guitar skill you have to busk on your guitar in parks you just have to go play your music and stuff you go and you like click on your guitar and you hit busk is what it is and then you only watch sad or romantic movies (laughs) you marry your first love and then you have a supportive dynamic with children and then you roll six-sided dice to determine your amount of children um i'm blueberry i love blueberry so much blueberry is such a mood and then grape you guys grape um you've had you've always had it all your parent was a famous musician and your way was always paid through everything including medical school and a donation to land you that perfect job as a doctor blueberry went through a lot as a kid but always tried to be a friend rather than a parent teaching you about humility was never a household topic and blueberry always told you that you were the best kid around and so your ego is as big as the moon you know went through life wanting and so now you have this lavish life to live so you're a snob ambitious and materialistic and then you're a doctor and you're fabulously wealthy aspiration so reach the top of your career you max your aspiration out and then you max your nectar making or juice making skill um you can marry a wealthy sim you host lavish dinner parties have a house with five bedrooms and roll six sided dice to determine the amount of children you have uh this one won't be base game friendly it's not um i wish it were i want to make a base game challenge though so keep your eyes peeled brie because this one has a lot of packs in it there's a lot of involvement with all the packs we just kind of like wrote the story and just ran with it but i do want to make a base game only one so stay tuned with that it'll be heavily story based again i think um so cappuccino is generation eight there's 10 gens. Um, you grew up watching your parent, Grape, never having to work for a thing, refusing any financial help. Um, you wanted to be different and pave your own way. You go off to university and are determined to make a life for yourself. So you decide to become a judge. Um, not yet. I don't have I don't have a list yet. Um, I'm working on making one as we go through. Uh because we haven't done like all the research yet. Judge, uh, judge comes with university. Um, so if you have university, you can be a judge. Um, you go off to university and are determined to make a life for yourself. So you decide to become a judge. In your free time, you love to study archaeology and pursue it as a pastime, traveling to Salvadorada and to go on digs for artifacts to bring back to your in-home collection. On your travels, you love you fall in love with a wonderful Sam and eventually marry and have children. So your perfection is hot-headed and proper you're a judge and you have the archaeology aspiration um reach the top of the law judge career branch and then you have to max your aspiration you have to max research and debate skill have a part-time job as a barista as a teen um have a coffee maker and drink at least once a day drink coffee at least once a day um you have to complete your ancient amiskin artifacts collection and then have two children by any means so like adoption science or woohoo or whatever whatever you want to do um so black licorice is generation nine and you are always traveling with your parents um when you were young so it really harmed your ability to make any friends yeah this is called a jelly bean challenge this is a challenge we made last night it's available in our discord channel which is in my bio the link tree in my bio if you want to get it it's still in works like it's still very rough draft right now um so you found friends in nature art and animals and the monster under your bed as you grow, you curiously explore the arcane and eventually stumble into Glimmerbrook and make your first friends with the spellcasters. They bring you in and teach you. Among them, you meet the love of your life. You grow close and start a family, but fate is a thief and your spouse disappears without a trace um, in an accident. Um, you give up your logic, your love for magic, and you lean into your artistic roots. You move yourself, your cats, and your child to San Myshuno in the arts district and begin your job as an arts critic um so you're a loner geek art lover and then you're an arts critic and you have the purveyor of potions aspiration don't reach the top oh so you have to reach the top of your career branch and then you do not complete your aspiration 
due to giving up magic for your child. So you don't, you give that up. So you just leave that behind. You don't complete that. Um, you become a spellcaster. And then you have three cats. When they finally marry, their spouse disappears shortly after the child is born. Um, you complete your crystal collection. Only friend as a child um, is the monster in the bed, so you don't use nightlights and then they'll show up and stuff. And you only have one child. So then there's Coconut, Generation 10. Um, you grew up in the city, but ne it never felt right for you. You want to get away, and so you move to Salani and quite literally let your worries wash away. You love animals, and even though you didn't grow up with both parents, you still had a life full of love, art, and nature. One day when you're exploring the island, you see a sim that is, it looks a lot like your parent that disappeared when you were born. You recognize them from the photos. And so then you are a loyal, vegetarian, loving, like, loves the outdoor sims. You're a floral designer beach life aspiration so basically you reach the top of your career you complete your aspiration you max gardening you have a greenhouse and you complete your seashell collection and you reunite your parents when black licorice air is an elder there you go maybe put some spellcaster above so magic so it makes more sense uh spellcaster uh, above giving up magic uh become spellcaster uh oh above oh i see that's true. We can we can flippy floppy those. There we go. Three cups a day. Honestly, though, right? Um. So yeah, that is the current draft. This is subject to change. The current draft of our challenge. Actually, included on parents affect us. I know, right? Like I we we were joking. I was like, is this the trauma challenge? <laughs> There's story continuity here, and then you guys can kind of fill in the blanks and kind of run with it as you see fit, and like write your stories and stuff. Um, AK, welcome on in. <clears throat> Want to do this challenge? I'm so invested in my current family life. Eight generations deep. Oh my God, I feel that though. My ADHD cannot stay focused. I know it got so dark last night. I can't even remember who came up with the whole part. Uh, give up hope part, but it's good, right? Um, love it so far. I know. I think it's so fun. So I tried to make it very open-ended. Like you can choose whatever gender non-binary sim you want um so yeah um paint your picture make them queer let's go whatever you want to do i tried to make that pretty open-ended because i think that you can do pretty much anything with them and it goes in rainbow order so that's always really fun my sims neighbors think she's annoying and i hate her pink home <laughs> you're on the right track izzy that's so funny you are playing it properly that's so funny welcome on in <laughs> izzy thank you for the lurk oh my god so this is poppy bean um poppy is okay this is bubblegum um world famous celebrity cheerful klepto high maintenance sim so this is one of her everyday outfits we're just gonna go through these and then we will build our apartment so this is her um formal outfit we have athletic wear this is her um sleepwear party outfit we got swimwear warm weather there's a few of them here and then we have her cold weather outfits um she's very extra i love her she's very mood she's a mood this is poppy bean her pronouns are she her and i'm gonna make her a dog because we need to have our little micro poodle thing um i need oh my god <laughs> wait would she no she would have not like a giant afghan hound but there's such a mood though that'd be so funny okay this is a bichon freeze oh my god already in the proper shirt right seriously literally i can't even make that up um a miniature poodle is absolutely a white miniature poodle i'm going to put this miniature poodle what would its name be and it's going to have a pink bow on its head because yes um, what is the most annoying dog name, like prissy dog name you can think of? Bubblegum or Bubbles, Bubblegum or Bubbles or Princess? Pinky, no, I don't know. Uh, Princess Bella, oh my God, Prince Fifi. Oh, Fifi, I just want to punch it already. Um, Fifi is awful. Let's do a poll. Um number Naomi give it to him oh my god that's so funny is he that's hilarious lady bubbles the first oh my god fluffy 
Fifi, Fifi or like Bubbles or Princess are good ones. I'm gonna go ahead and do like here. Muffy, oh my God, Muffy is a good one. So Muffy, Fifi or Princess. I really like those. All right, let me know what you guys want. Poodles can be pink. Yep, I think I might paint it like a light pink color. I might do that because you can totally dye them. You guys like Fifi? All right. Oh, my God, this is so good. We're going to go here and I'm going to do like the pat like a super pastel pink. And I'm just going to go. Oh, no. It like, oh, God, with the, the opacity. OK, this is going to be so annoying, you guys. So it looks like Fifi is winning. Someone farted across the street and she barks for 20 minutes. <laughs> Fifi is going to be talkative. You know, I'm just I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling it. That is too much of that. I'm going to go like more this direction, more of a warm pink color. Rather than like a cool pink. I think this is good. Be easier to change the color to pink instead of paint. Oh, wait, I forgot about that, that you can do that. That's a good point. I forgot that you can totally just change it. Oh my God, that's great. Here we go. Um, yeah, it's not letting me. I can only go like this. Like you're pretty much stuck with like that. Whenever she she pees, whenever someone is at the door. Oh my god, I bet. So this is Fifi. Challenge in the works. I uh, will challenge should I start. Um you can you can do this one. You can still get it right now if you want to. That's very pink. That is. Do you think I kind of like the pastel pink idea a little bit more, though? I think it's very like suiting of her. I need a boa dress, right? I'm going to do. Mirror mode is on. It's like. This is really hard to pick the right colors, you guys. Uh, pastel looks more pink more natural yeah like i feel like it would be like yeah she got her dog died but like it's not gonna be you know i don't know i feel like this is gonna be good the tail wagging i know i like how the tail's just like wagon what a good girl i like that one right it, the, the other one was like pepto bismol it really did jen you're so right S hold still I can't click your tail. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on by. Let's roll over on that belly so I can get those little. There we go. Oh, my God, the toes. Oh, my God. I think that's great. Here we go. OK. How we feeling? Um, the tail have a poof. That is a good question. I do not know. Um, the tail cannot have a poof from what I can see. So this braids, this coat and color. Here's fur. Let's check it out. Yeah, there's no um options or anything right now. I love the bow. I think I like the bow on her too. This is Princess Fifi for sure. Oh my god. Ah! So Fifi is smart, but Fifi is going to be vocal. Um, but we're going to change Fifi's. Fifi is a girl now. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. No poofy tails. Seriously, right? The skinny legs. I know it was so bad, wasn't it? Would Fifi be a puppy? So we can have optimal amount of time with Fifi? 
Or would Fifi be an adult? I feel like Fifi might be an adult. Oh my god, I know. Fifi's so... P Princess Fifi-licious the first, right? <laughs> Actual poodles have them. Um, wait, she's looking like she's puckering up. She did, didn't it? Can't play with vocal dogs, right? Wish us well, you guys. This is going to be so crazy. Okay. Um, it's locked by dog size. I think so. Okay, so here... I feel like that's it. Okay, we're going to change the walkies outfit, though. So she's going to have, like, a little pink collar. And then we're going to do a leash kind of thing or something. You got to have your bow everywhere, though. Tops. Da -da -da. Harnesses. No, there's not really any harnesses. So I think that's actually pretty good. There we go. Got the little collar and then we'll be we'll be all right. Here we go. And I got the other three day outfit. Uh, Trace is gone from being a pub, I think. Uh, no, he only picked two. So she has smart and vocal. Should she be like jumpy? Maybe no jumpy or maybe even like would she be aggressive from like not being trained properly? These dogs are more hostile when greeting others and might attack others when unless properly trained. Um, stubborn. Ooh, stubborn might be kind of cute. So these dogs don't like being told what to do. Yes. Stubborn. Oh, spoiled. What's spoiled? There's no spoiled here. So there's troublemaker, jumpy, hairy, hunter, independent, playful, stubborn, glutton, friendly, couch potato, active, adventurous. Spoiled is a cat one. Stubborn. I kind of like stubborn. We'll do stubborn. Maybe take off the smart and do troublemaker. We have oh, we have troublemaker, stubborn, vocal dog. There we go. Stubborn would be very on point. I agree. Stubborn from being spoiled. I like that. The little head turn right. The animation for stubborn is so good. Right, rat baby? I like it. It's good. All right, here is Fifi. You guys voted. And then we have Poppy. Oh my God. We're going to be living in this city, y'all. Oh my god um i want to right i want an adult anyway i think i know the picture is actually adorable though oh my god ah, i love this okay she's on the gallery there's poppy and fifi this is probably like oh my god like <laughs> Hi, King Fane. Welcome on in. So glad to have you. I think it's hilarious how the only auto hashtags are animal breeds. I know. I would love if we did like traits or something. <sighs> I'm so excited for this challenge, you guys. It's going to be awesome. I also want to tie my hair back, too, because we are just not giving right now. I like diffused my hair, but I've been too lazy to like do it or like do makeup or anything. So we're fine. I had Fifi when I was little. I can't remember her name. And she was also a poodle and absolutely awful. Oh, no. Like I've had really good experiences with poodles, but like I guess Cooper is a cockapoo. So not really. Well, I mean, yes, really. But like he's not really that. Oh, my. Jody, what are you doing? <laughs> Thank you for the biddies. Making sure I'm still awake, right? Oh my god, I feel you. I get it. Are you still awake? Um, you jump scared the whole chat. Uh-huh. You have a cockapoo too. So cute. Marsh, what color is yours? Mine is black and white. He's so sweet. Cockapoos are like a hypoallergenic poodle. They are. Um, they are low, low, low shed and low dander. Um, a poodle mix kava poo. Oh my god, I want a kava poo so bad. I we actually want like um a hi King Pain, see you later. Um we actually want like a, a schnauzer. I want to name him Babu. I want one so bad. Hi Mara. 
Check out my headset. I was so confused. You're like, what is going on? Like, why? Hello? Where are the dogs? <laughs> I get that, right? Thanks for coming by. Jody, I know Jody just loves to like troll us every single day. I get it. Yours is blue Merle. That's so cute. Yeah, ours, he's uh he's black and he's got like a little white patch on his like chest. He's so sweet. He's such a smuggly boy. Super calm. Very like just chill. Okay, so I want to make her like a little studio apartment. It's going to be pink. And she's like starting off as an influencer. So she's got to start small, right? Her and Fifi are going to be living together. Should I put it? Should I put her like over here in Culpepper? There's gremlins, which I don't want. I don't want like something that's super, super bad. But I do want her to have like a small apartment. Um, thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. I really appreciate that. Um. 60% a week. I feel that Penny Pizzazz is apartment. I want it to be small. Is Penny's big? That's a little too big for what I want, I think. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Um, what about this one? I have to choose a place to live. Thank you for the follow. How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden, friends. We're doing our, uh, we're starting um, building. We're going to build an apartment for her. This is our Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. Our Pomeranian, which is the smallest one. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. There is a studio. I think this one would be really cute, actually. Thank you for the follow and thank you for the biddies. Oh my God, welcome. One that's haunted. Um, not sure if I want a haunted one. I don't want one. That's that. Where would Jody and uh, Ashy like to put their biddies? Would you like them on the, the fire emote today? I know it's such a funny sound. Thank you so much for your support, y'all. Welcome on in. The fire. Okay. I know Jody's going to want that one. I will do that. I like it. Um. Ooh, this one is a needs TLC, but this one has gremlins. That one could be interesting. They're so small. Um, so this one is Penny Pizzazz. I'd have to move myself somewhere else. So like I could evict somebody else if I really wanted to. Like if that's the direction we decided to go. Man, all the good apartments are like taken. I guess there's good schools and on ley line. This one's pretty small, but it's not like super tiny. You like Penny's apartment, right? Because it's this one here. I do want her to have like a really small apartment. It's going to be like, like a studio kind of thing. So I do think that I, I might have to take like, something here like the spooky one I guess let's I guess let's do this let's do 18 Culpepper we're gonna go here the studio in the fashion district right Ooh, would that be where she goes the fashion district does seem like somewhere that we would like to live right because there's this big long one that needs TLC otherwise there's lively neighbors here too with the black and white rug there's this one here it's not too big Apartments of the Eagle Pack. Yes, I wanted to live in San Myshuno though. Hi, Joni or hi, Taylor. Welcome on in. Uh, Get Famous World doesn't have any apartments, and I wanted to have an apartment. I think this one's good. It just has lively neighbors, so that means like there's gonna be like noisy people. Just kick Penny out, right? Uh, I think her apartment's a little too big for what I want though. Because this one's a little smaller kind of what I have envisioned for her like layout and stuff. So I think we're going to do this. We're going to do we're going to move into this one. So bulldoze the whole lot. 500 simoleons a week. Um, yes, this is this is my sim for my new bean challenge. It is. So she has a little dog named Fifi. It's very cute. She's a, a barky poodle, a miniature poodle that is pink um, because it's very poppy. Okay, so we're gonna start off with like not a lot of things. Poppy, lives in the neighbors are only annoying and I went Poppy would be awake. That's true. That is a fair point. Hi, Elsie, it's going good. We are now in the building section of our little stream. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and just like strip down everything. And then we're gonna start from here. So like, I need to make this like all pink and everything. Rex, purchase just start. Um, basically you start off with whatever the money gives you. Um, in the studio with the fashion district of the black and white rug we were looking at. Right, yeah, I, I didn't want that one though. It was too big. Too big for me, I think. Um, this one is like just the right size because it doesn't have like the needs TLC, which I think is kind of annoying. I do like the the windows on this one, though, because they're not everywhere and they are like well spread out. I think this is actually awesome. Um, I do want to platform this, however, like I don't know how I want like the entryway to be. Like maybe this, like maybe I will like platform the rest of this or something. That could be kind of fun. Um, so me and platforms never. I know it's it's very shocking. I know. I know it's so surprising. I'm like, oh my god. Okay, so we could do a little something over here. I don't know. I don't know if that's even like what I want to do. I suppose I'm gonna come up with like my my floor plan first. So um i'm thinking we don't really have like i guess i could technically make like a big bedroom but i i think i'd be okay without one too you know like like an actual full-size bedroom so i'm thinking about like platforming one up and kind of like doing like an open concept kind of thing like these are her living quarters i'm going to make sure that we can fit and we can because it's three platform clicks per like thing basically um gonna be rough taking a dog out with an apartment um yeah it's not that bad because like it's a rabbit hole teleport thingy actually which i'm, I'm kind of grateful for actually i was like oh my god that's kind of easy um should we do we could do something like this kind of make the little entryway like that and I could even like manage to drag this back this way, maybe. I do kind of like that actually. And then uh, in real life, we lived in the 10th, uh, lived on the 10th and it took so much time. Oh my God. I used to live on the third floor when I was in my studio. Uh, I teleported, I sized it down. Oh, right. That too. Which lot is this? This is um, 1310 Sheik Street. So this is in the fashion district of San Myshuno. Thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. How you doing? Oh, this may be getting back to The Sims. Nice. Yes, I'm doing the jelly bean challenge. It's excited. Exciting. Um, it's a challenge that we made up in uh that we made up last night. And so we um yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm super excited to test it out because we haven't done any gameplay with it yet. So I have no idea how it's gonna go. A teleported like, right. Susie, that makes sense though. I can't they go out on their own like a through a doggy door. Ooh, right. I always lock my dogs in the house so they don't run away because they run no matter how happy they are, they just run. And I can't handle that. What does this challenge consist of? Um, there's 10 generations and there's like uh, a storyline that kind of goes um, from like generation to generation. Uh, bathroom where there are no windows, right? That would be an idea. So yeah, there's like, um, I've seen a little bit of things from the new pack. I'm super excited. This could be cute, right? Cause like those windows are huge. So this is like kind of like a, a my apartment would be a hallway if I just decided that. But one thing that I could do instead is like this. And I don't know like what door I'd want to have. So I'm just going to like slap this down. Sounds very exciting. Yes. So there's uh, the full challenge rules are on my Discord channel. Um, we just made it last night. They haven't really been played through or anything yet. So we're just doing like a play to test and whatnot. So, yeah. Hi, Jell, welcome on in. The Summer Circuit came in the mail. I'm so excited for you. I hope you enjoy. I'm so glad to see you. Thanks so much for coming by. Um, ooh, okay, I don't know like what aesthetic. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. This is gonna be good. I need to be really careful though because I need to remember we have a budget. But like for the right items, you know, I am on Twitch as well, Julie. If you wanna drop by, thank you for liking. The bubblegum, bubbled gum is the first generation. 
Does the sim asking to crash at your place comfort and invite everyone in? Um, I think so. I think it does. <clears throat> Thanks for the follow. <laughs> How the heck are you? Welcome to the bean garden. This is kind of fun for like a bedroom. I don't know. Um, I wanted to do like a, a studio apartment feel though. Like... We've got our bedroom over here. This could be like a bathroom and then um, a dining room, living room situation over here. So I don't know like what I how I want to map this out. I guess open floor plans are a thing because like my brain doesn't work that way. Uh, Bubblegum wallpaper for the Sims 2. Barely. Oh, my God. That's like such a. Such a throwback. Oh, my God. For real. You like the steps up. Thank you. This is the neighbor. Um who thinks I'm annoying and gives my number to sketch people. Wait, that's so funny. Okay, friends. So I need to be very careful because budget. So we're just going to try to get our bathroom in place. And then we're going to go from here because we should be able to do this pretty well. But I, I decided to go like all out on the bed that she has because like it's really cute. Well, then again, it's only like a thousand simoleons. So that's actually really not all that bad if I'm gonna be real with you. Like that's not horrible. This one's definitely not her vibe though. That's 900 simoleons, but it's too like, yeah, no, 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 that's not her. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on by, I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Um, Here, okay, let's do plumbing should i do like a shower like a walk-in shower i don't have a way to like bathe my dog then god dang it fifi fifi's just causing problems for all of us you guys already but like the one tub that i want to use is way 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 expensive it's like 2300 simoleons i think we're gonna do the stand-up shower thing and fifi can suck it fifi can suck it um open you can make the wall beside the bed into a fence instead oh right Travel the vet and bathe Fifi. Honestly, watch me. <laughs> Pack is the bed from? It's from the uh, the Modern Lux kit. It's very cute. It's one of the newest kits that just came out. Like just a little rabbit hole moment, right? I know. I wish they had like a groomer to do that. So it said more Kitty famous glam. Exactly. Um, I want to do the want to be famous glam for her for sure. If you wanted to be open, maybe you could try making the wall beside the bed into a fence instead. Um, I want it to feel closed off because it's like a a bedroom. Like it's a little suite, like a studio suite thing like this. Right? I know she probably would be the type to like, I'm, I'm not going to make rent, but I'm still going to pay my groomer anyway, you know, or pay my expensive groomer. That would be her. Like, this would be kind of cute if we, like, did this little step moment or something. I don't know, like, if I'd want it to be here. Hi, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the follow or uh, for coming and hanging out with us. We're doing the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge, and I am doing a little bit of building to kind of supplement ourselves here to get ourselves started. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for being here. What about that? And then we do like windows. Imagine if we did like, ooh, like a good stack moment. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to go like expensive looking. That's kind of fun. Uh, she's the dream of every client groomer. Four week schedule with all the add-ons. Exactly. Uh, I may play today. Yes. Yep. I have a feeling we're going to be on a good trajectory here to be able to play because I'm, I'm, it's an apartment and not a house. Which is like, you know, a big brain moment to speed race ourselves to like, to getting into the, um, <laughs> to getting into the gameplay. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I really appreciate that. So would she have, oh my God, the Strangerville doors. They've got the bedazzled knobs, you guys. That would be really cute. Thank you so much for the high bear. Thank you for the follow on, on Twitch, by the way. Welcome on in. Beans, if you don't know me, my name's Zephyr. My pronouns are she, her. Make sure you drop a follow right here on Twitch and TikTok and stuff. Um, and uh, vice versa. I've got a link tree in my bio with all of the goods. That's so cute. Um, I stream Sims full time. So thank you, guys. We're doing the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. It's my own legacy challenge that we came up with. And um, we're going to be playtesting it and figuring things out today. I know this door is so cute. Isn't it very her, though? 
Um, me, every every time uh, when my Sim is in a relationship with another Sim, they always text from them saying that they have been thinking of going on a date with another Sim. This needs to stop. Seriously. They're just like, is that them saying they want to be poly? You know, like, not everyone wants to be poly. Like, it's valid, but, like, it's not for everyone, you know? I get it. Give me a sec here, babies. I need to double check something real fast. I forgot like what I was going to double check anyway. I literally went to check something on my phone and then I immediately forgot because my brain is that way. We're just a mess. Anyway, let's pick a toilet. <laughs> so anyway, I know my brain is so annoying. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on by. I really appreciate that. Please uh, be sure to check out the link tree in my bio. You can find the challenge rules for this in my Discord. I haven't posted it anywhere on social media yet, but it will be eventually in the near future. Working on some things. Floor. Yeah. Yep. It depends. Uh, I usually do floors like last. I don't pick floors yet. Ooh. Okay. So like... I like this. I had my same date several people at once and then kissing on uh, one in front of them and then all the date and all the others. Oh my God. It, that is so chaotic because like your sims get so bent out of shape with that stuff, which is like valid because that would suck. Um, I do not stream on weekends. Um, so I will actually be gone for the weekend, but then I'll be back on Monday. I'm doing like longer marathon streams right now because of... um a hype challenge that we have going on on Twitch right now, which is super exciting. I feel like these windows are kind of like ruining everything for me, but I'm just going to steal this. And I think we're just going to go here and then I'm going to put my, I'm going to try to put the sink over here. Some sort of like a pedestal sink style moment. What do you guys think? I have mods with them and they don't want multiple partners that help so much, right? That is immensely helpful, actually. I like to have mods to help with that stuff. Like, ugh. I'm not the best at it. Ooh, like the gold accents, please. Look at how cute that is. That's adorable. Thank you, cats. I'm so glad you like my builds. I appreciate it. I'm trying to pick and like make this really glammed out like apartment. She doesn't have a lot of money right now, so I got to be really, really careful, but we're doing our best. I feel like that sink that we had was like the better one. MCC settings. Oh, yeah, that's right. I literally forgot about that. That MC command center has a setting for that. Like literally forgot. Um, oh, that's amazing though. Okay, friends, we got to figure out where I want this to go. Like, do you want to go here? Do I need to put you over this way? Maybe I just need to do it, but then I can't like raise it up either. Perms to see challenge rules on Discord. Um, so you, Discord did this really annoying update. It's silly. It's really, really, really dumb and I hate it. Um, you need to go to browse channels on the upper left and then you need to be able to click the box to like see it. It's really dumb. I hate it. It's awful. It's really confusing. Um, but yeah. So you need to be able to like follow the channel. Um, but also if you don't have the perms, you need to go to the rules and then react to them to be able to see that. You're so very welcome. Make pink stuff to decorate with some of the packs. Um, make, can I make pink stuff? What do you mean? Um, off to my kid from school. Uh, get your kid from school. All right, see you soon, Izzy. Thank you. <clears throat> so this is, oh my God, I'm going to go crazy. I am not in love with this. This is awful. Um... Usually, like, sometimes I do really well with floor plans, but I think the thing that's really messing me up is the fact that this is here. Like this. Maybe I'll just do that and we'll put this here. Like, I think that's actually okay with the sink right there. What do you guys think? Um, door next to the stairs look best, I think, right? Um, like down here. Oh, I never think to do this. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Hey, uh, we are an English only stream, please. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Um, welcome on by. 
Hope you're doing good. Um, again, we are English only. Um, and that's your last warning, please. My moderators and myself can only speak English. I think it does look really cute. Um, so I wonder, I wonder, like, they didn't come with, like, a, a high school year's, like, toilet or anything. Um, I'm starting the English. Um, I always avoided legacy challenge because I'm, uh, so picky about color. Right. I know. I get it. I'm so glad you're choosing to start it, though. Let me know how you feel. Um, it definitely is going to be, like, um... There's a lot more intricate things, like a lot more little details and stuff, I think. Maybe, perhaps. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe we'll just do like a basic cheap toilet. Ooh, this one's actually 400 simoleons, though. A wild ride it is. I think it'll be a lot of fun, though. I think it'll be really good. Red isn't my favorite when I would do it. I love pink, right? It starts off with pink, so I think that's like, ooh. It's a different one, because usually pink things are like really late in the challenges, too. Like, I think, personally. I always feel like they're, like, way off in the distance. Yeah, I think that this is the best layout. Here we go. We're totally going to go for this. Um, I'm going to pick a mirror. Um, Red isn't my favorite, but I'm going to do it. Like, I know, I think red is probably one of my least favorite colors, I think. Out of all of them, like, that's not saying a lot because, like, I don't hate it, but it's just not my preferred, I guess. Um, what about you for like your little high school years moment? Or we could just do like a, that one's kind of fun. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on by. I appreciate it. We are working on our, um, our build challenge friends. So this, or not build challenge, sorry. This is our, um, legacy gameplay challenge. So it's called the Jelly Bean Legacy. We made it last night. <gasps> wait the black accents are literally so cute oh my god i'm screaming um before i get super decorative heavy heavy i'm just gonna pick like my my basics and then we're just gonna lay down your floor tiling and then we'll come back to it but i think that this is begging for this flooring i'm just saying right here i love challenges um helping you pick new color combos right i know i get that too um new color combos um or monochrome houses it's such a fun challenge it is i love it i'm so glad you guys are so good getting so into it too it makes me feel really good so thank you that is so cute what do y'all think about that and i don't know what i want to do for like this top one though i didn't think that far um because like we've got some little little moments here you love the tile right i don't know what i want to do i guess i could go like that and like, I have no idea. Um, this platforms and shower is a cute idea. Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. I could do that and like continue it like this. Seems extra enough for her, right? Um, or maybe even like just straight up something different I think would be cute thanks for the follow welcome on in I really appreciate that so um if you guys are new here my name's Zephyr and my pronouns are she her we are doing um the jelly bean legacy challenge the same tile and top part but the pink accents I think right so like without pink accents right like this one because then we could also do like the platforms back to this uh vera loving this bathroom thank you i'm pretty excited for it too so i'm glad you are so we could do like one of these and then i could pick like some sort of like a, a trim piece that looks good with that pink oh my god that's so cute screaming screaming what do you guys think Um, what the f What? Hello? Oh my god! Gabby, thank you! <laughs> thank you! Oh 
Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my goodness. Oh no. Thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs. What the butts. Thank you so much. That is so nice of you. If you got gifted a sub, I hope you like your emotes, friends. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. So one thing that we do. Um, thank you. Hello. <laughs> I'm so speechless. Um, one thing that we do is I jot your name on our little turkey. And if you would like Gabby, let me know if you'd like to allocate all those points that you got towards one of those emotes on the left side, um, because we have, we're having an emote war today. And thank you for also contributing to the hype challenge as well. That's so nice. I'm so, so, so genuinely appreciative of that. Thank you. Holy heckaroonie. Oh my God. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I'm so grateful. Thank you. The bottom one, I love it. Yes! I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Yes! Oh my God, you guys. Please. Thank you. Yes, the emote war is still going. Thank you, Gabby. I put your name on there. I'm so appreciative. Oops, that's the wrong one. I had to do math. Don't mind that. Thank you. Yes! <laughs> um, thank you so much. If you got gifted a sub, I hope you like your emotes. I'm so grateful for your guys' support. Thank you. Can I have points to Monday to peek if you like? Um, we will go through our list and we will reach out to you guys. Um, I still have yet to do that. I'm like, ah, because we still have Monday's points. But that is something that we will totally do because um, I have them all written down um, and everything. Plato, what the frick? Don't make me cry, you guys. I am for real and oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. That is so nice of you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh my God, I can't. Ah! Don't do this to me. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Plato, where would you like to allocate your points, my dear? I will put your name on the little thingy, my bob. Oh, my butt cheeks. Thank you for that. That is literally so kind. Thank you for the follows and thank you for the likes on TikTok too, friends. I'm eternally grateful for y'all. <laughs> Susie. <laughs> that is a hype train. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for the follow. How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden, friends. If you got gifted a sub, I hope you like your emotes. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, you added it to peak. I knew. Oh my God. I knew it. Thank you so much um for the biddies let me know where you'd like your points to go oops hold on i'm doing math hold on y'all are so nice thank you for everything you guys oh my god flaming richard emote so you said richard flame emote i will do that thank you so much let me know where you'd like your emotes to go gal and um and hammy and sue let me know thank you so much <laughs> i'm very grateful everybody thank you so much we are in the middle of a hype challenge if you guys don't know so that bar that's at the top of the screen 
Um, we're voting that one, AK, we're voting that one next week. Potato actually suggested it, and I was like, that's so smart. <laughs> Punk princess! <laughs> the gap is closing! Oh my god! Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. This is a roller coaster. I know, Potato has the massive brain. Thank you so much, Punk Princess. Let me know um, what you would like to allocate your points to. Please at me in chat as well so I don't miss your message if you guys tell me. So I'm waiting to hear from Hanny and Susie. Hello? Oh no, help, help! <laughs> Help! Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi, Ian. Oh my god. Our community is going crazy right now. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Oh my god, so much just happened all at once. I know, I can't. <laughs> Thank you for the gifted subs, everybody. We are at a level eight hype trade, you guys. What the frick? Thank you so much. I know all these alerts are just so good. <laughs> Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Oh my god. Okay, so Jody, what the frick? Hello, Mel? Oh my god, you guys, I'm gonna have to get back to you guys because I can't see any of my alerts showing up on my thing again. Help! What is happening? Thank you so stinking much, you stinky butts. What the heck? Thank you for the gifted subs. I can't see any of your guys' gifted subs on my end right now. <laughs> um... Oh my god. You guys are literally breaking my my thing. You guys are level 9? What is happening? Oh my god. Yeah, Jackie, for real. Our Twitch community is so unhinged. Oh my goodness. Kirky, right? <laughs> Thank you so much everybody for all the gifted subs and stuff and the biddies. Oh my gosh. So, I can't see there was like Jody Ashy. Hold on, let me jot these down because like it literally, you guys broke it. Oh Jesus. Uh, Y'all literally broke it. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you so much though. If you got gifted a sub, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for supporting you guys. Um, and if you got a sub, I hope you enjoy your emotes. I know the death noise is evil. I forgot that one existed. I know that one literally scares me. Um, give me a sec here, BBs. I'm pulling up a different thing so I can actually see it. Okay. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Thank you so much for the biddies and thank you for the follow. Siri, Jackie, thank you so much for the rose on TikTok. The bathroom floor university or high school years. Yeah, high school years. Oh my god, imagine Bubblegum Jen dies already in pause. I would be like, what the frick is that? Um, so Jody, yes, please. Because <laughs> I can't see any of it. <laughs> and I'm big overwhelmed. Um, oh my god. <laughs> no, thank you so much for the biddies. And thank you, Platinum Plato, for the 200 biddies and Desiree as well. What the heck? The owl one is probably like one of my faves as well. Guys, if you don't know, the height challenge, the bar at the top of the screen. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Oh my God. The the bar at the top of the screen, y'all, is actually for um our hype challenge. So that means like if that bar fills up and depending on what like level we get to, determines like what oh my geez, Gwen! Oh my god! <laughs> Thank
thank you so much for level 10 hype train what what the heck is that a level 10 level 9 complete what thank you so much for the five gifted subs everybody we will totally catch up to you <laughs> oh no Thank you so much <laughs> for the biddies. And thank you so much for the gifted subs, everybody. Oh my God. We will get your points to allocate towards you. I can wait till it calms down for sure. <laughs> and then we will do that. Thank you, everybody. Oh my God. Um, If you guys don't know, let, let me show you. <clears throat> Twitch actually selected our community because you guys are unhinged, as you can see. Um basically <laughs> that's accurate play-doh <laughs> um i'm humbled so depending on like what level we get to twitch will send me really cool stuff and then i'm gonna give a lot of that stuff away to you guys so like there's some things that i can't give away so for instance like the led sign like that has my name on it makes sense for me to keep it but next up at 300,000 points is a nano leaf kit which i will give to you guys they're modular like uh customizable like led panels and they're super cool and if we end up hitting this i'll give you a rode mt2a um microphone and so on and so forth so that's how that works twitch is going to give me a bunch of goodies depending on what level we get to which is super cool oh my god so thank you guys. That's what that hype train or the hype challenge thingy is about and what that's what that is. Thank you so stinking much for that. <laughs> I'm innocent. You guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the biddies. Plato's like, wasn't me. Ah, uh, uh, that was that was alien frogs this time the hype and the time uh, the hype and the timer ends no um so the timer is kind of like our own little like extended stream subathon thing that i'm doing for like the four-year twitch partner anniversary thing what the frick oh my god excuse you thank you so much for the six gifted subs trancy <laughs> you guys don't do this to me oh my god i'm gonna cry don't do it i don't i know i don't know what to say so i just break and then i just cry <laughs> i can't decide help me thank you so much oh my god everyone i'm so speechless oh my god and then so the the hype challenge the experience bar potato ends on the 17th is when it does so that we have till the 17th to get as high as we can basically next friday the highest hype train we ever got i don't remember i think it was it was above 10 for sure i don't 100 percent remember um i think it was like 12 or 13 maybe um i don't know oh my god you guys i can't thank you so much i'm incredibly grateful um thank you for letting me be a streamer <laughs> Oh my god, poop is poop is charmer. <laughs> poop is charmer. <laughs> There's a nickname for you. Oh no. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs, poop is charmer. <laughs> That one's my favorite alert. The ton gifted sub one is my favorite. What the? F oh my god! Thank you so much, you guys. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> Oh my god. Um hello you guys. <laughs> Holy guacamole Batman. <laughs> Help. 
<laughs> oh my god you guys thank you so much for the gifted subs i literally don't know what to say thank you i'm i've i literally can't keep up thank you so much oh my goodness thank you so much oh my god <laughs> Oh my goodness, everybody. Thank you so much. I literally, oh Jesus, butts. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys are gonna top the sub train. What are you guys doing? Oh my God. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh my butts you guys thank you so much I literally cannot keep up with everything <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm dying, friends. I'm dying. Oh my god. The turtle. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my God. Thank you so much for the gifted subs, you guys. Level six for the hype challenge. And you guys are about to break our all-time Twitch record. Thank you so much. What the frick? If you're coming in on TikTok or Twitch, um, our Twitch community is going, oh my God. <laughs> Hello, friends. What is happening? Why? Oh my god! <laughs> I am dead. Thank you for the 100 gifted subs, you guys. Wait, wait, Paterno, thank you for the 100. What? What? Help! Help me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the follows. Oh my god, hi. Thank you so much, Paterno. What is, yeah, basically, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> um, Thank you for the follows. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I think I need to make another turkey <laughs> Thank you so much for the biddies and the gifted subs. Oh my God, Paterno, thank you for the 100 gifted subs. 
And we have some other gifted subs in there, but I literally cannot see out of my eyes right now. Um, <laughs> thank you so much if you took the time to gift any subs or anything or any bits or anything. Thank you so much. Um, hello. <laughs> I am so beyond speechless. I don't even know what to say. I'm really grateful for everything. Oh my God, you guys, what the frick? <laughs> Hello? Help. <laughs> this is such a big hype train. What is freaking happening? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you guys! I'm boogery. Help. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Thank you so much for the 20 gifted subs. I literally cannot see out of my eye holes right now, so I'm sorry. Um <laughs> Thank you for the biddies. I really appreciate that. I cannot see out of my eyeballs right now. Oh my god, platinum Plato. <laughs> Thank you so much for the gifted subs, you guys. Oh my God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What, Sue? <laughs> oh my God, I think Robo is broken. <laughs> I could read that one. What in the world? Hello, everyone. <laughs> Level 17? Thank you so much, everybody. I don't know what to say. That's the biggest hype train I've literally ever seen. Thank you so much. I literally don't know what to say. <laughs> Thank you for letting me be your streamer. <laughs> I adore this community so much for so many ways, in so many ways, but it's my pleasure to be able to do this with you guys. Um, you guys are unhinged and <laughs> I have never seen a high prinkle that high before. Thank you guys. Oh my God. Thank you so much, everybody. Oh Jesus frick. Oh my God. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> All I hear is the knocking. <laughs> Oh my god. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you for the knocking. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I can't see anything. So I usually thank everyone individually, but I am so full of tears right now that I can't see straight. Um, I did see Potato's name though. So Potato did gift 100 subs. So thank you for that. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I can hear things, but I can't see. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Oh my god. Um, I'm, I'm, I am okay. I think I'm sweating though. <laughs> I think we do need a new turkey. <laughs> I won't be able to catch up and do it on stream, but I will do it off stream for sure. I know. Thank you so much though. I'm really, really, really grateful. I'm like so washed over with gratitude. A 17, a level 17 hype train, you guys. I would love a hug. I love hugs. Oh my God. Toad Junior Turkey, right? We gotta have a baby turkey now. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. So I 
Uh, hi. <laughs> Hello. If you're new, I stream The Sims. And apparently I cry. <laughs> I know I know I cry this one apparently thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Is me crying chi every time. I know. I'm just so washed over with gratitude, you guys. <laughs> thank you for letting me share this space with you. Because that's what it's about for me. But thank you for supporting every single bit of the way. No matter what that's looked like. I really appreciate that. Oh my god, hello. Um, if you're coming in on oh Jesus butts. <laughs> <laughs> it fits the mood. Um, hello. Thank you so much for the biddies, everyone. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in. Um, thank you. Hi. <laughs> no idea. Hi, Moon Fairy, right? Um, the biggest hype train I've literally ever seen on Twitch ever. It's level 17. Um, and our hype challenge um is going up and i of words are hard i don't know oh madeline thank you <laughs> mel thank you for gifting this up to moon fairy we're level six on the hype challenge well done beanie boys beanie babies Thank you so much for that. Esther, thank you so much for lurking. Welcome on in. Oh my God. We've been working on our Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge and we're making a pink apartment for our Sim and y'all are unhinged uh, trash babies. Trash, wait, goblins. I don't know. Words are hard. Welcome all new friends. If you got gifted a sub, thank you so much for coming and I hope you enjoy your emotes. And if you were able to gift subs, thank you for doing that. Play-Doh. Trash baby goblins, right? I'm like, words are just wording right now. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you so much. <laughs> you guys. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Level 17 hype train. Level 17. Thank you so much, Turtle Ducky. Oh my God. <laughs> thank you so much for the gifted subs. <laughs> Turtle Ducky, thank you so much for that. And now the hype train is over and I'm just sweating out of every orifice ever. <laughs> <clears throat> that is so insane. Thank you so stinking much for the gifted subs, you guys. Oh my god. Thank you, Jen. Oh my goodness. Um, Turtle Ducky again. Thank you for the five. <laughs> <clears throat> um, hello. <laughs> Um, you have to go. Plato, thank you so much. I really, really super duper appreciate that. Um, hello. Hi. <laughs> I am utterly speechless, everybody. I don't even know what to say. Or thank you. Like for, for things like this, like thank you does not feel like a big enough thing. It's not a big enough word, in my opinion. So thank you for being letting me be a part of your day. And Thank you for impacting mine in such a profound way and allowing me to do what I do to impact others in the way that we do. So thank you. So I know this community is really precious to so many people and it is to me as well. So thank you so stinking much for all you guys do. Oh my God. But thank you. <laughs> I think I need water. <laughs> Oh, seriously, the kindest community. Y'all are unhinged like dumpster raccoons, though. <laughs> yes. Yep, LZ, it will be. Yep, they, they will be points to the emote war. 
um activity and business thank you chi chi i appreciate that <laughs> i can't see anything on my end at all i'm like oh no i'm sitting here like a duck and like a like a fish out of water kind of thing yeah like my stream element thing is not working properly still um seriously 22 hours on that clock oh my lanta all right friends um i hi red wine welcome on in we just had our biggest ever hype train um i am gonna go get some water really fast beth we had a level 17 hype train um <laughs> thank you oh my god you're still working on your sim i think that's you know the appropriate amount of time trini <laughs> oh no not the clock oh no <laughs> literally thank you everybody um i shall return in just a second i'm gonna go grab some water and go cry some more so <laughs> i'm gonna take a quick break um i'm gonna play some ads while i'm gone so i really really appreciate it be good while i'm gone um i will see you in just a sec <laughs> yeah we're almost we're, we're getting closer to like level seven of the hype challenge dude that's insane what is level six was level six the one Okay, so yeah, we hit where the nano leaf and then the, the microphone. Oh my god, I never imagined that we'd even get this far. That's so crazy. All right, beans, I will be right back. Hold tight, let's go get some water. Um, and I will be back in a moment. Thank you again, everybody. Oh my god. Uh, yes, so I will be giving the majority of them away to you guys, Madeline. If you do exclamation point hype challenge, Twitch will give me all the goodies depending on what level we reach the, you know, and, and all that and then i will be giving the majority of them away to you guys so thank you guys <laughs> i'm it's an honor to do what i do and it's an honor to give, do giveaways um i'll be right back hold tight friends i'm broken help um yes they they said that you get all the prizes all the ones leading up to like the top amount <clears throat> all right i'll see you guys in a sec hold tight <laughs>
Hello? What the frick, you guys? What is happening? <laughs> Hello? Thank you so much. What the heck? A tier three? Anonymous has a tier one. What the frick? Thank you so much, everybody. What? <laughs> they won't stop. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you, Chi. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. I'm back. <laughs> I stopped crying, but now I'm going to start crying again. What the frick? You guys are almost to level seven. Stop. <laughs> you guys, thank you so stinking much. You guys really do love some chaos. What the frick? <laughs> I really can't leave you guys unattended. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Elaine. I appreciate it. <laughs> you guys did nothing wrong. You guys are literally chaotic good. That, that is like the, the human embodiment of such. Honestly, thank you for the gifted subs, everybody. I literally don't know what to say. A tier three sub. Thank you to Anonymous for doing that. An Anonymous gifted. Oh, my God. Thank you, Anonymous. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> I was crying on the toilet. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michael. Oh. Take my glass horn. Thank you. <laughs> Good Friday energy. It is. What the heck? Um, hello, if you're new here. My name is Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. I am streaming The Sims, kind of. Um, <laughs> or trying to. There's the champagne, right? Michael made me liquid IV. I am so speechless, you guys. I literally am at a loss of words. Thank you for allowing me to be your streamer and thank you for being a part of my community. Toilet cries the best cries, honestly, though. Lemon lime. Do you like it? I haven't had it. I typically. Help. <laughs> thank you so much for the gifted sub turtle ducky. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Anonymous does mean that I get to vote. That is fair. Thank you, everybody. I know I'm broken. Thank you so much for the follow on TikTok. Welcome on in. Um, we're doing. <laughs> Paige, thank you so much for the five gifted subs, you guys. Wait, 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 Paige, thank you so much. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 850? What the frick, you guys? I really, really, really appreciate this. Y'all have no clue. I'm really, really glad to host this community with y'all. So thank you for being a part of it. Thank you for being the unhinged honey badgers of the internet. Oh, need some more liquid IV. <clears throat> I'm not crying, y'all are crying, right? <laughs> I know that someone's cutting onions. Uh, we do have a Discord. There's so many stickers. I don't even want to think about it. How many do we have? <laughs> I forgot about it. We've got a lot of admin work to do. We've got like a, a boatload of stickers. You guys are just sticker goblins. I know I forgot about stickers. Well, at least two. <laughs> 39? What? <laughs> 40? There's 40. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Sue. 
<laughs> that is my favorite alert. My favorite alert. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted sub suit. You are so kind. Oh my God. Uh, Nez has treatment next week. Oh my God, for sure. Thank you so much, my dear. I really hope that everything goes well with your dad. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting in that way as well. My, I worked hard on like choosing, like my 2 a.m. brain makes my, like it's stickers. Um, wait, no, my 2 a.m. brain makes the alerts. <laughs> I'm like severely sleepy and I get loopy and goofy and then those alerts are born basically. <laughs> I like them to be as unhinged as I am. Thank you so much, though. Aw, you're so very welcome, Sue. <laughs> For as many times in my life that I, especially in the last few years that I've needed a place, like, it is the honor of my, my existence to be able to be a space like that for somebody. And it's it's why I started for fun, but it's why I do what I do. So thank you for letting me be part of your day <laughs> and being a sense of comfort for so many people all over the sinking place. Aw, <laughs> thank you, Elena. Aw, sending you guys so many good vibes, though. Thank you, thank you. I have to get work today, right? <laughs> Cater, I'm so glad to see you. How are you doing? I saw you come in earlier. Ugh, I am very strong and I do not cry ever. Uh, <laughs> so I am very powerful and strong. Thank you for the five gifted subs. <laughs> That was very well timed. Jiggly Claw's actually a paid actor. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for the gifted sob. That is so nice. <laughs> Welcome on in. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. If you got gifted a sub today or any other day, I hope you enjoy your emotes, you guys. There's some of the cutest emotes out there on Twitch. Um, We got some stickers to give away. I don't know if I have the capacity right now. Maybe. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. My eyeballs are... <laughs> they're leaking thank you so much for the five gifted subs welcome on in i know the tone alerts are my favorite eggy have you seen my 10 gifted sub alert i'll have to show you sometime eggy <laughs> i don't know what to do what was that name that that the, the bot gave cater I know it's Cater's gonna Kate, but it was Katra's gonna Kat -ka -ka. <laughs> What was that? Eggy, right? Level seven is coming so soon. Our community also did a level 17 hype train and I literally don't know how to compute right now. I've been sitting here crying and then I cried on the toilet and then I cried in the kitchen and now I'm crying here again. <sighs> Thank you. 17. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Beans, if you don't know my friend Eggy, go drop them a follow. Cotter's gonna ca -ca -ca. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I know. What has Michael said? He looked at me and he was like, like endearingly. And I'm like, ah, and then I started crying. I'm like, oh my God. He's about as flabbergasted as I am. Cotter's gonna ca ca, -ca. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Oh my God. I love you guys too. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Um, yes, there's a link to the legacy. It's in our Discord channel if you'd like to grab it. 
Um, there's a special channel for it. It's still kind of in the works. It's a very rough draft so far. Um, would we like to do some sticker giveaways? I think we should do some sticker giveaways. We've got a bunch to do. So let's go ahead. If you guys don't know, I am a full-time content creator, but one thing that's really important to me is as you guys choose to support, we give away stickers to the community. So go ahead and type sticky, S-T-I-C-K-Y. I literally love giving something back to you guys, something for you to hang on to, something for you to put somewhere, whatever. So we do, um, we get you guys involved with actually helping create these stickers. So this one's brought to you by, by uh, Poopus Charmer, as I called them earlier, and also Jody. So thank you to Jody and Poopus Charmer. <laughs> making this happen so if you guys would like a sticker they're limited edition like seasonal ones that rotate with the seasons and stuff because i am a kindergarten teacher so i love the poop is charmer <laughs> yeah. um a sticker can we try for it yes you can still you can win as many as you'd like we have people that have won like four or five or six you can totally do it if you would like you can enter I do play The Sims, yes. <laughs> Occasionally my computer does like me, or my, com my community, not my computer. Occasionally our community does allow me to play. <laughs> From the side, let's go to Peking Richard for sure. We have a list 10 miles long. I will absolutely do some catching up. We've got a lot of catching up to do for the points, <laughs> but they shall be honored and allocated. You've never seen me play The Sims. We cry. Like, I cry because you guys bust me and then I talk with my hands, so it just doesn't happen. <laughs> Ricky! Ricky, go ahead and send a message to Kaz. So the way that this works, you need to send him a message and he'll respond with a special form for you to fill out. The Sims is open, exactly. I always joke that as a Simmer, we have, um, we do this, uh, just, just once. Um, we, sometimes we refresh the queue, but like until it's just, it's just once. The Sims is a really nice screensaver. A retro sticker, right. We do have some of those to give away. We have like a bunch. So stay tuned for retro stickers. Um, go ahead, Mimo, send a message to Kaz. Thank you guys for your support though. I love commissioning our artists to do these, like getting these stickers and sending them out to you guys um, because I love something. I love to give back to you guys as much as I possibly can. <laughs> And I love stickers. So like, it's also kind of like a self-fulfilling thing too. Cause like, I love stickers. So it's like selfish. Cause I want stickers too. <laughs> so thank you guys. The stickers are so cute, right? I love them. Thank you, Paterno. They're very good quality. I do not mess around. Um, so that was Mimo, and then we have Barb. Go ahead and send a message to Kaz. We have some community members that literally have all of them. I think Nerd has all of them. <clears throat> See, Cooper, it was it was a uh, it was given back <laughs> for now at least. Thank you so much. <gasps> yes, Mel, you've got to get a sticker board. Yes, Nerd posts pictures of theirs. Um, Barb, go ahead and whisper Kaz. He's got your form waiting for you. And then we have Detushi. These are real life stickers that I'll send to you guys in the mail. Just so you guys know, um, we've given literal thousands of stickers away over the years. And the magnets. I need to do that. I like, I have all of mine. Like, I've always kept one for myself, but I haven't done anything. Uh, this is one of the ones in, it's, it's 1310 Sheik Street. So it's in the fashion district. I know so many people on the Discord today. I love that, you guys. I love it. Thank you for supporting me and making this fun shell this fun challenge as well. I can't wait to see what you guys do. Yeah, our Discord gained like so many people today. I love that. Thank you for joining, everybody. Like y'all are amazing. I'm really glad. Um Hey, Jatek, uh, don't be rude. We are doing sticker giveaways. I will play when I want to. <clears throat> so please don't be rude. Read the room. Streamers are not here to dance for you. We are giving away stickers and then we shall go. Um, many new people. I know so many new people on the Discord. Um, I'm almost done with the shell challenge, but I feel like I've got to start over after looking at it. Right, Elena? I know there's so many people doing that for real. Um, first four done. All right, next up we have Perky Labyrinth. 
<clears throat> so many new people, I think. I'm not sure. Well, the, the challenge, I guess, really, honestly, because like we have our, our, our new, the gameplay challenge in Discord. Um, um, we're building right now. So I'm making a cute little apartment and I'm hoping to dive into a little bit of gameplay today. Um, no, no gameplay yet. Rotten Lady, I'm so excited. We had the most humbling hype train I've ever seen on Twitch. And y'all are unhinged honey badgers. Um, <laughs> so thank you for everything. Have you missed anything? I know! I'm so excited. So we gave her a little dog named Fifi. On your big water bottle, I've run out of room on my corkboard. Ooh, right. This challenge is so good. Do you, oh my God, are you guys so excited? I'm glad you guys are hyped about it. I am working on, um, I'm working on, um, what's it called? Uh, I want to make a website, like my own website. And then where you can go and you can like look at my merch and stuff. Cause I'm going to redo my merch store. And then you guys are also going to be able to like, look at all the challenges that we will make in the future, including this one on there. So I want to do that. That's one of my dreams. Sina meow. Go ahead and send a message to Kaz. Happy bounce on couch. So excited. I know. I'm so excited. Merch. Yay. I know I have like three or four designs that have been uh, commissioned by Maple. And then I also have I bought uh, well, not I didn't buy Michael bought me an iPad. So then I can doodle and make things and stuff and all that and like better graphics for certain stuff that we want to do and then make some like quick and fun merch designs that we come up with like our pillar one. And then there's also the pickle one that I want to make. Uh, no, this bed is actually I, oh, my God, I love making watching Maple draw, too. It's so soothing. She's so cool. I love Maple. Um, and then there's also uh, no, this is um, the modern Lux kit is what this is. Elena Lila Martin. Is it Martin? Martin? Elena, go ahead and whisper Kaz. I was worried that the challenges of bad jelly beans from Bean Boozled. We considered it. <clears throat> so eventually, I don't think we'll make it the jelly bean challenge. I, but I want to make another challenge where we do a base game only challenge. That'll be like a whole different challenge. But I want to figure something out. <clears throat> um seriously right i know punk princess isn't it awesome i can't believe it i don't know what to say i have goosebumps y'all i'm very humbled thank you for everything everybody you guys are so nice and so sweet rotten egg generation oh my god imagine <laughs> dirty dishwater um cat in human suit cat in human suit go ahead and send a message to kaz hi wifey it's going so good how are you oh my god liquid iv literally bails me out i hate drinking regular water but liquid iv got me lit yay yes if you guys need help figuring out how to whisper on twitch let us know which flavor do you have? This is golden cherry. We have, oh my God, someone mentioned they like the grape one. I like the grape and I love the watermelon. Golden cherry is delicious. And I really like the tropical punch one. Dirty sock. Oh my God, the dog food one tastes so terrible. First time, uh, oh my God, did that's so exciting. Just some days for your birthday. Happy early birthday, my dear. I hope you do something nice for yourself. That's so exciting. Um, hint. I hear good things about hint. Uh, took a little break. What are we doing now? We are doing a bunch of sticker giveaways. Would you like some, Izzy? Um, you can type sticky in chat, just like wifey did there in chat. If you guys haven't entered yet, it's thick. Yes, that is what everybody says. Like, it's thick. It's so weird because like they do all of the other flavors good, except for strawberry, which is usually like, you know, you do strawberry, right, but you do everything else wrong. Like, literally, it's so thick. It's weird. It's like strawberries and cream, but like thick. <laughs> Trying to calm down. I know my eyeballs are so like, <laughs> they're so raw. Yay, Did, that's so exciting. Congratulations. Brenda Lee 84, go ahead and whisper Kaz. Strawberry's the best artificial flavor except for liquid IV, right? I agree. What are we building at the moment? We are working on the apartment for the first generation wifey. So this is gonna be, um, this is Bubblegum. Her name is Poppy. 
uh, Poppy Bean, I think is what we named her, but she has a little dog named Fifi. <laughs> And it's a little poodle that is like really barky and skittish and mean. <laughs> and she's going to be an inter internet influencer. Um, like the really annoying kind. I know. So cute, though. Sienna Lee. Sienna, go ahead and send a message to Kaz. He's got your form waiting for you. CC. Another oh, Fifi and CC. Oh, my God. Imagine, though. <clears throat> How does this purpley color look? I kind of like it a little bit more than like the pink. I think that actually looks really cute. It's kind of like a purpley pink color, but like it's not pink. So like, I feel like I should pick a different color. It's like purple. I hate it. Like, don't tell Shella. I'm just kidding, but also you can tell her. We will make enemies. <laughs> I like the pink, right? Um, like the color that I had before. <clears throat> Perky, thank you so much. I'm so glad you got picked for a sticker. That is really exciting. Congratulations, everybody. Um, and then ha it's Hollywood. Go ahead and send a message to Kaz. We're waiting on Cena. If you guys need help, let us know. This is better, right? I think the darker one is better. And it's pink because she likes pink. You know, she doesn't like purple. Um, Fifi only drinks water, purified water and hand caught salmon and free range chicken breast. Right, exactly. And she knows if it's not free range. Uh, send stickers. Uh, it's like in an envelope, just like a regular little envelope is how I send them. So I send them via regular mail. I send them worldwide. Right, it's, it, there's cute, right? I think this is the right way to go. Also, someone sent my platforms. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you like my platforms. What is this? Um, what is this? I don't know if I want to do like this color. Should we do like a purple? Pink instead of purpley pink. I can't talk right now. No, right, right. Building the bubblegum base, right? Oh my God, we call it the bubblegum base. It'll come in your birthday month. Cat, that's so exciting. Yes, this will be functional. And you receive stickers in less than a week. That's so crazy, Jody. I literally can't believe it. That's so awesome. I like how the stickers were so quick to get to you. I was really worried because sometimes they take a little while. Oh my God, that's too much though, I feel. That is way too much. We're gonna do, I don't know what to do here. Uh, never stack platforms, just drawing over the top until you showed us the other day, Life Changer. It's awesome, isn't it? Like, oh, it's so nice. This tile, right? I know that pink one was really fun. I think that was adorable. Um, 20 now, uh, let's do, let's do five more, just round it out five more I think would be okay I think we're moving along pretty quick um we have punk princess go ahead and send a message to Kaz welcome on in yay you want yourself a sticker how stinking cute uh I used the I started using them more after seeing them and build the oh rebuild the Kim Lewis household seriously the Kim Lewis house was like tragic um to begin with like I'm so shocked that I I bit through that entire build and like <clears throat> didn't lose my ding dang mind. A holiday one. I got a Halloween one. Right, Pixie. I know we have all this month and next month. So fingers crossed. Next for a sticker, we have Kara Felicity. I know, right, Susie? Oh, my God. No, it, it's like you're holding me prisoner. I'm just joking. <laughs> Imagine. Help! It's like, what's that? Not like where you start to fall in love with your captor. What's it called? Um, what's the what's the name of it? I can't think of the word. Like where you um you start to fall in love with your captor. Stockholm syndrome. Yes. Is this Beanholm syndrome? Is that what it's like? Gallery name not showing up for me for some reason. Uh, Brianna, no worries. It is Zephyrin TTV. Hi, Bolt. Welcome on in. Hi, Stinky. Hope you're having a good day. Good to see you. Um, on the sub challenge for you, um, the hype, we are at level six. So it's like the little bar that's like on the very top. It's level six. And we are less than 10,000 points away from level seven, which is a, I'll give away a Rode microphone if we hit that by, by the 17th. Um, which is really awesome because like I didn't oh my god, we got 
we're so far into the hype challenge, you guys. Thank you so much. Raven Harbringer, go ahead and send a message to Kaz. He's got your form waiting for you. <clears throat> oh no, migraine got me a brain scan next Thursday to make sure that it's just migraines happening or something different. Oh my God, fingers crossed though, that it's nothing, it's nothing serious, Bolt. Keep us in your thoughts for sure. Or keep, we'll keep you in your thoughts. <laughs> wow, backwards day. Um, yeah, please think of me in these trying times, Bolt. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The way that like words are very difficult right now. My brain is absolute mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh my God. I can't even with myself. Please. Words are so hard when, oh my God, help me. <laughs> oh, legitimately. Next up for a sticker, we have Azriel Star God. Azriel, go ahead and send a message to Kaz. He's got your form waiting for you. Um, we like your mouth noises, right? <laughs> I'm a stubborn, stubborn man. Let it go for let it go on for two months. Don't do not do that thing. You know, honestly, two months is a very short amount of times for like what AMAB individuals kind of tend to put up with. How did I change the front door? Uh, the front door is not, I, I didn't change it. You can change it with tool mod though, but I didn't change this one. This one was here. I'm um, gonna lurk because I have to go back to meetings. Bye, Elena, see you soon. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. We're doing the, um, what's the name of it? Jelly bean challenge. So we actually made up a challenge like last night and now I'm building to like bring it to life and I'm super excited. Um, <laughs> the bathroom door. Oh, no worries. Right. It does look like the front door. Imagine if we did our layout like that, though, where you literally like you walk in and it's the bathroom like, hey, just pooping. Desiree McKay, go ahead and send a message to Kaz. He's got your for form waiting for you. I know. I think I like this, too. I'm kind of iffy about this like i don't know this feels too modern and it doesn't feel like what i want to go for if that makes sense so like i think i'm just gonna change gears a little bit here i think that looks a little cuter a little bit better um oops <clears throat> should i do like i like these dark brass accents i'm such like a sucker for it also i should probably pick a toilet again i deleted it and then i just never put it back in <laughs> You guys, my brain is literal mashed potatoes. Oh my God. Why is that perfect? That one actually, oh my God. Um, Eleni, Ele, Elenini, go ahead and send a message to Kaz. He's got your form waiting for you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mimo, for the biddies. Oh my God, I really appreciate that. Do you like the bathroom? Thank you. Uh, I know she needs a pink toilet. That's kind of what I was thinking, too. We really don't have like a lot of pink toilets. I think this is literally maybe except for like the city living one, which is like this. <clears throat> you think there's a sink that matches? I think you're right. I think you're right. Let's go ahead and take a peek. I'm like pretty sure. I don't know if it's like exactly what I want to do. I think that's too much pink now, though. Like these are very glammy, but I, I don't think it's like the aesthetic she would go for, if that makes sense. Hmm. An idea for legacy challenges. Ooh, that's exciting. You love that toilet. Do you feel like <clears throat> I almost want to go like this so it matches a little better because it like it's a whole set. That toilet is so nice. I don't think I've ever used it before. Um, so you said note if that you change it with tool. I think it'll not be visible when you're not playing with a specific household. At least that's in my case for me, right? It is, it does get weird and glitchy. Laced reason. Lace, go ahead and send a message to Kaz. He's got your form waiting for you. Perky, I know I love how extra she is too. I'm right there with you. I think she's fantastic. She's so like glamorous. That's close enough, right? I'm okay with that. Sweet country escapes toilet regardless of build. Ooh, is it is it the this one? Oh, I always use the old time antique toilet. This is like a basic toilet to me. Aww. <laughs> it did. Thank you so much. 
for the biddies. That is so nice, nerdy. I know. I love the way that our communities leans in the chaos, too. You guys are so unhinged, and it's so fun. Like, y'all have some of the best, like, brains ever, and, like, all these unhinged ideas. It's just, it's really fun. Bubblegum has to start with 20k simoleons. Yes. So, like, whatever the starting funds they give you. Joey, are you going to play? Please give me your honest feedback on everything. I think I'm going to, I think we're going to come back to the bathroom because we have the basics. I don't want to over decorate and then run out of money. Next up, we have Bri, Brie Brezzy Sims. Brie, go ahead and send a message to Kaz. Kaz, you're a machine. Thank you. Our moderators literally do so much for me, you guys. I can't even like begin to explain to you. <clears throat> um, Doing the builds for them. Gameplay scares me. <laughs> I mean, that's fun, though. That is fun. You could put them up in the gallery and be like, oh my God, here's some things for you. Because some people like to download other builds, you know, because they're not builders. So that could be fun. That's great. Um, thank you so much. Um, Joey build, Joey's builds are so pretty. I mean, don't tell me I said that. <laughs> um, this spreadsheets is how my brain works. That's fair. Spreadsheets are your love language. So you're like, ooh, so you like plugging and chugging. Um, okay, so I feel like her aesthetic won't be like super modern, but like kind of like old, almost like old Hollywood ish night. I don't know, like nice suburbanite. I have no idea how to put it. Oh, an idea for the legacy challenge. Ooh, what you got? Can we start with 20K and then use free real estate? Um, I would say for like the first one, that'd be okay. I say that, you know, for like the for your very first one, but I wouldn't do it for the rest of them. Cat Kate 8 go ahead and send a message to Kaz might have the so you said I might have the legacy shot on um a shot after I finished the too many toddler scenario wait that's so fun though I love it that's such a blast the too many toddlers one also friendly matter to save your guys' game I just lagged sim skater girl you're all snuggled up in bed amazing I hope you're cozy and feeling good Okay, so how does this floor pan plan look? I really like what we've got going on here. Also, why do I want to like wall this off instead? Kind of go like that. Do you like this little entryway and we can like do this moment? Like, why do I want to do this? Aw, okay, Sims, I know. Our community is so nice. I can't even deal with you guys. Thank you so much for everything. What time is it for you? It is 3.38 p.m. And yes, you can still enter if you want to. Last one for this round. So if you have not entered, unless we have a redraw, if you have not entered, this is going to be the last one. So go ahead and enter right now, and then I will go ahead and draw. I know you love that as platforms. I think I do, too. I think I do. Um, I really want to do this. But then uh, if we go here, it'll go like that. So like, I can't do that. I think I'll bring it down to one because it just looks cuter in the way that it goes. It just looks nicer. Or is that bread from? Um, Modern Lux Kit. It's very, very cute. It's a beautiful pack and I highly recommend. There's no windows in our bedroom now. Oh, well, it's fine. <laughs> oh my God. It's 20 to 10. Oh my God, it's so late for you. Did you have a good day? I certainly hope that you did. <clears throat> would we have French doors to our bedroom? I feel like we would. Wait, don't they have French doors from get to work? That looks so cute. Oh my God! It's a different pink. Modern Lux is elite. It's like a, oh my God. It's a different pink though. So I'm gonna go white just cause that's better. Um, cause it's a cool pink. Um, Hanny got a fanny. Hanny, go ahead and send a message to Kaz. Ooh, right. I think I like that a lot. This is her little bedroom. That is so extra. Um, so I think we're going to do this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place like a TV on this wall. Because I want her to have like this big TV on the wall. We're going to do this one, which is 3000 simoleons, but I think it'll be perfect for her. We're going to splurge a little bit on our TV. Um, and. 
we're gonna do this maybe we'll see um oh jade i love you too thank you so much i hope you're having a good day so then uh, there's gonna be like a little walkthrough moment and then let's try to find i'm thinking i might have her like her countertops like an island thing or like the couch like butted up against it seriously right kate i agree i think that pink is such a hard color to like work with in this Oh, like sleep. Oh, going to bed. Bye. See you soon. Oh my God. Enjoy. I hope you have a great Saturday tomorrow. I hope you have the best rest ever. Oh my God. This one is so cute. The pinks are very hard to match. How do we see the rules? Um, Discord says I have permission to enter be much a chat history. Okay, so great question. I'd love to lead you through. Um, so when you, it's just a bot protection thing that we have. When you get into the Discord, make sure if you can't see any of the channels or anything or like the the history, go ahead and react to the rules over here. Um, and then it'll apply the 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 verified rule. It's just a bot protection thing we have. Um. So there, and then yeah, make sure you guys are sharing all your things and the jelly bean challenge. We have so many cute sims. I'm literally screaming, crying, throwing up and thinking about all this. Hi, Watts. What's going on? Good afternoon. How are you? Um, so you have a, a uh, something crazy. What's up, Sharky? What's going on? How are you? <laughs> Difference between debug and base game. Yes. Um, debug is a part of every single pack. Um, if that makes sense. So like it's the st it's like the props, the stuff that's in the game without actually like being in the game. So uh, every pack has debug and base game is just like the basic Sims pack, like the game. So base game will have debug and all of like the props and stuff that come with it. The new pack will be out, right? Oh my God, Rondo Beach Homes. Janae, that's actually so cute. That is actually going to be adorable. Like if you, oh my God. Gotcha. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. So debug is like items that are there, but like they're sometimes free and just props. They're fake. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so this is kind of, I'm kind of thinking about this here. Friends, what do we think? Hello, how are you? Welcome on in, Lish. Good to see you. Debug is the stuff that Sims can use in such like plates. I mean, yeah, exactly. Like the things that make this the game a game, essentially. <clears throat> so we could do like a little kitchen moment back here. Like I'm thinking about doing a slightly smaller half wall instead. This girl that used to be friends with her is dating her ex best friend's boyfriend. Ooh, wait, what? Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. That is, you know what? relationships are sticky they're so tricky what about this um <clears throat> that's some tea oh my goodness that's like that i was like is this are we talking about the sims but then i realized i think you're talking about like real life oh my gosh um what read out one all right here we go wifey loves nerd wifey go ahead and send a message to kaz you won yourself a little sticker. I still, I seriously don't know if I like, I like this or not, you guys. I have no idea. Um, so you said, uh, like, I love setting out the debug remote as clutter. Yes. No, I love that too. It's just that the, those little details that kind of like bring it to life, you know? I guess one thing that I could totally do is like, let's just go ahead and grab our countertops and see what I want to do. Um, but I literally don't know what ones I want to use. Because I like some of these. I think these parenthood ones are so good. Short wall's good, right? Because I don't think I wanted to be too tall. Right? It was someone who wasn't worth the drama, right? Oh, yeah. I am such like a... I only like drama in my Sims games. In real life, it's exhausting. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just like, ah, I don't want to do this. Um... I know half tie walls, right? I wish we could do that too, like on the dotted lines. Lace, seriously, I would literally scream, cry, and throw up the whole time. Like, I just, oh my God, that would be so good. So I want to do like a little mini kitchen. Sims drama is fun, right? Like real life drama is not. This is our living room. I almost want to do like a, I wanted it to be like open, but I think I'm going to go like this 
instead. I think I like it a little bit more, you guys. It's just going to make me feel better. And then they have that one archway that came with base game, I think. Where is it? Hold on a second. Um, it's not right. Uh, when I want a half tall or half tile wall, uh, the glass divider all the way down and build a glass wall. Ooh, right. The glass divider all the way down and then build a glass wall. So like a half tile wall. I mean, that makes sense. That's kind of cool, though, Jody. I would not be debating putting someone if they putting out what they call fire. Right. <laughs> That's too perky. You know, like one of my favorite things is like you, you ask yourself those questions like when as you're like if you're part of like sims facebook groups and stuff and you go through and then someone's like yeah like da 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 like cheated on their spouse and then da 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 da, da and then like lit their house on fire or something and then left the kids and you're like um and you're like oh it's a sims group okay all right <laughs> the, like it sounds so crazy and you're like oh jesus okay it's, it's, it's my it's my doll house we're fine <gasps> nice. I love doing layouts for apartments. It's so annoying sometimes, but it can be so much fun. I love it. I hope you have so much fun. Seriously, like, <laughs> it sounds so crazy. I had to double check the group. Um, I'm like, uh, you guys good? <laughs> exactly. With Animal Crossing? What? Like, you evicted, like, this one person, and then you, like, locked them in, like, a hole in the ground or something because it's, like... You know, Animal Crossing, wholesome, you know? So you do the wholesome things <laughs> in your wholesome animal game. <laughs> the way that like Animal Crossing really gets kind of crazy sometimes. We're waiting on Wifey to whisper Kaz for the, for the sticker form. I want to do something different with this. Like, I don't want that to be there anymore. Fence in this one neighbor because I kept ringing my doorbell. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to, like, rearrange my furniture, but then they just kept coming in. And, like, so I, I, I fenced in this neighbor. Right, like, it's like that. Animal Crossing is, like, being the most vicious HOA evicted for being ugly. <laughs> Millennials hate HOAs, and yet we love Animal Crossing. Make it make sense. Okay, Wait, that's so funny. <laughs> when you say it like that, um, <laughs> I can't come up with an example, but sometimes I have to really stop and be like, wait, is this Animal Crossing? Right, like, what is this group? Um, we're just cozy gamer things. <laughs> That is really cool, Sienna. You're in your friend's floor plan Facebook group is insane with apartment building floor plans. That is so cool. I love that. I've contemplated doing like little little things where I like post ideas for floor plans for like apartments. I've contemplated that before. Oh my God. How is this? Is this cute? I, I hate this door, but I don't want to like glitch it out or something. I like this better than like the the door being over here though. Millennial Animal Crossing millennials want zero interest home building loans. I mean, you know, millennials want one thing and it's no interest. Honestly, like for real. Tell me I'm wrong. Bathroom is so pretty. Thank you. I'm trying really hard to figure out like what I want to do for this now because I just effectively made this too small again um thank you for the follow welcome on to the beanie weenie club my friend actually uh, friends we might be on to something we just want life honestly yeah i love you in the shower thank you i'm gonna I'm, I'm i'm trying to struggle with this floor plan though so like i think this is gonna be too short Oh, no, it's, it's the right size. Okay, we're cool. So I could do it this way if I wanted, but I also think that it's just too much. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I really appreciate that, friend. How are you? If you guys are new here, my name's Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. I'm a full-time content creator and I love The Sims. We are currently doing our jelly bean challenge. This is a brand new challenge that we came up with together. 
and um, it's very cute. So I'm making, this is the bubble gum generation. Um, okay, 20 stickers done. Oh my God, we are done with 20 stickers. We will come back to those at another point. Thank you so much to everyone who won a sticker. And can we also get some hypes and hearts in chat for like Kaz? Because Kaz is kind of a little bit of a machine. And I'm honestly kind of like terrified of him, but also kind of amazed. You know, like at the same time, big giant shout out to Kaz for real. <clears throat> the sims on your computer yes rap baby that's what i like to hear this is what i like i think we're gonna do a white door because it just it my pinks are not pinking so we're good convince i know honestly no kaz is computer kaz just is computer um by the way if you guys want the the brand new challenge um you can join our discord channel so just play, take into mind it's in very early development and not really like play tested yet so if you want to like give me your input, show off your Sims and stuff, jump into our Discord, get the rules, hang out with us. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I really appreciate that. So it's a game, it's a 10 generation legacy challenge and it's very cute. Um, so yeah, come on by my friends. I'd love to get to know you. I'd love to see you. I'd love to hang out with you. I'd love to have your lurk. Thank you for everything. We're gonna do pink floors because yes, um, also, I think that this or even like this cream color would be adorable because we'd be able to balance it, but also that pink matches. So that makes my brain happy. Uh, a mod love emote or redeem. Ooh, you know, a mod love emote would be kind of cool. Hmm. I will have to see which of our emotes we'd want to swap out. Uh, do the trip tile and the middle carpet. Ooh, like this one here, you mean? Like this tile and then the middle carpet, like this one. Um, How many fruits do I have to dig up a tree? Like what, the, right, what the heck exactly? Like how, I, I ate this fruit and then I dug up this tree. Right. <laughs> the jelly bean legacy challenge, is that Alexis? Um. So it's a challenge, it's a gameplay challenge that we made. So um, every single generation has a, um, is named after like a jelly bean flavor. So it starts with bubble gum flavor, which is pink. And essentially as you go through, give me a second here, let me pull up the challenge rules for you guys. You can get them in Discord for yourself if you want to. I have like a million windows open, so you have to hang on just a sec. Here we go. All right, so real quick for you guys. Um, for this challenge, we use Google's dice roller. So for events such as fires, freezing, death, drowning, meteor events, curses, road and fever, emotional death and more. So like the, the dice will decide your fate. It's the jelly bean drama coaster. <laughs> it really is. It's the trauma coaster. Um, that's so funny. Um, so basically your Sims could live or die. Yeah, so essentially they're kind of based. It's yes. Um, a lot of legacy challenges have like, you know, the color association because it makes my brain happy too. Um, so basically, like the majority of the numbers are odd, so you don't intervene and then let the game play out how you will. So or if the majority of the, the dice rolls are even, then you can save your sim as you wish. So basically your Sims could die. Um, so dice um, determine the amount of like kids you have. Dice also determine the amount of money you can get. Don't use any cheats. Dress your Sims in their house with their, uh, decorate their house like with their respective colors. Hair color is optional. So this is bubble gum. Um, so basically um, you love the color pink and everything associated with it. And you are very over the top with everything you do, including spending time with your partner. You're clingy, loud, and sticky fingered. You have, you love pink so much that you obsess over it and you have to have anything and everything pink, even if it isn't yours. You have a big, bright personality and crave external validation in any way possible. So you spend a lot of time posting to Simstagram and social media. Your dream is to be one of those aesthetic influencers. So on the side, you create and sell pink outfits on Trendy. The world must be coated in pink. It is the best color after all. So you're a kleptomaniac, cheerful, high maintenance sim. Um, you have to have the internet personality career and be a world famous celebrity via your aspiration. So basically you get to the, get to the top of your, your career branch, 
Um, you have to complete your aspiration. You have to max your mischief skill. Um, and you have to invite an every sim who knocks on your door. So every, anyone knocks, you invite them in. Um, you steal at least 10 pink things. You have to sell and create pink outfits on Trendy. Um, Six-sided dice to determine the amount of children. And then, like, you begin with 20,000 simoleons. As we're going along, we're making notes of which packs are required for that for that thing and then we'll have like a list of all the packs at the end so like i perky labyrinth actually went through and like did a list so i will check that out as well um to see like what things go with what pack but uh i have all the packs and we just like ran with it so then i'm not going to read all the generations but each like what happens in this generation impacts the way that your next sim will be so this is generation two apple it says you uh you try so hard to have the perfect life apple has a big big love for family and children they also like to bake and have all sorts of goodies around for their kids and all their friends bubblegum wasn't the most attentive parent so you try to do your best and make sure that all your ki your kids have it all um your kids are as involved as you are and then some and oh you hate the color pink um so so family oriented good bookworm and you're a professor that has a super parent aspiration so basically you complete your aspiration you get to the top of your career you max your baking shell um skill you donate to charity along the way like whatever you just donate to charity and stuff um you always have baked goods in the house and all teens and kids have to have a's in school and volunteer as a family once a week and you have at least three kids so you go like above and beyond and you're like a service person you like to serve others So basically, like you try to you try so hard to have the perfect life as bubblegum. Um, here we go. So it impacts like what happens in this generation. Like there's like a whole thing and like orange kind of goes after that. Um, toxic positivity. Honestly, I could see Apple being toxic positivity. I agree with that wholeheartedly. So yeah, you can find this challenge. Um, it's in our Discord channel. Uh, it's brand new. It's not really tested yet. Um, so there's things that are bound to change and things are not perfect, but you can give it a try and I'd like your feedback. Um, your Sims game is not downloaded. Oh, weird. What the heck? That is so strange. S seriously, Paige, I will cry if we end up with six kids. Like what is going to happen? We did. We finished the rules and now we are trying to build. So that's what we're working on. I'm so excited. So I want pink for the flooring. <gasps> Do we have any pink in here? We may or may not have it. I think we have like a, there's like a burgundy color or there's like another one that has it. That'd be so fun. Five almost cried. Oh my God. That is so insane. Rip, I'm so sorry about your, oh my God. I'm so sorry. The first generation is going in hot right now. Let me just say that is so crazy. Um, okay, so like I literally I don't know what to do. So these are all the pink swatches that we have here. So it's like, do I even go for it? Do I go for this? Do I go for like a different color on the wall or the floor or something? Something a little more neutral and then go pink on the walls? I think that would be more their style, probably. The chokehold that like the the growing together stuff has on me is not healthy, you guys. It is not healthy. I know the triangle one was kind of a vibe, right? Kind of what I'm thinking too. I already use this in the bathroom, so I don't want to do that. Oh my god, wait. This one, but like the white is actually so. This is aesthetic. That's kind of what I'm trying to go for. Um. But yeah, thank you for all the follows, by the way, everybody. Welcome on in. If you don't know me, my name is Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. I'm a full-time content creator and I love The Sims. So good to have you. Um, we're working on our Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. Repair the app or clear the cache. Um, repairing the app, I think, is in the, the little setting thingy. The little setting thingy. Like, if you go to, like, your the hamburger menu. Hamburger menu is, like, the three lines on top of each other, <laughs> like a stack of three lines. It looks like a hamburger. Struggle Princess, thank you for the lurk, my dear. You're amazing, I really appreciate that. 
Um, okay, so out of these countertops, I'm trying to pick the, I don't want something pink necessarily, but I also feel like maybe like something like this would be really cute. I literally, I literally don't know what to pick. Uh, black text, please. Uh, yes, I can totally do that, Tam. What is this legacy about? This is um a gameplay challenge that we made and each generation has like a little story that kind of flows into the next one. So like what happens in one generation will impact the next. Um, And it's called the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. <clears throat> and uh, it's a challenge that we wrote yesterday. So it's our very own challenge. I'm super excited about it. I like that. I think I like these too. And then I also want to pick like a pink color for the walls and see what we do here. They really don't have a lot of good pink swatches, though, I admit. Like, the more I get into it, the more I'm like, mm, this is not great. We could go like something like this. This is actually kind of cute. Yes, Shannon, you can totally see it in our Discord channel. Um, we have like a special channel all hooked up and stuff for it, and I would love to have you in there. Um, please, as you, if you would, if as you play along, if it's your thing, please feel free to give feedback, share your sims and stuff like that. And let me know how things are going, because I want to know um, as we as we move along, because um, it's a brand new challenge. So I want to know what are we building? Hi, Tara. We are building an apartment for the first generation of our challenge. Bye. I'll see you later, Turtle. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for everything, dear. Enjoy um you got your stickers today yes that's so exciting but it's very like story driven it's very cozy cute um uh we jokingly called it like the the generational trauma challenge um so that's fun i love the pink thank you the pink is very cute uh, the first generation is bubblegum so it's pink um we start off strong Should I go for something like this? <gasps> Yay! Cut. Oh, my cat is about to fall asleep watching the stream. I love that. I love snuggly cats so much. It melts my heart. Cute and cozy and generational trauma. Exactly. <laughs> it really is, though. Ah, uh, finally a legacy challenge I can relate to, right? I felt that. <laughs> you made a dog. Oh, my God. Did you really? What would you name it? It's the vibe. It is. So by the way, you guys are like popping off in here. Oh, my God. You know, that is absolutely. A dog that the bubblegum generation was slay. <laughs> so funny. Would you name it? Do you need help? See, so you was thinking Pomeranian. Oh, my God. Right. I love this sim. Strawberry milk. That's adorable. Bubbles. Oh, my God. Bubbles, jelly, and our very first starter home. Palette swapped starter home in Mount Komorebi. That's so cute. You haven't named it yet. Do you want help? What do you guys, what do you guys think Struggle Princess should name? Or Ashy, not Struggle Princess. What do you think Ashy should name um, that dog? Uh, assume to calm yourself down from the show I just watched. Ooh, I get it. Princess is a good dog name. Literally, like, princess or... Princess, honestly, cotton candy. Princess is a good one. Poppy or Bubbles. Gucci, <laughs> just Gucci, a super long name. Uh, is this your Discord? Um, What are you asking, Clover? Uh, Razzle Dazzle. Ooh, Gucci would be so funny. Um, I asked my coworker today, do you know how many Sims make those social noises? I go, oh, I know all about the Sims. You're like, oh, honey, uh, sit down. <laughs> Were they? Oh my god, that's always funny whenever you find like other simmers in the wild like that, though, Joey. You're just like, oh, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Welcome on by. I really appreciate it. Gucci. Oh my god, what about like princess? Hold on. Princess bubblegum lollipop. I think Princess Bubblegum Lollipop is pretty solid, if I don't say so myself. But I'm biased, you know? Oh, the channel looking at the photos. Yes, that's my Discord, Clover. Yep, you got it. Um, So, yes, if you're on TikTok, 
they are uh, um my link tree is in my bio so you'll be able to see um my discord in there and whatnot if you wanna if you wanna join us i would love nothing more than to have you if you would love to come in there okay but like i kind of love this though i don't know what ah uh, dying i love those names right they're so good um, do you have a YouTube channel? Not yet, Ash. I'm actually rebooting it in December, but you can go uh, subscribe on it if you'd like to. I'll be doing all sorts of like things like gameplay and all of that over there in Discord. So make sure you guys are dropping a follow on there. You love the floor. I like it. I think I like it too. I want to change gears a little bit though. And I, I want to, oh, when did these get swatches? Hello? I use this so much. When did we get the, what? Did this come out with horse wrench? Did I overlook this this entire time? I think I overlooked that that whole time. Oh, Chanel would be a good name too, for real. I think it might've been the latest update. I overlooked that one, you guys. Help, oh my God. This is not pink, that is salmon. Several, I know there were several. I keep finding them. I'm like, oh my God, that must have happened with that. Cause they had that same like color family, you know? The base game update before Horse Ranch. What the frick? I, it's like Christmas. Cause we keep finding stuff y'all. I can't believe it. I think I might go with this though. Cause like the pink is a little bit busy. So I think we're gonna do. Okay, friends. Um. Um, this floor is amazing. Do you did you like that with silver appliances or like with the pink appliances that came with? I think I might go with the growing together stuff, perhaps maybe. Bunch of floor tiles got new swatches with the wallpaper too. Yes, I love that they keep adding all these rando little swatches and stuff that just you know they're sneaking up on you. Oh Jesus! I guess I'm getting the expensive stuff out of the way, but I do want nice things. Ooh, cute. Isn't that so stinking cute? But I haven't, I haven't looked at the Halloween onesies either yet. Chanel would be a good name. Um, what about that? This is kind of fun. I don't know, like, where I, like, because I, I, does anyone, does anyone like, to put things up against windows in these types of houses because I feel like I just I can't bring myself to do it but I think I could because like I don't know where else to to add like a sink or something like that thank you so much for the for the follow I really appreciate that duchess gucci lollipop bean oh my god <laughs> that those are words thank you for the follow how the heck are you welcome on in like Ireland bar seats would be super cute. Duchess Gucci lollipop beam. That's so good. That would be a vibe, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh my God. I can't wait to start all the fires here. A toy terrier, right? It really is. Duchess sounds like a toy terrier name. Um, Vibe of cut of work, but it actually looks good, right? I know I'm kind of like, I'm kind of on the same fence, though. I'm just like, what is it going to be? Okay, beans. Do we like the white or the gray? The white looks a little bit more like open and less drab to me. So maybe we'll go the white. Um. Okay, so. Uh, oh, geez. You uh, going to name your pink dog Barbie? That's absolutely perfect, though. I really like that. That's really good. It's such a good name gray and white okay you like the gray oh it's funny it was a male oh i love that for you i love that so much that's so funny i like that okay so we need like a little situation here wait okay guys i, I have a problem floor plans are really hard for me I always struggle so much with them. I want to get better at them, but my brain just isn't good at puzzles. Um, so we're going to try to come here. 
And I'm going to do like just this little mini moment kind of thing like this. And we're going to like delete you. And then I'm going to cry because I can't do this. Actually, no, that actually looks really good. I like that. We can do like bar stools or something here, maybe. Um, I was looking for a new job, but I suppose uh, everyone is doing the bean challenges to so hop on now. Yes, absolutely. I can't wait. Like, I'm going to be gone over the weekend and I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with and what you do. I'm legitimately like. Like trembling with excitement. Peppa Pink. Oh, my God. Simsy would love this. <laughs> 50s diner vibes a little bit, doesn't it, Clover? I could see that. Is this going to be like a little bit? Is this going to be better? Should, could I save myself money? 3,000 simoleons? I could save myself money. I also don't care for that that much. That pink color is just not great. It's like a rose gold. And go like this. Chanel number seven. I love that. No, not Peppa. Um, many Peppas were lost to bring us this kitchen. I'm sorry for your loss, Peppa. Piggy lovers. Okay, we could also do this too. No, we can't. Freak you, window! Stop it! Stupid window! I was honestly gonna try to go something like that and like cage this in a little bit better, but I kind of like this little cross through. I don't know. I guess anyways, how hard it is to stand a 20K budget. Seriously, um, starting with the... Uh, um, starting with the most expensive furniture first. So what you want to do is like build, like get your bathroom, like get your toilet, your sink, your shower, get your bed and then get your appliances. And then everything else kind of goes from there. So I have like my TV because I knew I wanted that. I need to have like money to eat though. Moon fairy. Oh my God, I'm at work and I can't uh, get anything done watching you. Oh no, <laughs> I'll see you later, moon fairy. Thank you so much. The pink floor is a mood. I think I, I think I love it. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on by. I appreciate that. Um, I literally don't know what I'm doing. It's fine though. Um, cause I don't, I don't think it was right here. Cause like we need to find a spot to put a table. Oh my God. I'm literally stupid. Hold on. Uh, you guys, what if we did it over here? I don't think we'd have that one. She might have like this. On the edge. Fifi's food, right? We cannot forget Fifi's food for sure. Um, breakfast with a view. Exactly. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Could almost do here or like center it there. I guess we'll figure out how we want to do it when I put down the chairs though first. Um, breakfast with a few. I love that. Ooh, these ones are super cute. I was gonna do something a little different. I, ooh, wait a freaking second. Hold on. Those ones are very cool. Thanks for the lurk, Jade. I really appreciate that. Oh my God. What do you guys think? Because does Modern Lux come with a better table? I don't think it did, did it? The fridge on the top of the counter, it would bring the space together. I'll put a plant, right? I love that. Wait, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I appreciate that. Uh, oh, Modern Lux kit. I was like, what am I doing? It's got to go like this. Ah, um, buddy, booty. <laughs> I almost said a different word. Um... I'm trying to figure out like, ooh, the Sims team freaking did it. They gave us matching swatches, you guys. This is a base game table and then this, oh my God. They gave us matching swatches. The art team is going off lately. I can't even believe this. Oh my God, I'm literally so happy. This is modern luxe. And then that is from like base game. Okay, so what chairs do we want to have? I feel like that was like a big celebratory moment though, you know? Like these ones are $235 a piece, but like it's worth it because they're cute, hopefully. 
Um, but also these ones are 185 and they do come with a pink swatch and they look really, really, really fun. A rare occurrence. It's becoming more and more common, actually. I think those other ones are very her. Like, they're very, like, glammy. I think that's really cute. I think we're going to go for that. I'll put, like, a little table over here. We also could do, like, a little moment in the kitchen instead, though, because this is also something that I'm kind of thinking of. Or we could even do, like, a little table corner moment and, like, try to move this away somewhere. Because I don't know what to do. Uh, back. Welcome back, Galactic. So good to see you. How are you? Her house uh, after this would be a McMansion. Oh, my God. Right. Oh, just like a really awkward, like 90s McMansion. Ew. I would love to do that. I realize if they didn't improve our feelings with the Sims 4 Project Renee would not be a big success. Right. That is very true. If it kept going down the right raw, the wrong road like that. OK. Um, I literally do not know what direction I want to go yet. Um, we could do something like this. And like make it like a, a little center kitchen thingy. And like delete you. Ooh, wait a second, friends. We could do like a. We could do like a moment. Um. Because it makes it more accessible, like, well, kind of. Dang it, it doesn't look good. It doesn't really look all that great. Because, like, I'd want to do something like this, but it just doesn't make any sense either. And I can't really do it over here. You know, that doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to do that. Actually. I'm going to keep these, though, and we are going to go like this. So small spaces are hard, right? Exactly like when you get it, it's like great. But getting there is, is half the battle, I think. It's so difficult. Um, Because this kitchen just feels so like one dimensional. I wish I were better at kitchens and stuff. Um, Anyway, let's try to go like this. And grab like... Like this here. I don't know where I want it to go. Like, should it go like right in the middle? We can just pretend that that looks better than it does right now. I think it helps people my age working at E-Ray right now. Uh, people who grew up playing The Sims and other games, exactly. And they've been hiring people who are like content creators for The Sims too. Like, they like are content creators or people that like make custom content or something. I think it's amazing. Um, and so good. Like, I love that so much. Um, because they, they've been hiring people like that. And like, it, because it, it really brings forth like the idea that like people that play the game are literally making the game and they love the game for what it is. So I think that's really, really important. Yeah, right. So there's like this little moment, but then it just feels off. Hmm. It feels like an afterthought. So maybe I will quite literally do this. It's like, try making CCU Sims 1 back day, right? I know it's so hard making custom content. I like, my brain does not enjoy it. It's not a great time for me. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna give like a good old a second attempt at doing something with islands over here. I think if we did it this way, this might work a little better. So we did give it another try. And then we could do like, that actually looks really nice that way. <laughs> So we could put our sink right here 
and then this would go like there on the end and then like the bowl could go there maybe and i'm like where do i put this the fridge <laughs> it is hard making kitchens and like this situation because i think i'm i think i'm subconsciously like avoiding these countertops or whatever or not these countertops with those uh those windows so i really don't know what i'm doing um and then all of those are like not quite thank you for the follow and thank you for the share i appreciate it welcome on in that is weird right ashy it is because like just the way it like you have to like stretch things you know it just doesn't go well with my brain bridge in the corner Ooh, that's an idea like this or even this right here like a literal cornered fridge moment uh the living room would be the kitchen is so you have the view um that's an idea what if we legitimately just like flipper dippered it would you when you walk into an apartment would you be like would you like walking into a kitchen or a bedroom first or a, a living room first though like a meat wrap yeah like meat wrap is literally like the best way to describe it if i'm gonna be honest with you say so like the living room the kitchen either is normal my preference is always living room right that's kind of what i'm thinking too like my brain goes like oh i would rather walk in here instead into like the the living room it's more cozy and inviting in my head <sighs> it's so hard i'm not good at floor plans help um because we could do So we will do this, maybe try this again and see how that feels. And then maybe put the fridge here in the corner. Um, every party always ends up in the kitchen. That's a good point, too. Give me just a sec here, Beans. Hold on. Um, all right, so this is, I don't know if that's like, it's, it's really the windows and I, I think that this, I think I like the living room, like entry a little bit more personally. That's just my, like my brain. The, the bedroom is the private guest too. If you got to go through the kitchen, right? <laughs> exactly. That is a fair point. Especially like the big French doors and stuff. That's kind of cute um okay here we are so let's try this and then i feel like this could work and then we have like a, a sink right here or something because like you really don't need a lot of countertop space and this is a lot of countertops for like what it's worth it really is um because you really don't have to have a lot to make it work properly so here we go where is it um plumbing and then I really enjoyed the sink from the Cool Kitchen kit. I think this one is really cute. That one's adorable. Does look kind of nice. And then we have like a little room, a, like a little thing to hang like a towel or something on the wall if we wanted to. But I think this works. It's not like the most ideal layout in my head. Like I don't prefer it, honestly. I really don't. But I feel like it works. Um, because like, I don't think that I could even really do anything here with like two of these, like the little end pieces for these. I guess I could, ooh, I guess I could technically go like this if I wanted. The door right next to the fridge too to make that easy to get to the table, right? 
like literally right here if I move this on that end. That's an idea too. Could always scoot these over just a bit. Ooh, that's kind of an idea. So like you couldn't like walk all the way around and then it doesn't bottleneck this weird area here and like the labyrinth of like doorways. That's kind of fun. <clears throat> that's a good idea because then uh, it doesn't like intersect with that. The fridge is right here and like it fills things up really nicely. So I think that we might have like an option. I'm going to sit on this for just a second, though. Also, why is this like that? Like I. I guess we have the end countertops. Um, at least for like another at least for like another hour or so today like specifically we do have to leave town tonight though we're going up to wisconsin tonight Ooh, should i go should i do this and then add like these up here the gallery hashtag for the legacy challenge uh jelly bean legacy ch uh jelly bean challenge is what it is so jelly bean challenge it's also in the rules as well, um, towards like the bottom in case I'm not around to help or like whatever as well. OK, so here's this idea. Um, maybe I'll keep those for now. And we have like this little kitchen, so I think this is pretty solid. And then we're going to add like this pink stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at how cute this is going to be, because then we can do like. Oh my God, wait, I kind of have an idea. I don't know if it'll like work very well. I was thinking about maybe going and doing something like this, like platforming her a little bit. We won't have as much of like a lead up in here, but I think it could be really cute. <gasps> and that kind of like gets rid of that problem, I think. A little bit with like the extra little bit. So everything is just like platformed and it goes like this. And then there's like a little entryway also platforms, right? I'm always game for platforms. This carpet is one of my favorite carpet things for sure. Mm. Table of the kitchen gets the wall. Um, so like, ooh, that's actually a good idea. Instead of like in the in the living room, that is it. This is so cute. I love that. Thank you so much for the suggestion. The carpet is from the uh, the pastel pop kit. By the way, Twitch is playing ads right now, so I will be back in just a second. Hold tight and we will resume in a moment. Thank you again, everybody. Yeah, thank you. That was a great suggestion, actually, for the for the table. I feel like it adds a little more color to this room, too. Look at the gold. Which is always wonderful. Like, I'm really uh, grateful for that. Hi, Sean. Welcome on in. Looking so cute. Thank you. It's our um, bubblegum generation of our Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. Mm. It's a very good kit, honestly. The pastel pop kit, it is adorable. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So I think I like... I like this little entryway or we could we could even like just make it blunt against the side instead of like this weird angle. One of the best flavors, honestly, it really is right. It is. I'm super excited for it. We spent a, like a long time last night making things kind of work for us. So I'm super stoked for the way it's going to. The way things are going to wrap out or wrap up and we're going to kind of see how it goes and I hope everything works out as well as we're thinking they're going to that's better it's a little longer pestle pop plus modern looks best kits they really are say no more Jackie they're so good um so this is um her bedroom living room foyer like entryway thingy I'm gonna put like a little ottoman table moment in here. And I think just for like good measure, I'm probably gonna end up doing like a little half wall 
right there and then we're gonna like do the uh like this moment and then we will do probably like a little half wall trim moment i think that looks really good and then we can put like a little thingy right here it's gonna be so cute what kind of mudroom? I know, right? Exactly. Kind of like a little entryway mudroom thing. Like, I think an ottoman and like a table. I'm thinking we'll put the ottoman right here. And maybe like a small table in the corner or even just doing like a table, like a, a hallway table with a mirror, I think, because we're running lower on money. So I think that's what we'll do. Um, we have like just a little bit left on the ads here, but we're gonna like this entry. Same. I think it'll be so cute. I'm glad you guys are liking it as well. This pink, I think we're just gonna keep it single, simple, simple and just go with the pink all over the place. And we are back from ads. Thank you guys so much for hanging. All right, so this is what we have. And then I am gonna grab some sort of something. Thank you for the TikTok follow. Welcome on in. I really appreciate that. Um, you didn't get ads. You have a subscription, so you won't see any ads while you have your sub. Um, I might get that one. It's not too bad. Oh, no, that is that is a bad price. I am definitely not going to do that one. I was thinking I'm like, oh, I'll just use this mirror because it's not that bad. But then it is definitely bad um, in that way. Let's go on here. Let's find like a good end table thingy, maybe. Ooh, wonder if this one in the white, but then again, I wanna try some, I wanna try to find something pink if we can, but I know that that's kind of like a fat chance with these, like something with the right shade of pink and the right size and the shape and the concept that I wanna go for. Okay, maybe the Sims team is popping off. I don't know. Um, I guess they're popping off, you guys. <gasps> okay, this one is 260 and this one's 400. So like they're not terribly priced, but they're not great either. This one's a little more. This one's like 180. Oh, my God. It's a little bit smaller than what I want, though, because I like the longer one. We're going to fill up a little more of the space, I think. This one is too like country chic to me. That one's very modern. This one is very spunky. But I, like her, the view that I have around like the, the items that she has are like less this, they're, they're more aesthetic than that. So maybe this one would be like that happy medium for us, I think. I think they'd probably be good. Um. So yeah, then we're just going to slap like a, a little plant on the front of it. Building, I know budgets are so hard. I've been doing I've been doing a pretty good job about it when like because we've been doing our save file and like doing a bunch of starter homes and stuff. It's so difficult, especially since like I want to clutter, but I can't because we're just, you know, we're, we're going to run out of money if I do that to myself. But I get that. It's so hard. Um, The llama plant holder is cute. Here. I'll just put that little plant there and then I think I'll just grab like maybe some like shoe racks so we're gonna do the pink ones because this is bubble gum and this is what she wants to have like all the shoes in the world we'll do like those and then like these and I think that'll be good. A phone. Ooh, like the phone clutter. Yeah, that's a good one. I always forget about that. Phone on the clutter thing. And then they have a pink swatch because of course they do. That is adorable. I like that. And then also in addition to this, I just realized I got to steal my platform. We're running really low on money, so I got to be really careful. Also, friendly matter to save your guys' game. Um, 
Um, oh, the handbag's on the wall, right? I'm not gonna clutter too much yet because I just don't wanna run low on money. Um, Cause we have like 2000 simoleons left and we still have some things to do in her bedroom. So I think I might add one of like the cheaper like plant pictures that I always love putting in my build. This is like my favorite thing on the holder. It's 50 simoleons, you size it up if you want and then it's good. Oh no, 30 seconds too late. Oh no, you didn't know when I last saved, that sucks. Fabienne was born, uh oh. I know Peaky Richard is catching up. So we actually have like so much catch up to do with like the, the point app um thing because y'all did like a lot of subs today. I don't even know where we started. Um, but like, we still have to do that. <laughs> there was literally like hundreds of subs. Um, so thank you guys for that. <laughs> but those numbers are, are seriously, they're, they're gonna be bound to change though. I don't know, like if I wanna put this here, I hate it like in the middle of everything. And maybe I will try for like a little Ottoman style or like a chair if we can get it to fit. No, it's like a bottleneck. It's so weird here. I think I'll just, I'll worry. I'll fuss about that later because we really won't have enough money if I continue going. So I'm gonna stick to the budget. Um, and let's do like a, a little fluffy pink rug or something like that. Let's go pink and see what we can find. I know skid marks. 500 something was the start amount. That's so crazy. Thank you guys again for being so amazing. You're so nice. I really appreciate you. That's insane though. Um, oh, POV, you're watching the stream while doing homework. I like it. Thanks for letting me spend some time with ya. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, got three from the same place in the hour this morning and Oh my God, really? So you said like, uh, after telling them on the second call to take you off the list. Oh, wow. What? Like, are you talking about spam calls? They've been so unhinged sometimes. Like, it's so insane. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my God, I might do this. Maybe. I need to see like what colors they have though. Oh. I also feel like that's not really her aesthetic that much. But this one is, like the candy isn't quite her. Like her last name is literally like Barry or whatever. Or not Barry, um, Bean. A spot with just random stuff she has stolen. Ooh, maybe we'll make like a little, a little thing in there. I think that would be so cute. I really kind of like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Or unless we literally just go like this and you're like, oh, it's in front of here. Like it's in the middle. I think I like that a little bit more. That's cute. I'll keep this for now. This is really sparsely decorated, but yeah, like write a storage room full of things she's stolen. I think I like that idea. Um, so would we like tuck it right here? Is this what we would do? Thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. There's really not like a lot of room in here though. Cause like there's not a lot, dang it. Um, Maybe she just like, maybe this is her first apartment. So maybe it's gonna be like, she shoves things under her bed or something. I could totally see that being a thing. Um, hello, we're just gonna put that there. Maybe like a chest or something, right? A safe from Get Famous. I know when she can afford it, I could see that. Hi, Lixio, welcome on in. How you doing today? Glad to see ya. I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna do just whatever wallpaper that I wanna do up here. I'm not gonna fuss too much about this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this as an accent wall and that's gonna be super cute. Okay. So then, uh, what if there was a platform shelf on the bed to display the items? Ooh, a platform shelf behind the bed. <gasps> so like you go like this instead and you make like a little, I platform this a little more with knowing that we're not gonna like walk on it and stuff. 
Oh my God, like, that is so cute. Wait, that'd be so fun. Everything fine. I'm doing so good. Thank you. Um, we are we are working on our jelly bean legacy challenge actually, like right now. So it's a it's a challenge that we came up with together, and we are making it. I guess a shelf on the wall as well. Ooh, that would be so cute. It's a good idea. Never done that before, right? It kind of like end caps it a little bit, and it it just kind of like makes it feel cozy and cute, you know. Here, let's do. I, I think I'm just going to go with like this basic pink color up in here. Um, and then I don't know. I think I'm going to go here with that. And then we're going to move this pillar this way. Right. So interesting. I love it. Yes. The jelly bean. Uh, it's called the jelly bean legacy challenge. Um, each generation is like a different jelly bean, essentially. So we are we've kind of like made up mini storylines for each of them i guess if you will hi morgie welcome on in home stretch stretch if you've been sitting in place for a while exactly i hope you're doing good stretch and like you know leggy reminders and stuff very lit girl uh i don't think so probably not <clears throat> um Let's see. I don't know what to do with this like little display area here. I know like this is where we're going to put things that we like steal and whatever up there. And I think that's like a really good idea. But I'm like, what are we going to do? Right, it's starting to get dark. It is. It's already it's like 441 p.m. for me. Mm -hmm. This pink carpet is so cute. Um, she loves the color pink though. Like, would she have like the white bed or now nah, she'd have the pink bed? Who am I thinking? You know? Or what am I thinking? All right, friends, we're running low on money, but we do need some decorative pieces in here. I'm not going to give her like a dresser yet, but we will, because dressers are expensive. But we will be giving her a dresser eventually, of course. Like we gotta, we gotta grow up into that, I think. Um this is 90 simoleons and it's honestly kind of adorable but platforms hate me and it's kind of tragic i know i think i like the pink bed as well super cute isn't it um what about this should i go here nah i don't like that that much this one's a good basic plant i think but then uh, greenery just always makes me super happy um oh this fern is always a nice one run low on money uh quick meals are free exactly right always pays to know that okay what other kind of like little bits and bobs can we put on here maybe we will try some fairy lights these are 85 simoleons a piece but like would she do fairy lights up there or even like down on this little platform wall it might be kind of nice. Oh my God, it's so cute. Maybe we'll see how I'm feeling about it. Oh, right, Karen. Yes, we were making the rules yesterday. I know it's so exciting. I can't believe it's actually like kind of done. And chores and start building uh, before you start building your bubblegum house. Oh, probably, right? Chores would be a good way to to start that instead, you know, cause like you'd be so invested and then you have to like go out and do chores that would just ruin like your, your flow, you know? Cute, right? I think I like it. What about this here? I think that's kind of fun. Like the little mail thingy by the door. It's 50 simoleons and like it adds so much. So I think that's probably good. Uh, vanity or a dresser probably a vanity okay so like I'm thinking she has to have a computer right like that's one of her things she's got to have a computer um so I'm gonna have to go in here and figure out what I want to do thanks for the follow welcome on in hello we are currently working on um I forgot that she has to have a computer you guys oh my god because she's has to be a social media influencer. But yeah, we're working on our legacy challenge. 
Um, this is 950. Is it really? Yeah, so this legacy challenge is actually um the jelly bean challenge. And we came up with it together. It's very fun. Place for good selfies. No, she does not. Not yet. Um, I have a feeling that I should probably get rid of like a few little items like these shoes. How expensive are these shoes? 60? Okay, we can save a little bit of money. How expensive are you? 55. We're okay. How expensive is this clutter? 550. Sorry, guys. No keys. No phone. Nope. No phone. That is 500 simoleons. 225 for this? Oh, God. I thought plants were cheaper. I think they are overall, but like, not like that. I know that is expensive clutter. That was 500 simoleons. We're going to go ahead and get this snake plant. I know it, it was like a phone and keys. I'm like, I mean, it makes sense that it's so expensive, but like, no, thank you. There we are. The jelly bean challenge. It's a challenge that we came up with. So it's a it's a, um, a generation like a what's it called? A legacy challenge. So if you go into our discord um, server, we do have a channel set up for it and stuff where you can find the rules. Um, it's brand new, so it hasn't been like tested or vetted or anything yet. So this is literally the first time touching it and like we have other community members that are kind of trying it out too and i would love to hear your guys's feedback and thoughts and stuff because we'll be making some alterations as we go so as we feel like it uh how it goes and whatnot or like how the story kind of went so yeah i would love to have you guys jump in there if you would um i would really really appreciate it i know so many people are playing it already and we literally made it like last night I'll be making, um, I've been talking to one of my moderators uh, about making like a website and stuff like that for like resources and things that I use and, and all sorts of things. So like, we're gonna be having a spot for the challenge rules and whatnot. Oh, this is so cute, y'all. I think I really like what's going on with this plant. What do we think? I think she's adorable. A Tumblr? No, I'm gonna have like a, a website. There's a, there's more things that I wanna do than like Tumblr can offer. Like a wiki page, right? I'm just using like the same pink on everything to make it easy and to save money, basically. So we're just like making it thought free, essentially. So here we go. One of your favorite plants. It's so pretty. It's so big and like it offers us, um, we have like, some decor in here too so hopefully this won't be like undecorated <laughs> imagine pooping i know right imagine pooping on the plant right in your face the plant's like how you doing wait a second i wonder actually if we can get what is it called one of the tall skinny boys not that one We have some really good options, but then also there's like not good options sometimes too. This one is so cute. I need plants. It's like this must have thing in my homes. Um, maybe I'll go for the fern. It's actually kind of cute. It's whispering in your ear. Uh, you can't access it. So you have to, um, so Discord is really glitchy. So uh, go up to browse channels on the upper left and then you have to like follow the category or like find it. If you can't access it, you have to react. You have to go to the rules and then you have to react to the, to the rules to get your role to be able to see everything properly. I know, right? She bought ferns in bulk. Honestly, yes, because ferns are the best plant. They're so easy. They're hard to kill. And they put up with a lot. So it's wonderful. I don't know. Hmm. What is it? What am I doing? Like it goes on the wall, probably. Wait, what if we did one of these wall ferns like that? Ooh, that's kind of fun. Like something like this. So then we're not so squished. I mean, you can totally do it, but like it would be perfect. 
It's a little bit of greenery in there. Uh, so you have to, like I said, you have to react to the rules and then you can see all the, the other messages and everything out beyond that or before that. To have, you have to have the role to do it. I totally disagree. I find ferns are very, very difficult. Really? <gasps> yeah, I've always had really good luck with ferns and stuff. Basically give them shade and enough water and they're good. It's like flat square ones too, right? I do not play with custom content. How are you? Welcome on in. Um, so, okay. So um, again, she has to have a laptop or something like that. So we have like 2,000 simoleons. We saved a little bit of money. I might also get rid of this, but we'll see. Oh, they always get brown tips. Oh, right. You might be overwatering or they might be they might be sunburned, actually. One of the two. They're very finicky, but like they're uh, once you figure out like what you like, they're pretty simple to, to kind of manage, I think. Let's see. Um, oh, we could do like, oh, God, that is 400 simoleons. Yikes. Uh, yes, I do have some mods. So I have like UI cheats, um, tool better built by and MC command center. And that's it. So I'm I they're kind of like more quality of life ones. But uh, they're not they're not like completely like game changing or anything, if that makes sense. This is literally like a little school desk. So this is a good way for her to start, I think. Tropical rainforest plants. Yes, they're constantly rain and shade because of jungle. Exactly. Right. So they they don't do well with sun. But if, if you put them in shade, they'll like take right off. Got it. Yay. I'm so glad. Thanks for joining us. Stop keeping lists after you moved. They all died and move. Oh, no. Dramatic plants are. I know. They're, they're very dramatic. That's valid, though. So these are 235 simoleons, but these are 185. Should I save some money? What other pink chairs should we have? These ones are also kind of cute. And I think they would probably boat a little better. Like I'd be able to save some money, I think. And I'm kind of concerned with that right now. <sighs> this is stressful. Because I want her have to, to have like the best glamorous apartment ever but like to start it's just not a thing and it's not gonna happen my wedding stories okay those are not good um <gasps> wait that's not the right one do they have <gasps> this one maybe this one could be it if it has like a proper pink color that I feel would be good. Yeah, this is like the pinkest color it has. It's kind of like this weird blah. I loved those chairs. I know they were so expensive too, though. That was the thing. Oh, this one. This one's 50 simoleons a piece. Oh my God, here we go. All right. That is so cute. We've got like these adorable little. Oh, no, wait. No. Mm. Dang it. No, they don't look right. I was hoping they did. I know. Those other ones were so nice, though. Do we make that sacrifice? Should I have expensive chairs? Thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. Right. I know it looks like she thrifted it for like an old movie star or something. Uh, write down a concept for it when you get energy and desires out. Yeah, that's a good idea, though. Just jotting it down. Aw, oh, bubble gum's well still at work. Aw, that's the worst. I'm so sorry you're still at work. Boo! Work is poopy sometimes. Here we go. Let's see. 150. This one should work really well. I think, I think they might have a good pink swatch. They do have a good pink swatch. All right. What other cheap desks do we have? This one's 325 and then this one is 225. I think I'm going to go for the cute desk. We're going to go for it. We're going to splurge a little bit because um my laptop is going to be a thousand simoleons and then I think we're done. <gasps> 
That's so cute. Here we go. I will corner this. I know it's very cute. I think this is so much better. It definitely suits who, her. I don't have pet supplies, but it'll be, it's really cheap. Thank you for the reminder though, because we actually have a dog. I mean, I am technically at work. That is fair. That is a good point. It doesn't feel like work though, because like I love what I do in the way in this way, you know, like. Oh my god, okay, what swatch should we pick? Like the one that makes the most sense is the pink one, obviously, or like the white. But then it doesn't match, and that really bothers me. But I'm so silly when it comes to things like this. Like so silly. Maybe we'll just go with that and pretend like it doesn't look that way. Um, okay. Computer, 950. There we go. We'll totally go with this. So I don't think I want to do the laptop. It's a thousand. It's only like 50 simoleons more. <clears throat> the table is pink and the chair is white. Ooh, that could be cute. Um, because she's all around like pink girly through and through. See, this is a thousand simoleons. This one's nine fifty. It is very aesthetic. So let's go the aesthetic route for sure. <gasps> Hi, Kinshi. Thank you so much. My day is going well. Yes. So the jelly bean uh, legacy is actually a legacy challenge that we made. Um, if you go into our Discord, you can find the rule set and stuff. And so it's we made it like last night. So it's super new and it's not like really play tested yet and stuff like that. So this is our first playthrough. If you want to give it a whirl for yourself and let us know how it goes and post and stuff like that, like please let me know. Um so yeah. Welcome on Ian. Make sure you react to the rules and then you'll be able to, you should be able to see the channel and like see all of the old messages and stuff in it. Because you have to have the role to be able to do that. Um, it's just an anti-bot thing that we have. So, hey, okay, let's look. <gasps> Ooh, this is 50 simoleons, but there's cute like little roses. I think that's adorable. I know we're broke broke, aren't we? No, there's not like a board, but like... I think Dream Home Decorator has like a little board or maybe we can get like. I'm not putting curtains down because like we just don't have the money yet. Uh, a four of my. Oh, my God, you rolled a four after your sim got on fire. No. Oh, my God. Janae, that's so scary. I hope everything's go. I, I hope everything goes well with your sim. Oh my God. Yeah, we're broke, broke. Um, okay. I wanna do like a little decorative piece here and see if I can find something that'll look nice. So high school years does have like a lot of really good things. Um, I just don't think that this is the way that I wanna go for her. So maybe we have, we have like no money left. I think we're gonna go ahead and Wait, I have an idea. Oh my god, what is it? Um, half walls. Here we go. We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna grab the wood wall trim, and we're gonna put it on the back. You started building. Oh no, need to lurk and go outside. Oh god, that desk area is so cute. The French door going in. Thank you. I don't have a lot of like resources or money right now to like really finish off her space, but I think we have a really good start personally, and I'm really glad you think so. Thank you so much. You're so nice. Um. <gasps> Ooh, these are 200 simoleons. Don't mind if I do. Should I do like a little moment on this wall? And we could do like the cupcake. Or we could even do this. The last song I was listening to. Um, uh, All You Are Is History by State Champs. I love State Champs. State Champs is amazing. 
It's, yes, this is in San Maishuno. You got it. Ooh, what about like, yeah, there we go. Wait, pink cupcake, blue background. I think more pink, the better. Uh, do some willingness cheat. It's not in the challenge rules. Um, so we're not cheating. And building without simoleons is really challenging and fun. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. How you doing? Um, one last little item, perhaps. Here we go. Like, should I try for this one? Nah, it's a little expensive. So I genuinely wonder, what can we pick? Um... like wall posters and stuff what about here uh the gallery for some paintings those are really expensive sometimes sometimes they're upwards of like thousands of simoleons pink strawberry walls uh i don't think that's her vibe or her aesthetic <clears throat> i didn't add like a lot of accent walls i'm trying to keep it simple um i do not play with cc I, I have eyelashes on my sims but that's it i don't do anything else welcome onion what if we did this on that corner Either corner is good. It's a big place. Uh, this is just one Sim who lives here and her dog. Can we get windows? Uh, nope, you can't add windows on these. There's your apartments. Cork board? I thought about it. Um, oh, we need dog stuff. Oh my God, we got to get dog food things. Where should I put it? Here. Uh, right, the dog. Exactly, the dog needs stuff. I'm like, oh my God. I forgot that we had a dog. I could have been such a bad owner. Um, and then we'll do pink. Trash can. Oh, shoot. <laughs> nah, no, we don't need a trash can, actually. Well, yeah, we do. I guess we do. We'll totally add one. Um, Because it's an apartment. The dog needs a bed. We could do like, this one is like a pork chop, but that's totally not what we would do for the dog, I don't think. Um, also, would she have like the biggest dog bed possible, do you guys think? For her tiny little dog, I think she would. Let's totally do this. Um, but I have no idea where we would put this because the dog needs to like, maybe over here. Right, 100%. That's kind of what I'm thinking, too. We'll put the dog this way. That is so cute. I really like that. That's so funny. Um, feel When she has more money, I feel like we decorate for the dog, too. Oh, yeah, 100%. Um, like, exactly. Like, we should totally put up little pictures of the dog. There's, like, no things in here. Um, like, nothing. Wait. Do we have a good coffee table moment that we could do that is cheap? This is 65 simoleons. That's not really her, though. That's not bad, but it's not, like, her. Um, some of these aren't that expensive, so I think we will go ahead and get ourselves a coffee table, but we have to pick, like, the correct one. And it has to be, like, in the budget. Because we need money to, like, eat and stuff. Um, <laughs> mostly. Move on to just Ami, try to add cheat. It was as you uh, get achievements. I, uh, I'm not playing on, um, on console, so it doesn't matter. Um, I love the shades of pink you chose. Kitchen walls are so cute, right? I know, I think I really like them too. Um, here we go. No, that's not really it either. Nope, I just keep looking at it. That's not really it. This one's only 110. Ooh, it does have pink. But this one also has pink. Um, this one, 
No, it doesn't really. I mean, that is actually kind of cute. It kind of, I wish it came with like a pink color though too. Kind of like this one over here. Because we don't really have a lot of the money to like really nail down the aesthetic that she has or the one that I envision her to have. So like, hmm. I wonder if there's an end table we could get. Ooh, or like this credenza instead. Because like there's this one, a side table is a coffee table, right? That's kind of what I'm thinking too. That's 55 simoleons and that's not really all that bad. Or even like this. Uh, what pack is those pink cabinets? Uh, these cabinets are not pink. These are, um, these are parenthood ones and these are the white ones. Unless you're talking about like which, like it, if you think like what one below. Oh, whoops. I accidentally turned off my cheat. Hold on a sec. There we go. I'm like, what is going on? I can place this wherever I want to. Um, when the TV is bigger than the console table, right? Hmm. That laundry day one is so cute. And it's only, oh God, it's like 200 simoleons. Mm, not enough for me to want that. That's not quite good. Hmm. I'm not feeling any of this. Okay, so yeah, maybe, so you said like, a side table is like a coffee table. That's a good idea, but like, what one would it be? Oh, this one, I use this one, the Blanco one. I've used this one before. That one's actually super cute. I've done that before. Could be filled with dog stuff. Ooh, that's true. Here we go. And then... Maybe some sort of like a little lamp off in the corner if we have one that's a good price. It seems like we should be able to use this one pretty well because I can use that brass color and I think that's actually very, very cute. And then, oh my God, the Sims 1 plant is kind of like my favorite plant though because it's so nostalgic and it was my favorite one in the Sims 1 when I played when I was a kid. And it does come with pink. So that's even better. So it does come with the white, but the pink is really, really, really adorable. So we're totally going to go ahead and do that. Um, old movie star vibes again, right? It really does, doesn't it? Maybe we'll add like a little bit of color, just like this. That's kind of fun. A little bit of that brassy tone or like that um, bronzy brassy thing. Okay, so um, I feel like it's it's doable. It's not perfect, but we've done it. Oh my God, remember how I said I was going to do something for the dog and then I proceeded to not do that? Wasn't that fun? Um, here, hold on. So, okay, we're absolutely going to use like this little doggy dish here. Um, or even like this pink one. Oh, right, exactly. I'm like, oh my God. Poor little, uh, right? Poor little baby. I think this one is nicer. So she totally have that. Oh yeah, that's right, this freaking trash can. I suck at the trash can. Um, so right now, under appliances, miscellaneous. And then we have this and then let's put it uh, here we go. Fellow Midwestern are going to throw an open there. Exactly right. We always have to. It's like the law. There. Um, I think that's good for now. It's not perfect. We definitely have some things going, like some things like Oh, this is 3,000 simoleons. I wonder if I could like skimp for a second. Hold on a sec, friends.
I don't like any of those TVs. I, oh my God. Should I go for the expensive TV? Or should I save myself a little bit of money? Thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. I really appreciate that. I feel like she'd be so bad with that. Um, the first episode starting. Um, I don't think I'll get to gameplay right now. It'll probably start on Monday. I have to leave town and I have to like pack and stuff. I should be watching TV. Um, I think so. This would leave us with like a, like 500 more simoleons. Get the expensive one. Okay. I think it definitely matches her aesthetic though, for sure. Okay. This is awesome. Okay, I really, I really like what we've got. We've got like a whole bed situation. We've got like her little office. We've got like everything. This is like set. <gasps> I really like it. Okay, friends. Um, oh my God. We, uh, she's the, yeah, she's the Simfluencer. Yep, she's the bubblegum one. She has daddy's credit card, right? If only. She only got 20,000 simoleons though. Uh, she does not throw parties, no. Uh, that's pineapple. <sighs> pineapple is our party girl. Um, so you guys, we have the emote war, but we have like literally hundreds of subs to like figure things out on and all of that. And I'm hoping to get to this by like the, what's it called? Uh, by Monday's stream. I know. Thank you so much, everybody. We made our sim and then we're ready to do our our challenge starting on like Monday. So I won't be back until Monday, you guys. Um, I do have pre-existing plans that I couldn't shift, even though we're doing like the hype challenge and stuff and like the subathon. Um, thoroughly enjoyed. I know. I know. It's so fun, Jackie. It was so it's such a blast. Thank you for being a part of it. Um, can I see the sim? Absolutely. Give me a sec. I'll show you. Make sure you guys jump into Discord and let me know how you're playing over the weekend. Um, stream will be ending in just a second. Yes, I will show you my sim really fast. Um, so here, um, this is her like basic outfit. And then she's got like a few. So this is her a different outfit. And then she has like a third one. She's a simfluencer. Um, and then there's her formal outfit, her athletic outfit, and then her nightwear. And then she has a party outfit. And then she is dressed up in swimwear and then hot weather and then cold weather. She's got like a couple things too. Oh, wait, her hot weather. She's got a couple. There's a few. So cute. And then she also has a dog named Fifi, um, who is a pink poodle. So. absolutely make sure you guys are jumping in discord and stuff like that i know she looks so cute doesn't she with her dog i am like obsessed with the way that she turned out honestly i'm hungry i haven't eaten since breakfast and we have like a three-hour car trip to go on tonight but thank you guys so stinking much for today I really, 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 really super duper de duper appreciate you. You have no idea. Thanks for all your support. Um, but make sure you follow right here on Twitch and on TikTok and stuff like that. Check out my link tree and everything. Jump into our Discord. Enjoy the jelly bean challenge for yourself and stuff like that and be a part of the community. I'll be back on Monday at 10 a.m. Central. Um, for reference, it's 5 p.m. for me right now. So math um and yeah we're gonna dive right back in i feel bad because like i wanted to obviously stream through the weekend but like we have we we i couldn't reschedule the concert unfortunately <laughs> that's something we just can't do so thank you for everything everybody i adore you um if you have a safe weekend um and i'm gonna go find someone to raid so give me a sec here i hope you'll come with me to go say hi to a friend even if it's just for a second. I know where we're going. Um, we need to go say hi to Chi like immediately because Chi was working so hard with all the sub things. Um, Chi is streaming right now, you guys. So Chi is intended for mature, like mature rating, but Chi is still great. Chi is amazing.
So make sure you guys, uh, like I said, drop a follow right here and all of that. And then here's all my commands for you. So if you have a sub, make sure to copy and paste the Beanie Weenies incoming. Otherwise, the little hand hearts will do. So just make sure to tell Chi that I sent you. Chi is one of my best friends. And she's a moderator of this community. And she helps me so much. Kaz, you stinky. I love you. Thank you for all your help today, too. So let's go say hi. She's playing City Skylines, too. She's figuring out production in City Skylines, too. So that sounds like a lot of fun. But let's go say hey. I love you. Have a great weekend. I miss you already. And I, I'm seriously, I seriously cannot wait to start this challenge on Monday. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. <sighs> oh my God. All right. Tell me how your challenges go. I'll see you Monday. All right. As I always say, tomorrow's a beautiful day, especially with you in it. And here's a boop for the road. A boop. And I will see you soon. Bye. I miss you already. I can't wait for Monday. Ah! Bye, TikTok pals.